boom and boom we are live hello everyone and welcome back to another anime club after dark stream my name is alex but you can call me senpai and tonight i am joined by a very very special guest hi vix oh hi <laughs> hi vix how you doing I'm, I'm good. Sorry, I was just saving. Oh, are you I'm saving? I wasn't saving. Sorry, You're saving? Right? <laughs> Deep save. Saving? <laughs> what are you saving? Um, What's left of my humanity? <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully no, tonight we'll hopefully tonight we'll get some more of that back. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Brinkin. Hello. You got final got to, you got to the final stage of satisfactory. Nice robot. Nice. We have been following you and Ryan during Satisfactory, my lord. Mm. <laughs> well. Well. All right. Relatively earlier than usual. We are so much earlier than usual. Yes. But uh, we're, we're here to have a, a fun time, a relaxing time, I think. Um, Power Wash Simulator is usually a good time. It's a good time to just kind of sit yeah. back, relax, chat. Uh, that's how I use games like this because I, I play I play stuff like this or American Truck Simulator on stream, and it's just mm -hmm. a chance to just play something more relaxing and have a chance to chat with the people who are actually in your chat. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly, a hundred percent. That's kind of what I treat my um Cora hunting streams as. It's literally just we're just chatting while I look for Koroks. Mm. Yeah, which uh, how how far are you how far are you in by the way? Like how many you got? Uh, one second, let me get it up real quick. <laughs> 400 and something. Oh my uh, god. Where is my... Uh, ha, ha. There it is. I have 430 left to find. Oh, wow. So you're... What? Yeah. We're about... We're more than halfway through. Oh yeah, more than halfway through. <laughs> yeah, we got to the halfway mark. <laughs> Boy. Uh, um, if you're, uh, Liam, if you're you. asking who this is on, uh, on stream with me here, this is Vix, uh, if you want to introduce Hi. yourself. Yeah, um, also you can introduce yourself on mine as well. This is, uh, this is Maddox or Alex. Hi! Uh, yeah, my name is Alex, uh, you can call me Senpai. Um, I am a co-host of Anime Club After Dark. We do a weekly anime and otaku-themed, uh, podcast, uh, over on, uh, YouTube. Vix has been on it, I think, five times now? ish five or six i can't remember i know i know you've been on at least two in the last three months <laughs> yeah um, we've been doing those pokemon, pokemon smash pass and they're fun so, uh like we're gonna be posters. recording we're gonna be recording gen 3 at the end of this month i believe yeesh or beginning of next month or something was it, was it, yeah i was gonna say was it the end of this month or i think it's actually no i think it's anyway. the very beginning of october we're gonna we're gonna record yeah. it it'll, it'll probably be out probably be out sometime first? mid or late october are you a moose licker? No, I am not sure. What does that mean? What is a? I don't live near moose. Was that was that but was I'm... that was that question directed at me? Oh, <laughs> uh, for us both. Oh, am I a moose licker? Um, if I've a moose never. Would let me, I would lick it. I I can't say I can't say I've ever licked a moose myself, but I've tasted moose. It's pretty tasty. Oh really? Yeah, moose meat is pretty good. I like it. Mm. We we don't have any moose near us. Um, mm. I don't. I actually don't think we have moose in this country. But you in have giant thing. spiders and kangaroos. We have kangaroos for sure, for sure. But uh, your state actually has the biggest spider, so yeah. That is true. I live in Florida. And there's lots of big <laughs> spiders here too. Unfortunately, that you know, someone told me. I think it may have been you. It may have been Vira. I cannot remember. But someone told me that me living in Florida, I would actually probably fit in pretty good in Australia with the wildlife. Yeah, you would. Um, you guys have like crocodiles walking your streets and stuff. No alligators. There's a difference. Oh, <laughs> alligators. My bad. I would not fuck with a crocodile. Alligators, they're fine as long as you leave them alone. I would fuck with a uh, a, a crocodile chan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who am I for your stream? My name is Vixalore. I am rule thirty four of the internet. I'm an Australian shapeshifter and the uh, um. Oh wow! Hey, I usually say Australian variety streamer and shapeshifter from the void, but no, I'm an Australian shapeshifter. I can, I can dig that. Anyway, yes. and I uh, stream a whole bunch of different stuff. Yes. Yeah. Um. 
For those who also don't know, Vix has created a lot of the art assets that we use, not just here on stream, but also during the podcast. Um, so thank you for that. I'm like your primary, one of your primary artists. Yes, uh, you and one other person, uh, Burb, makes a ton of art assets for us. Both of you do amazing work for us. And if you'd like to get some Anime Club After Dark merchandise uh, and help us out, you will also be inadvertently helping Vix out because she gets a cut of all of the merch sales that have her art on it. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm actually super excited we were able to work that out this year, too. Um, Me it was, too. I'm really glad that we did. It, it was weighing on us because we talked about it on the podcast a lot. It's like, we should really be giving our artists a cut of all this merch sales that we do. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're here to play Power Wash Simulator oh, yes, tonight. Ryan, Ryan, I have my own merch store available now, too. Yeah. It is true. I'm so excited about it. My mother-in-law bought some stuff. <laughs> I'm really happy. <laughs> Um, but we're here to play, play yeah, we are here to play Power Wash Simulator. We're here to clean up our act. Because yeah, we um, nasty. We both nasty. <laughs> uh, so I've never actually had to set this up for career. Is there anything specific I have to do? Uh, I don't know. I actually haven't done co-op on career. Uh, I would assume. I wanted to do mine. I wanted to finish mine solo. So mm. I don't know what it's like um, on multiplayer. Because I don't have the option. Um, oh, co-op hosting available once a job has started. Okay. So okay. I guess I have to start the job and then invite you, I'm assuming? Um, yeah, I think probably, maybe. Yeah, because yeah, I've got joined players co-op game on the right here as well. Okay, well, I, uh, I'll i start the job. I guess we're going to the playground. This is actually the one yeah, we did I'm on your play. stream. What was it, about two or three months ago? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, a few months ago, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah yeah no it was uh during the donathon yeah it was during it's like the second day of the donathon i think yes where we were all desynced <laughs> yes it was good fun <laughs> all right hi bob how are you hi taku happy uh, mama have a good narcon Mwah. Allowed, yes all right so i've got it set to friends only let me send you an invite i gotcha there you go confirmed I have Sent you an invite. That's oh, right. I think I just joined through the game. Oh, you did? Yep. I don't see you in here. You're in time, but happy you're live. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I didn't sleep all oh, that great, but I'm here and awake and... <gasps> Fix is here. I'm here. Hello. Hello. Do I keep my, my book? Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Wait, how do I? I forgot. Oh my god, I got to spray Vix I down. To... I'm a dirty girl. <laughs> dirty, dirty girl. Also, I'm playing on controller, and I've completely forgotten what all the controls are. Oh, I tried playing it on controller because I just couldn't be bothered sitting at my computer. Um, it's not that easy. Yeah, but it does make your wrist not hurt so much. Oh fair. Mine, mine doesn't really hurt, but I guess I move my arm quite a bit. Where do I change? I forgot how to. Is it E? Oh, it's E. Also, I should probably turn the uh, sound effects down if we're going to be talking. Uh, By the way, for those of you who are watching on my stream, do let me know if anything is wonky with the volume uh, option. Oh, yes, same, please. Same, please. Uh, just turn um... down the master volume. Oh, I've only got access to your equipment. I see, I see. Yes, and I haven't bought a whole lot of extra stuff. But I can after we're done here. Because I have nearly $2,000. Oh, good. I bought, like, um, I think I've got, like, everything at the moment. And let me tell you, the last, the last nozzle mm -hmm. gun thing is fucking amazing. Is it that much better? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Buy some clothes so you don't both look like, sanit like <laughs> sanitation long. units. Oh, and here she's wet again. <laughs> yeah, four hours of bad sleep. You definitely said place. Actually, oh. kind of same. We we went to bed at like 12. We got up at Where's... 2. We went to bed at 4. Oh, there got we go. up again at 8. <laughs> 
Except Vira, Vira didn't go. <gasps> Vira wasn't Done. able to sleep again um, when we went back to bed. So Vira's had like two hours of sleep. Oof, that's rough. Yeah. So hopefully he stays asleep for a while. He needs it. <laughs> Thank you, Vix, for changing into a strawberry. <laughs> You're welcome. Actually, how do, how do I even do that? How do I change? Oh, there we go. Change my clothing. Uh, I don't know how to do it on controller, but if you bought outfits. Here we go. I can change into the summer outfit because I do have that. There you okay. go. How's that look? I'm all festive and oh, summery. That's cute. that's cute. Wait, do I have one? I've got... Uh, I think it was available for free with the summer update that came out a couple months ago. Oh. Oh. I, but you I do actually have to go into the store and buy one. it, but the price is free. Um, shop. Oh, dang. Oh, it's not on my shop. <gasps> no, Australians suck. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was I'm so sorry, mean. <laughs> that was mean. How dare you? I mean, let's be honest. When it comes to video games, Australians get everything last. Yeah, we do. This is uh, the, the fucking updates coming out. This, uh, no. Not for you. You're Australian. <laughs> now I'm dressed like a pina colada. Listen, it's better than blue. You like pina coladas? I actually hate pina coladas so much. I haven't tried one before. I just I don't like um, coconut at all. Why do the nice Australians always come last in game? <laughs> because we're considerate. I don't know. Take that as you will. Well, they always say nice guys finish last, right? So maybe Australians should not mm -hmm. be so nice and they'd get more stuff first. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we can be real cunts, to be honest. Oh, apologies, I should have, like, not said that word. Oh, it's fine. It's We swear on our streams all the time. I just know how sensitive Americans can be with that particular word. Oh, I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm Irish, so I'm used to hearing it. Okay, good. Well, there goes the monetization for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, joke's on you. We're not monetized yet anyway. Oh, uh, wait. Hang on. Where was I? Oh, look at that rainbow. Look at that rainbow. So pretty. Where you at? Oh, you're over here. Yeah. Double rainbow. rainbow. Right. Rainbow. Sometimes I forget you can actually run in this game. Yeah. What is up? You see it. We are cleaning up our act with Power Wash Simulator right now, and I have uh, the lovely and talented Vixalura streaming with us. Hey I remember. Oh, I remember this one taking taking quite a while. It took us a while cool. during the Donathon too, but also there was the sinking issue, yeah. so it was uh, probably double what it should have been anyway. Yeah. So far, I think completing things might be safe. Question uh, mark? It, what are you at right now? 3%? Yeah, 3%. Me too. I wonder if it's possible because we had so many, like, we had, what, a group of four of us? It was four or five. Yeah. I remember at one point, Vira came in to play for you while you went off and did something for a while, and he was, uh. Yeah. He was being heavily flirtatious, and I was here for it. <laughs> I was That's so here Myra. for it as a matter I was very here for it as a matter of fact is uh, Vix a kitsune uh, no she is no, a no. shapeshifter I am a shapeshifter from the void I can have fox ears and stuff though mm -hmm. depending on what game you're playing as well sometimes I shift into a, ch um, a chibi a plushie but me, <laughs> I'm returning that back off. 
<laughs> but me, I am I am simply Fox Boy. Fox Boy is that cute? Yes. Well, especially the way you draw him. Yeah. Ah, uh, Ryan. No, re um, refund mommy voice to yourself. Mommy <laughs> voice is still not working, and I haven't turned it off. That is a great shame. I I quite enjoy mommy voice. Mommy voice works. Uh, mom look, mommy voice works, but I need to twiddle with it a bit because right now when I'm using it, it cuts out when I'm speaking, mm. so it just kind of ruins the the aesthetic of it. Oh, I can see. Like the I don't know, maybe it's the, it's like a sound gate issue or something. It just kind of ruins it. That's a shame. Yeah, so I'm gonna fix that. Oh, I didn't even realize that was you, Classy. Is that your? Is this your new um, YouTube channel that you're gonna start uploading stuff to? I know you talked about it in our Discord server. Freaking, you're a cutie patootie. Aw. Look at me. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are well today. Yes, I hope it's everyone not often is that well I get today. To be on around this time. Uh, but yes, uh, Glass Ulysses. Um, this is Power Wash Simulator. It is basically a casual game where you are tasked with cleaning up very, very dirty places. It's a very cathartic game. I love them. It I is. I can't wait for House Number Two to finalize their um, co-op mode. Hmm. That's gonna be fun. Oh, Maybe I was I should watching get another Australian play Crime Scene Cleaner um, yesterday, and I was like, oh. Oh yeah, I have. Um, I have. Uh, I have that too. It looks so fun. <laughs> Alex, say power wash again. Power wash. Power wash. Power wash. Power wash. Power, power, power wash. Power wash. Power wash simulator. It will. <laughs> Who wants to see Vix right, take why? damage? I do. Why? Why would you do this to me? So early in the morning. The wee hours of 10 a.m. What did you did you redeem something on your stream? Yeah, the bowl game song. The what? If you don't win, it's a shame. Bar oh, one, two, two, three strikes, strikes you're out at the old ball game. game. It haunts me. Why don't you like that song? Because as a baseball because fan, I love it. Me. It haunts me, Mannix. It haunts me. Uh, it's everywhere. It, it gets in my head for hours at a time. I so the first time I kind of like the the, the reason why this is a thing is because in Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, mm -hmm. Little Karibo sings it, mm -hmm. and I have that particular version of it in my head, and it was okay. in my head for literal months, like actual non-stop months and it was driving me insane that's that's understandable like i under i can understand the song getting in your head and you hate it that it gets in your head yes so now every time it's redeemed begin it's redeemed because you guys reached a good goal on the fucking turnathon which thank you also fuck you um <laughs> now it's gonna be in my head for the next hour <laughs> You know you're a southerner because when you say it, it sounds like Warsh. Listen, I, I am from the south. I was born and raised in Florida. And yes, I say things funny all the time. You should ask me to say the days of the week. Say the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, but you can say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, I can say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But when I'm just speaking like just my regular really voice, it's... Out. Yeah, Monday. Monday. Um, some Australians do that too. Some Australians do. <clears throat> I don't. <laughs> Monday, my, Tuesday, my... isn't it? It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday, isn't it? 
I'm glad that I'm not the only one whose chat <gasps> teases them for their for their fucking the way they say things because when mm. I go English, I, oh my lord. Yeah. Fish and chips, bruv. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> That's English. I know, John's making fun of me in the chat. <gasps> okay. Uh, yes, Liam, there are a DLC for this game. I don't have any of them, uh, but I do want to get them, especially the SpongeBob one. Yeah, I want to get some of them too. I think, I, wait, I think I've got... <clears throat> There's also a Warhammer Ryan, one. Let me use some more. Am I tripping? What is the... Okay, there it is. No, I think... I think I was going to get some, but I think I was playing with Mage, and he has the Midgar one. Yeah, we played that during the Donathon as well. Yeah. That was one that was really broken and desynced for us. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's satisfying. Ting! Ting! I wish we got that ting in real life. Yeah, when you clean things. I'd clean more then. <laughs> just imagine every time you clean something, it just went ding when it was done. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to get that sound on my phone so that when I stop, uh, when I uh, finish cleaning something, I'll just play it. Mhm. Mm well, Classy Lucy's, I am glad you're learning video editing. It is a very good skill to have, especially if you want to start making uh, content online. What are, what are you using for, for video editing? Uh, so for the podcast, we use DaVinci Resolve. Um, oh, yeah. What? Is it DaVinci? Da, 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 da Vinci Resolve, I think, is the free one. We paid for ours. Is it DaVinci Studio? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of them is free and the other one is paid. Uh, but it's DaVinci. It's uh, made by Blackmagic, um, which is a company that makes some of the best uh, video cameras out there in the world. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, for the paid version, it's only $300, and you get two licenses. Okay, that's actually pretty good. And it's very regularly updated as well. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got Wondershare Filmora. Um, I got the... Um the for life one but you can only hmm. have that on one computer yeah we bought one and john and i uh share the license between us oh, okay. john john edits the podcast but then i also do like the shorts and stuff that we put out yep 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 <clears throat> which i uh, honestly should do more of that editing stuff but oh who has the time <laughs> I stream every day, plus I'm a, a housewife and everything. I do not have the time for social media and editing. Plus you're a VTuber. A VTuber. Yeah. A VTuber. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh. Yeah. But I want to do all that stuff. I want to get like be on TikTok and all of that and make all the funny videos and shit out of my streams. Yeah, I mean, it's it's worth it. Um, earlier this year, we had Natai on our podcast. He has started uploading some of our old shorts um, to mm. TikTok. We uh, have a TikTok channel now, which, by the way, uh, if you're watching the stream, links to everything is down below, including our Discord server. I if you're 18 plus, you can join there. Learn. I still have to learn how to use TikTok. I feel so old. No, trust me, I, I'm I understand. Like, how do I TikTok besides scrolling? I don't know. <laughs> And then he got all these. I mean, one of my friends, L, he's in his um, he's in his fifties or so, and he's using TikTok. And I'm like, I don't know. How to Teach me it. your ways, old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I am a disgrace of a millennial. <laughs> hey, he's pretty talented though. He makes his really nice pins. They're nice. Oh, he does. I should really he talk does. to him about making uh, a CAD pin. Yeah. Cause he could. <clears throat> John oh, says you could get the, you could get that ting in real life if you stop taking the schizo meds. <laughs> if I stop taking them. Yeah, but then all my waifus will go away, John. <gasps> Hi, Remy. <laughs> right. 
This is in Zenless. What did you do? <laughs> Well, the real Vix got Rat Mama, finally. Oh, uh, I did finally get to level 34 last night, though, so I can do some more stuff now. It will not be the end of Zenless. <laughs> Since I got Rat Mama, I'm not just gonna stop. I am actually trying now to use any uh, perma gems that I have on um, getting can her weapon. Oh, I can <laughs> climb up. Oh, no, I can't climb up here. You, this is called a, Oh. You know, for something that's called a ladder, I should be able to climb up this. Uh, which ladder are you talking about? The ladder on the... Oh, this. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a very good <laughs> It's not an one. actual ladder, even though it calls itself a ladder. It's a ladent. <laughs> a ladent. Yep. Oh, yeah, I can definitely do that. Watch this right here. Let's see. Where's the red? Here we go. Uh-huh. Oop, that was not what I wanted to do. This is a lot more difficult with, um, with a controller than it is with, uh, Uh -huh. The controller, at least, you can be more relaxed in the way that you're sitting and stuff. But the mouse, yes. you have more control. Yep. There you go. I made a giant pee pee. Oh my god! There you go. <laughs> How scandalous! I made I made a giant pee pee. With very um, flat balls. <laughs> Wait, where, oh, there it is over there. I drew it on the floor, yeah. Oh, God. He <clears throat> looks a bit shriveled. It's it's cold outside. Give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say he's well used, but okay. He was in the pool. <laughs> Oh, listen, it's, uh, it's okay to be late to stream. I'm just glad you're here soon. I'm not late to stream. You arrived precisely when you meant to. Push the ball up the slide. Wait, can we, can we push the ball up the slide? Can you? Kick. Can I, like... Do this. Oh my god, I feel like I'm curling. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Nope, there nope, you go. Nope. Give it a little spin. Oh no! It went under there. We must have different balls. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> uh, well, 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 Fix, I, I, I think between the two of us, I'm the only one with them. I'm a shapeshifter. I can have them. That's true. That is true. Ah! No, no, go this way. Ball, please. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Just oh, no, I can't get it back up there. Hold on. No, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Get up there. Get up there, no, you no, fucker. No. There we go. Not get up the thing. I command you. No! Why does it keep missing? God, this is like watching me actually play soccer. All right. Well, you good luck with that. I'm gonna finish the the monkey bars over here. And <clears throat> yes, you can. Be the perfect example of how one should use a wand. You can indeed <laughs> pick up the gnomes in this game, and the first time that happened, it it kind of scared me because gnomes are a little creepy. Oh, the dinosaur slide. Get up the stairs. I'm assuming. Get up the top of these monkey bars are also dirty. Yeah, they are. Yes. I just flashbanged yep. myself. Oh. I wanted to see the dirt, and I was looking right at the floor. This is the most resilient soccer ball in the world. <laughs> I gave up. <laughs> I can't get it to go up a step. 
Fine, fuck y'all. Fuck you and your ball. You win, ball. Thing. I want to go to a playground. Play a uh, playground. Sorry, I want to go to a playground like this. See, I would that say that, but as a guy, if I say that, it, it's very suspicious. Okay, yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but back when I was a young and we didn't have any of this colorful stuff. I know, right? When I was young, it was all it was wood. all gray. Yeah. Oh, what your yours was gray. Yeah, we like most of the like playground equipment when I was a kid was all like gray or black or uh yeah. every so often there'd be something that was red, usually with swings. Right, yeah. We had like I re I remember a small playground probably about the size of just this Mario merry go round section. Uh-huh. And it was just it was just bark, wood like along the edges here. Mm -hmm. And all of the equipment was just made out of wood, like a seesaw. That just makes me think splinters now. Well, I was kind of polished down, like like sanded down, so it was really smooth. But mm -hmm. you, the older ones were, you, yeah, splinters. <laughs> then again, all of the ground was bark as well, so regardless on the on the equipment, splinters. Yeah. Nowadays, when I was young, oh yes, when I was, soon says when I was young, we had those metal slides that turned in, turned you into carne asada oh. by the time you reached the bottom. <laughs> oh my god, those metal slides, I had one as well as a kid, and fuck me in the summer. It was just, oh, that's how you, that's how you cook a child. It's like sitting on a grill. Yeah. Fuck, it was hot. But, you know, as a kid, you don't care. You just kind of just have a little fun. Oh, I cared. I cared. I went down that slide once, and it was really, really hot, and I never went on it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, nope, no. Nope. And my parents were like, go on, come on. I'm like, no, it's summer. It's hot. You don't understand, Mom. If, if I want to get burned, I'm going to go touch the stove. No. God, give me some bread. I'll make some toast. Jesus. Uh, does Vix know that soon is Seagull? I don't know. Vix, do you know that? Uh, I do know. He is in your server. Yes. I do know Seagull. I, I honestly, I do get sometimes Whoa. a little bit confused as to which one is which. How do I put this down? I really appreciate when y'all come into my, when y'all come uh, into my stream as um, Anime Club, you say who you are, because I don't know who you are sometimes. That's true. All four, all four of us have access to our, our Twitch channel, which yeah. we don't use anymore. Yeah, I really appreciate when you tell me, hi, this person. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, cool, it's this person talking today. <laughs> yeah, the only reason we really still keep it around is to interact with people that we follow on there. Hmm. So there, there's your answer, Soon. Uh, she knows now. Yes. I might have known before and just forgotten because I have the worst memory in the world and there's four of you to keep up with. Well, Soon isn't on the podcast. He's just, uh, he's like a very prominent member of our server. He's also been a DM for us for um, a couple of our D&D um, &D things that we've done. Campaigns. Right, 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 right. right. Anyway, hi, Seagull! I am... I am Vengeance. I am the Knight. I am a fan of Kevin Conroy. <laughs> I am, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Connection timed out. Oh, hello? Oh boy. I think my internet went kaput.
Uh oh. Yahara! Oh, am I back? Yeah, you're back. I'm you're back. back. Welcome back. Wow, my my internet just said no. Yeah, yeah, I was confused. I was like, what? What? what yeah, what I at, at first I just got it like a connection timeout, as I thought it like our connection uh, petered out. Yeah, but then you weren't responding to me, and I was like, okay, all right. So I went to your channel, and like it just wouldn't load. Yeah, my um, my internet just said no. I don't know why. Um, oh. And my stream Weird. ended. Weird. <laughs> um, Weird. Indeed. Well, see, uh, Seagull's here. I, I'm hoping the rest of your chat is around as well. I mean, my stream uh, ended, yeah, so... Yeah. 
I gotta have to start a new I don't stream. Think that once the once the bid dies, it turns into a VOD. So I I'm not sure. All right, let me go back into my studio here and set up a new stream. Ba, 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 ba. You went away once with some family and during a trip, it was super neat. That sounds so cool, honestly. When I eventually go on a vacation again, actually, wait, I'll, ref I'll, I'll refine that even more because there's several places I'd like to go on vacation. When I eventually go on like a cruise again, I am so spending some time in the casino. <laughs> I miss the casino. I miss the vibe. I miss the classiness. I miss the games. Oh, I miss casinos. You, the way YouTube works is you have to schedule a stream. Then you can start it. The link is the same as the permanent link to the video. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here. Yes, next and so does that mean that I'll have to redo this link or yes, okay, but it should be all right because it becomes then the VOD link. Yes, I see. All right, so I have to end this. I got you. Go live, Lord of the Rings lo fi beats. What is this? All right, and I believe stream is back. I believe, maybe. <clears throat> does it save your, uh, does it save your progress? I have no idea. Well, that's going to suck if it didn't, but. Me. Oh my god, I love this so much. <laughs> Where's my, can, is there like a favorites thing or something? I can save, I can bookmark it. Stream music. Yeah. There we go. I believe we are back. Yes. We are back on YouTube. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I have no idea what caused that to happen, but. Internet be fucky wucky. It do. Um, when you are ready, we will need a new link. Yes, I am DMing it to you right now. Thank you. Power Rush uh, should save your progress unless it crashed. That's true. It does auto save. I don't know what it's like with uh, multiplayer, but it does. It should auto save. Okay. I guess we'll find out here in just a second. I'll copy that. That's my stream. I'd like to. It's weird because uh, ahoy, welcome back soon. Um, yeah, there was no like storms or anything in the area, so I don't know what caused it to just kind of peter out. But hopefully, it doesn't happen again. All right, let me go yeah. back into. Well, isn't it can be fucky sometimes. It can be. All right, so it's it's at eighteen percent, so it saves something. Oh, good. Resume job. Yeah, because it's not like actual save button or anything. So no, I mean, I'm assuming it just kind of auto saves right everything. Continue. All right, you should be able to join in. Way too late for party. Oh, that's okay. I am not good at it. By no means am I good at it. But I, I love the vibe. I love the vibe. I always, I do the responsible thing though, because I know for a fact that I am the kind of soul that will get addicted to gambling. This is why I have I gotcha games. Um. So I, I do limit myself. I am very responsible and thought I, I think ahead and limit myself to like a couple of hundred and that's all I'm gonna spend. And once it's Plus gone, it's gone. I win. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Once it's gone, then I might just hang around and watch <laughs> <laughs> and live vicariously through other people's gambling. I've got the uh, job back up, so you should be able to join up on me the same way you did before. Oh, Unless you want me to send I you an invite. Don't... Oh, it's okay. I accidentally quit out of the game. Oh. I just wanted to leave the world I was on. I didn't want to leave the game. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before with this game because the I sometimes confuse quit and career. Because mm. you want to go back to like the career menu, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to see what other jobs yeah, you have. Enjoy. And it's like, eh, no, you're just going to quit the game. It's fine. This is why she has a chat feed. Her gotcha addiction. <laughs> addiction. 
<laughs> Look, I don't make you guys do anything. <laughs> you guys just want to see me happy with my new rat mama. <laughs> to be fair, I worked very hard for that. I worked very hard for it. <gasps> Fix is back. We haven't Sorry. gone to Vegas at all since you turned 21 a while back, but your family wanted to take you out um, and take you, but the world was on oof mode back then. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Vix is in here somewhere. Didn't you the initial qualifier? Yeah, you're so sweet. Oh, there's Vix. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, I'm so glad it saved. Yeah. Hiya. I don't know if it saved, like, absolutely everything we did, but it saved most of it. Yeah. And back we go. You know what we could do, actually? Hmm. For, my, for, for you guys. I'm actually going to play that... Um... Fuck, what did I save it as? <laughs> uh, I want, um... Oh, where is it? There's the thing I just saved. How do That's... I use YouTube? <laughs> I'm going to turn that off just because I'm not familiar with what... Oh, I'm so glad I turned that off because that has my name there. Um, <laughs> how do I look at just my bookmarks? What did I save? What are you trying to find? You, you, my channel. I saved a lo-fi... Ah, stream music. I, I saved a lo-fi um, soundtrack. Ah. So I'm going to put it on for, for everyone. Go away, ads. Ads, go away. No, I do not want to subscribe to this. Where is my music? Oh, I'm mute. Yeah. How much is the pay to wash up? How much is this job paying? Is what jo which job paying? Oh, the this job one? the job that we're we're doing. I guess five hundred and fifty dollars a piece. I'm assuming. Um, oh, hold on. I don't know. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Wait, you're getting six hundred dollars for this? You're getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> Mine says um, it uh, should be worth about one hundred and thirty-seven. Although maybe maybe it's because, because you've already paid. done it in your career. Yeah. Because someone's an overachiever. It's about per minute auto save, so you shouldn't lose more than 60 seconds. Yeah, it saves pretty regularly. <clears throat> What's well, good, because uh, we didn't lose too much. No. It's really seamless saving, too. Like, you don't notice. Please let me know if the, um... if uh, For my chat, please let me know if the music is too loud or too soft. Just noticed your stream wow. was at 360p. No wonder everything looks censored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna look, that's gonna look bad. Though so sometimes I probably should be censored. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any more pixels? <laughs> I should just get like a set. Oh my god. What? My new model is gonna have so much freedom. You know what I should do? I should get black sensor bars. And I can turn certain parts of my clothing off. I for the creativity. I'm sorry. As soon as I get my model, as soon as I get my model, there's gonna be so much I can do. That's taking your life in your own hands, right there. Yeah. Especially with how Twitch is very, very uh, keen to ban VTubers for anything and everything these days. I won't be nude or anything, but I can be, like, implied. Oh, it doesn't matter. You don't even have to stream to be banned by Twitch. Oh, yeah. You can't imply you aren't wearing clothes on Twitch just for your... Oh, no, yeah, no. I can, like... But, I was, oh, no, I was thinking, like, I can, um... I can take my bra off, but have my shirt on, and then I can have the, uh, the wet shirt toggle and put censored things underneath my shirt. In Minecraft. In Minecraft? <laughs> Never mind. Okay.
But yeah, you're right. Having the centered bar thingy over the top of everything might not be a good idea. But I could. I can do it for a Twitter at least. Oh yeah, you could definitely do it for like social media. <laughs> Easy. Bob, I, I feel like I'm missing a meme. <laughs> I'm showing my age again, aren't I? <laughs> Yes, indeed. Twitch will ban VTubers for existing. You don't have to ever have streamed ever, and you'll just get banned for making an account. Did the account have something? Um, no, there was a VTuber like, who was like just. It? There was a VTuber who was like just setting up. Had never done a stream before, and had only ever interacted with a couple of people. And they just got uh -huh. their account banned for. And Twitch never gave a reason. I wonder if it was name based or if the people that they interacted with just banned, um, reported them. It could have been. I don't know. Because I, 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 not going to 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 say that Twitch wouldn't do things for no reason. But I mean, if you've just made an account and you've only interacted with a couple of people, <clears throat> I don't know. They don't just and never done a stream. Yeah, they they. They have too much to do to just randomly go on a witch hunt for random newbies. But people who would mass report definitely have the free time, for sure. Oh yeah, people who would mass report have no lives. This is the best game for people who hate dying in games and losing progress. Yes, it is. There's really no way to fail oh. in this game. No, there's not. I I will never play a Souls game. Besides Hollow Knight, <laughs> I will never play a Souls game. I watched Vyra play Elden Ring, and I just I I I'm I do not have the patience for it's that. Like, this is definitely a game for you, not for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I commend Vyra and anyone else who has played through Elden Ring. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna die. A lot. I mean... <laughs> Way I'm, more I'm, than I mean, once. Hang on, wait, I have, to, I have to rephrase that. I'm gonna die a lot, but I mean in my soul. Your dark soul? In ha -ha. my, in my, ha -ha -ha. In my horny soul. <laughs> Bezos might be listening. I will fight him. I will I, I, I will I will smother him. And not in the good way. In my bosoms. I will choke him with them. Oh what I, a, I shouldn't say that. Shouldn't what say a that. what a way to go that though. That was a bit much. <laughs> that was a bit much. Cons consensually. I could think of way worse ways to go. In Minecraft. Yes. In Minecraft, I, take it back. I don't want to get canceled. No one clip that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone clip it right now. Send it to Jeff Bezos no. personally. No, no. <laughs> if you do that, I will cry. Send it to his personal email address while he's on vacation. Wondering is great. You just pick up a bleed build and die until you throw your PC out the window. <laughs> but I need my PC for everything. <laughs> the only way y'all will get me to play Elden Ring is if you buy me a PC I can throw out the window. <laughs> <laughs> then I will play it. Or pay you a million dollars just to play it. Oh, fuck. If you pay me a million dollars, I will... I don't, is there a game you wouldn't play for a million dollars? Not that I... Oh, be careful. No, be I careful because someone out there is just crazy enough to do it. Not that I can think of. Well, in that case, yeah, I'll play anything for a million dollars. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Test me. Try me. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I will play the back rooms for a million dollars. I will finish... I will finish Visage for a million dollars. I will play Spider Farm Simulator for a million dollars. 
someone please tell me that Spider Farm Simulator is not a real thing. <laughs> uh, I I would. VR chat for personal reasons. That would. Not... I will VR chat with you for a million dollars. I would not be surprised uh, if like Spider Farm Simulator was actually like a real thing. Yeah. There are people out there who unironically like spiders, and I call those people nuts. I mean, yeah, there's still, there's a lot of people that love that love spiders. So spiders, look, as an arachnophobic, I I feel like I can I can still say this, but spiders can, depending on the breed, can make great pets. Uh, nope. I'm nope. never gonna do it, but nope. <laughs> they can make great pets. They can do tricks even depending on the breed. See, see that the, you know that thing about what game would you not play for a million dollars? I would even for a yeah. million dollars, you could not pay me enough to have a pet spider. Depends on if I have to, how much I have to interact with it. Well, you have to take care like of if it if I it's your to... pet. Yeah, well, I mean, like I'll feed it, but can I cover up the glass? Can I just literally put it away like a leper? <laughs> <laughs> It's, don't look at it, it's hideous. Also, hi, Belle, how are you? I just response with it, it's different than playing a game. Yeah, it is. The tarantula, you can get away with ignoring it for a while. Yes, but I could not get away from ignoring the fact that it is around me. Yeah. And makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> oh, no. I'm good. I am doing good, Belle. Good morning. Can I get a shout out for Bell, please? And for Bob? Hiya, Huntress. How are you, honey bun? Yes, you did try to get pink. You got some pink. You got bubble gum. Yay. I'm tossing a cricket every once in a while. Pour some water in the bowl and mist the terrarium and you're golden. Yeah, you're fine. Just pretend. Oh, I, I, just thinking about it moving. It's. It's unnecessary amount of legs. Yes. Very unnecessary. And why are they furry? They Do, do, do they think being furry is going to make them cuter? Because dep well, depending on the breed it is. Not cute I mean, enough for me to touch I mean, listen. It, but... There are dogs and cats that got fur, and some of them are ugly as sin. Yeah, I'm still going to touch one of those, though. Although I have to say, though... The new expansion for WoW um, is very spider themed. Oof. Um, but thankfully, thankfully, like the arachnids that are that are in there, they're more like alien kind of spiders. So they don't really resemble spiders that much. Um, but the the babies though, the babies are so cute. I love them. Soon, I'm gonna stop you right there because they're I'm not gonna... traditional spiders. Soon, I'm gonna stop you right there. Do not give them any ideas because they will make a spider girl vtuber and i'm not here for it there already is spider girl vtubers i know but whole alive will and i don't want to see that i, I just, listen don't don't disrupt what i love that's okay you just don't have to follow that one yeah but they're eventually going to do collabs with someone i do like then you just don't watch those streams but you gotta coll you gotta support your ocean <laughs> See, this is the bind it puts me in, and I don't like it. Don't give them ideas soon, please. Would people who yiff as spiders be called furries or something else? I don't want to think about what that'd be called. I don't think that they would be furries. Oops, sorry. I just um gave your penis the Jewish treatment. Um, oh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard um, that in my life. I think I don't think that they would be furries because arachnids are very are very different. Like amphibian uh, amphibians, they're they're called scalies, right? I assume so. so. I I'm not super versed arachnids, in the terminology. Arachnids would be called something different. Leggies. Arachnid lovers would be called something different. Leggies. No, I wouldn't say leggies because then you've got centipedes and they're an insect. That's true. What do you think Jewish people do? That was the entire tip. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Vix, you saying Vix isn't your Oshi? Listen, not what are they? 
listen soon if you watched our episode we did where john and i talked about our uh favorite vtubers you would know that vix is definitely my ocean Aww, thank you What are centipedes? I really want to know. They're not insects, because insects have six legs. Oh. Or at least I've always thought that insects are six-legged. You're a moderator. Does that make Vix my Oshi too? Yeah, you've given me enough money to qualify as an, uh, uh, for me being your Oshi. Well, if, if money is the qualification, I think I got that in the bag. Yeah. Yeah, you do, yeah. Anthropo uh, arthropods. Oh, that arthropod. makes so much sense. All insects have six legs. Centipedes have more. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, se <laughs> several. Centipedes have several legs. You have a few more, yeah. Are things that need to be kept the fuck away from you. Oh, you don't like centipedes? I really like them. Sometimes their legs hurt when they walk on me, though. My skin's very sensitive. Is that Does that happen often enough to, for it to be a problem for you? No. Okay. But, like, if I'm rescuing one from inside the house or something and I need, I need to move it or something... Oh, that's fair enough. And that's fair enough. Move it. But its legs can be... They're quite pointy. Mm. Yeah, Not it's like they're walking on their tiptoes all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, it, it doesn't sting as much as a beetle, but... I have, I have very sensitive skin. Did she say she gave my penis the Jew treatment? Yes, she Ask did say that. Question. Sorry, what was that? Someone in the chat said, did she say I gave your penis the Jew treatment? I did, yes. <laughs> I nipped the tip. First off, what the fuck? <laughs> Words centipede is already what they are in in that sense. It's comparable to arachnid or insect. Oh, now oh. learn more every day. Then Vix knows what a circumcision is. <laughs> you know what a circumcision is. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, what would you call nipping the I, tip? I off mean, of I I know for a fact. Penis? I know for a fact she knows what it is because I seen her draw it. <laughs> A gross medical accident. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Touche. Fair enough. I am so glad. I, look, I, I'm not glad that your internet cut down. Right? I'm sad for you. I'm uh, glad okay. that it was back. But <laughs> where is this going? Did, I have found this playlist on YouTube now, and I'm very happy that I did. Oh, so you don't have to listen to me, Ran Blonde? No, it's just nice background music. Hmm. It's Lord of the Rings lo-fi. It's really nice. And I love Lord of the Rings. For anyone that knows me, they know how much I'm a Lord of the Rings freak. Though I'm not freaky enough to have read the books. I tried. Oh, I read The Hobbit, no problem. So I tried to read book one of Lord of the Rings and oh, that was so hard. I think I could read it now that I'm older. I'm rereading the wheel of uh, the wheel of time now. How's that? Good, good. I just started sec uh, the second book. Nice. Before, when I was reading it when I was younger, I got up to somewhere in the third book, and then I stopped for God knows whatever reason. I've just recently picked it back up again, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad you're having a good time. Me. Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to get like one of those. Uh, like audible app things but i don't know if i want to commit to buying it so i'm just found a free copy online <laughs> hey that works too but the free copy means that like occasionally i'll get pop-ups or ads or something on my phone and i'm like i know that this isn't safe but i haven't decided whether or not i want to buy something and gives you a chance to try it oh yeah it is the Hobbit's a lot shorter. It's a much easier to read because, like, oh, Tolkien, Tolkien has this tendency of just... Sorry, did you say stop? 
I'm stuck. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on this roof. Eh. Oh. There we go. Eh. Oh, okay, we go. good. Oh, yeah. I sometimes get stuck going up slants as well. You have to jump. There we go. Well, um, since I'm up Tolkien here, I'll do has the this roof. tendency, much like the Bible, of just saying son of, son of, and this is son of this, and the son of this person, and I'm like, I don't care. Just tell me the story, because now I've forgotten your point. Just give me a name and move on. <laughs> I have forgotten the point of how this started. This is like being inside my own brain. It's funny, because for me, like, I do like Lord of the Rings. I think The Hobbit is actually a better story. Uh, but um, I do like Lord of the Rings, although I will say, as much as people suck off J.R.R. Tolkien as like the greatest fantasy writer of all time, he's not that good. His writing is okay. Yeah. It's the it's the type of story that he's telling that's good. Yeah, the world that he's made, the, the, the fantasy world and stuff that he's made, fantastic. Absolutely. It set the precedence for a lot of fantasy, uh, fantasy oh. stuff. The blue? writing itself? Sorry. Oh, I think when we came back in, it changed our clothes again. Oh, no. Am I blue? You are blue. Uh, okay. There we go. Um, the writing itself, though, look, it's aged. Yes. I also, find that as let's, well, be like, let's be Tolkien, honest. Let's be honest. Tolkien was not the greatest at coming up with character names. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know that's heretical to, to say fair. to some people, but... That's better than me. I mean, reading reading my fanfiction on stream, I've got Nathais, I've got Kielna, and then I've got Darcy. See, that sounds cool, though, especially if those are surnames. No, they're first names. Oh, that's tragic. But as surnames, yeah. those sound yeah, pretty good. Hard. Yeah, no. Nathais and Kiona are demons, and they're, sis uh, they're, uh, they're siblings, and then I've got Darcy, who is also a demon. Mm. <laughs> and the big bad. He is supposed to be the big bad. You're blue, da-boo-dee-da-boo-da. Da -da. Oh, I could ramble with the best of them, yeah. Yeah, oh, I loved, I loved reading The Hobbit. I absolutely adored The Hobbit. See, and everyone Not talks about Lord of the Rings, but I still think The Hobbit, Hobbit is a better story. No, I agree. I agree. I do agree with that. But Lord of the Rings I, always I gets the... I absolutely love Lord of the Rings. I will watch that anytime. It's my, one of my comfort movies, actually. Mm. Um, but I do agree that Lord of the, uh, that the Hobbit is better. But Lord of the Rings gets all the, like, the credit and the adoration. and. Well, the thing with Lord of the Rings is that when it came out, like all of the graphics, the actors and whatnot. Like it was a phenomenal movie for its time. Oh yeah, the Peter Jackson movies, yeah. Yeah. And that's why it gets so much recognition. And they're long. They're they're long. Oh, they are so long and I love it. I will watch the shit out of the extended edition. That's the only edition I will watch. I tried watching a normal edition once, and I was like, wait, what? No, where's this scene? Ex excuse me? No. <laughs> Give me my, like, 18-hour cut of Lord of the Rings, please. I have settled down for the next three and a half hours. I expect three and a half hours worth of movie. <laughs> I paid I for three and a half hours of movie. Old. I paid for three and a half hours of movie. You're going to give it to me, damn it. I enjoy long things. <laughs> yeah. The size that counts. But, I mean, long things of a good thing is, is pretty good. <laughs> I really need to play the Legos, um, the, the Legos Lord of the Rings games. Oh, the Lego Middle Earth stuff? Yeah. Yeah, Liam in the chat has just talked about Lyra, it. I want to play Lyra, but we never really have like, time. And I'm... I'm like, let's play Lord of the Rings, let's play Lord of the Rings, but there's always, like, something else. Mm. So I either need to play with Vyra or find another friend to play it with me. Wow. Right. Oh, I should, uh... Oh, thank God there's not fall damage in this game. Yeah. Can you imagine if there was fall damage? What the fuck? Ah, uh, nope. 
I mean, I could certainly imagine it. How would we get our health back? Spray each other with water. Oh, okay. We are water powered. Yes. I'm still pretty determined to get myself a model one of these days of a solar panel with a face. What? <laughs> I am. <laughs> explain. So I'm, I'm Please explain. Powered. I'm very solar powered as a person. The sun makes me happy, right? Okay, okay, but okay. Sometimes I make the mistake and say I'm solar paneled. <laughs> I'm determined to get a solar panel model. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> when the sun goes down, it loses power. Oh god, yeah. Bob's right. How would we get our, our health back in, in single player? Oh, that's a good Spray question. upwards. Just, yeah, spray upwards and just fall into it. <laughs> Make it rain. It's raining men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen. I like how in that song they, they rhyme men with amen. Yeah. It's this is a brilliant rhyme scheme right there. An arcade light, light gun game. Aim outside the frame to reload. <laughs> oh man. I love those old arcade hey, cabinets like that. Can I not go under this dinosaur? What the fuck is this? I am small enough to go under this dinosaur. Fine. Now it just looks like he's casting have you, a shadow. Have you asked the dinosaur for consent? Wait. <laughs> Come back here. We were actually talking about Time Crisis during the WTF a couple of days ago and how it's just still fun. Time Crisis. The arcade cabinet. We were talking on the oh, WTF yeah. over the weekend. Shinoda brought up how like arcade machines are kind of timeless. Um, oh. And one of the things we brought up was the Time Crisis um well, John brought that up, but I remember playing it too, and it was fun. <laughs> I'm like nine feet tall. You need to show your small enough to get under this playground. I'm also a shapeshifter. I can make myself small. Basically, very, very small. There we go. Keep forgetting that. <laughs> Don't worry. With model with a uh, 2.0, I think it'll be pretty impossible to forget that I'm a shapeshifter. It's going to turn into like a Pokemon right in front of your eyes. Well, maybe not to that extent, but I'm going to have a lot more forms to use. That and, would be uh, cool though, wouldn't it? Play with. <laughs> that would be cool if you could just have someone redeem just transform and you could transform into like any fictional character they say. Yeah. That would require... Oh, that would cost so much money. It would, it would still be cool to see. Yeah. Not practical, but still cool. Well, there is me as a Pokemon. I do exist as a Pokemon. I have a Whooper form. Mm. Courtesy of Mama. Mama... Ten thousand percent turn into a Vaporeon. I am still so tempted one of these days to ask Way to give me Vaporeon ears and a tail. You would turn me into a strawberry? Mm. That strawberries are tasty hard. though. You know, I actually don't like strawberries. It's too <gasps> sweet for me. Well. I, I mean to be Fair enough. It's really ironic. You'd think someone as sweet as me would be like, oh yeah, I like sweet things, but I actually don't really. A fix trying to mount a dino without consent. <laughs> I'm what with a dino? <laughs> Mounting a dino. <laughs> oh. I don't see the dinosaur complaining. 
Well, he's he's kind of a figure. He can't complain. <laughs> I forget who it was I was watching one time, but they're like, "Have you ever asked your dildo for consent?" I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what? You're right. I haven't asked any of my dildos for consent. <laughs> I don't know why, Maybe. but every time I think about that now, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Have you asked your dildo for consent? And you're right. Maybe they don't want to be dildos. I'm putting Toy Story logic into this now. Exactly. What if they were created, but they don't want to be what they were created for? Just, anything is possible. I really like the texture of this dinosaur. Okay. They didn't have to go to the the effort of giving this dinosaur scales, but they did. To be fair, they didn't have to go to the effort to putting like the rainbow effect in here either, but they did. It's so satisfying. The people that make these simulation games just absolutely know what the people want. They they're definitely designed for a specific audience, and they kind of most of them. I won't say all of them, but most of them do kind of hit the nail on the head. Like like for example, yeah. the um, I play American Truck Simulator a lot, and I just, I don't know what it is. I'm literally just doing a job, and it just it scratches that itch. Yeah. Just holding, uh, just looking out for us, avoiding a sweetness, regular singularity. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. Rainbow effect is kind of necessary given the basis of the game. Yeah, all that sunlight in the water. Oh, I never actually pointed my nozzle at the sun before. Oh That's my! Cute. We're gonna put the sun out. Where is the sun in here? Oh, there it is. Does it do something for you? Because it's not doing anything for me. Yeah, if I've got the water on and I'm pointing it at the sun, there's like a ripple. It's in the sky, thank you, Bob. Yeah, I think yes, the the sun is in the sky. I got you. <laughs> you know, it'd be a funny <laughs> Easter egg is if you actually kept shooting the sun with the water and you just put it out. That'd be a fun little. Oh Easter my egg. god! It just turned everything to nighttime. Yes. I can't wait. You. Oh. I don't know. You, we need to get you further on in the story. There's some... This game gets wacky. Oh, I have no doubt. Like, some of the messages that you get sent sometimes are a little odd. I don't know. I, I actually don't... Is this as far as you've gotten? Is this the... Um, so far, yeah. This wait. is a, this is the n newest job I have access to. Okay. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but there's a job in the future. Uh, not not the future, but, like, in... in, in <laughs> As in the future of this game. There's a problem in, yeah, in the future of this game. And I read the text messages, and I'm concerned. I feel like I should not be cleaning what it is that I'm cleaning and should actually be calling the police. This but has hey, turned I'm into getting... crime scene cleaner after a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, uh, uh, should, should I be... Am I a part of this? Am I an accessory now? Have I, Have I committed a murder? You know what was funny and it made me laugh? Uh, I think it was last night or night before last. Um, when I was sharing with you those commission ideas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you sent me a message that says, Lynn's a murderer? And I just, I was imagining how you would say that in real life. It's like, Lynn, Lynn's a murderer? <laughs> my, my, my. My creation my, is a murderer? <laughs> you made her a murderer? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's just like a bad boy. Like, what? <laughs> She's the bad guy of this story. Really what? Right. You made this sweet, huh? innocent child the bad guy? It's like, yes. Well, look, the first, her first kill, I get that. I hmm. get it. I, I, I'm okay with that. But also, oh no, I, no. I feel you... bad for her victims. I mean, you shouldn't. Her victims are not good people. <laughs> Oh, what about the ones she kills for fun? Okay, those those are those you should feel bad for. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it's funny fit. too because when I when I when we first designed the character, right? This is what years like three, four years ago now, maybe even longer. Yeah. Um, it's been a while. You know, we kind of are well, outdated now. I kind of yeah, I kind of you know envisioned her as just like this bratty schoolgirl type. But the more and kind of like Sundere like, and that's sort of how I was telling people where she was like. And that's as I started developing these stories and the setting and everything, I'm like, I really need someone who's just fucking sociopathically evil. And then I looked at her design, and I'm like, no one will expect it. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, Lynn. It's you. <laughs> it's it was always you. Hi, Dora. You like my title? Are you getting wet? Wet. Yes, I did lie to you soon. I'm sorry. I I told you there'd be a Sundere, and she was not a Sundere. <laughs> no, she is a psychopath. She's something. I do love having the character designs. It makes writing stories easier. For me, at least, it does. Because like, I have a oh, yeah. visual representation of the character. Yeah. I don't know if that makes writing stuff easier for you when you can actually see what the character looks like. Mm, depending on what it is that I'm writing. Like, sometimes mm -hmm. whatever it is that I'm writing, I might need... Um, mm. Not so much a character reference as a mood reference. Hmm. Because I mean, uh, uh, look, it's been a it's been a long time since I wrote anything original. Mm -hmm. um, so just basing, just going off from fan fiction anyway. Like I know what my char I know what the characters that I'm writing look like off by heart. I don't need really the reference. But sometimes I might need just like the general mood of the story that I'm writing. Mm. Does that help you when you do art as well? Like if someone were to come to you with like an original character they want you to do and they, they are like describing the personality of the character as well as like the like mood the piece is supposed to give off? Not really. Honestly, when I'm when I'm designing a character, I just need to know the 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 details of what the physical it looks details. Like exactly. Yeah, I like the knowing the personality and whatnot doesn't help me. Hmm. If anything, it just kind of floods the information that I've been given. Yeah, fair enough. Let's see. Are these dirt? Oh, they are dirty on the outside, too, of course. How does a place get allowed to get this dirty? I know, I know. Before I you send someone so to clean it. I know, I ask this so much, I don't understand. Like it honestly looks like a helicopter flew by with dumped a oil giant on it. fucking balloon of mud and just dropped it. It's like it dumped just crude oil on it. Like what even? <clears throat> My name being Soon in the server isn't a coincidence. I love Soon. I I know. We all know you love Sundre. Like the turn of the character. Yeah, exactly. The turn of the character. Exactly. Like, there's, there's a lot of, um, in particular, again, I'm going to go back to Yu-Gi-Oh! because that's just what I'm familiar with. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! fan art out there, and mm -hmm. some of them, like, some of them really capture more the mood and, and feeling of the character. And if I'm in, if I'm writing that kind of fic, then I'm going to want to look at that kind of character so I can just kind of, like, uh, write vicariously through it. Gotcha. It's the same with music as well, though. Music's a big, a big inspiration thing. You find mm. the song that kind of captures what they're feeling or going through, and you just listen to that on repeat while you're writing. Mm. I do that sometimes. Like I'll, I, when I'm writing, uh, especially like short stories and stuff, and I need a particular mood for a scene that I'm writing, I'll go find mm. music that I think would fit that scene, and I'll just listen to it on loop while I'm writing that scene. Yeah. Exactly. There's a couple of fanfics that I want to write eventually when I do get back to writing fanfiction one day. Mm -hmm. um, based off of, like, some songs as well. 
I'm like, oh, this is perfect. Bad Habits is one of them from... I couldn't hear what you said at the end there, what? Oh, I said Outcast question mark. I oh. I think that's the band, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it's Outcast. No, maybe this game takes place in Detroit. You Maybe. Fan fiction 2, The Return of Dice Queen. No, I already... No, I, I have a fan fiction account which you guys do not know about. <laughs> <laughs> and it is much better... <laughs> Because it's much newer. <laughs> do you do you still keep like all the stuff you've written, like yeah, from I years ago? On, I write on Google Doc. Oh no, not from years ago. No, oh. I don't have any of that anymore. Like from from Dice Queen, I don't have any of that anymore. Um, but everything else though, I started writing on um, Google Docs, so everything's saved. Okay. It's a mess, but everything's saved. Well, the good thing about that is you can make infinite folders. Well, yeah, exactly. I can, can um, eventually one day when I go out, go through and clean it up and stuff. I, yeah, I can put it into folders. I at no. least was organized with the fan with the uh, fanfic that I had with Busta. Hmm. See, I've kept stuff that I've written all the way back through like middle school. Boy, let oh, me yeah. tell you something. Reading that now is in a. a nearly a year old adult um <laughs> oh it's a trip bob you need a voice like not like an not like an accent but a way of speaking oh yeah never forget bruce in a wig <laughs> what wait oh sorry i'm just reading back on stream why was scout crying last stream why what happened who was crying? What? Scout. Roosts in a wig. Since Ben Groot. Wait, is that why she was crying? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. She's playing Twilight. Uh, she's playing, um, playing Twilight Princess, isn't she? I see. Yeah. I love Scout. Ryan, can you shout out Scout for me, please? And Scout is crying, but she did have her model set to crying. Yeah, oh, she's so cute when she cries. Like her model is so cute when she cries. I mean, I don't want her to cry. I love her to death, <laughs> unless they have tears. I like how you had to specify that. It's like, yes, cry, cry right now. It brings me joy. It brings me joy to see you distraught. No, the only crying I will be happy with is crying after an intense orgasm by me. <laughs> and y'all can tell her that. <laughs> it's okay. I will only traumatize my fanfic characters. I will not intentionally traumatize my friends. <laughs> intentionally. I will not intentionally traumatize. I cannot make any promises that the things that comes out of my mouth will be traumatizing. Yeah. Do you, do you want me to send you that message? Yeah, you can. You can clip it if you like. I don't mind. She'll get a kick out of it. The gnomes know where I live. Well, I hope the gnomes like the taste of lead. So why no gnomes? There are no gnomes on this map, but I do know there are maps where there are gnomes you can pick up. Now they look freaky yeah. as hell. I mean, they're just they're just garden gnomes. Just silly little guys. Yeah, just just little guys. Really, a great stream to draw to. I yeah, right. I this is why I love this kind of content because it's yeah, just me so too. Chilling. So relaxing. That's I. That's why I kind of like love your art streams because it's something that I can put on, especially if I'm working. Because I work from home, mm -hmm. I can just have it up on my extra screen and just like have something to relax to while I work. Yeah. Well, now huh? that I've got the details for Ada, I can do 
Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, you can do that on Twitch. Um, yeah, I can do that on Twitch. You can't do the other one on Twitch. Oh. I, you know, I can't do the other one on Twitch. No matter oh. how I censor it, I cannot do that one on Twitch. <laughs> no. Actually, I a majority of the ones besides the portrait ones you can't do on Twitch. Yeah. I considered doing the reference one on Twitch if I just gave uh, Fen, um like, a bikini to wear, but mm. then there was the close-ups, which... That was I, not going to be... It's going to be too difficult. Yep. I'm drawing an actual pussy. I cannot hide that. Yeah. I haven't actually shared that in our Discord server yet, so for those of you who are... Uh, watching the stream right now, Vix actually just finished a slight, I won't say a, a total redesign of our mascot, Finn, uh, but she has added extra details and alterations to Finn's design, which looks really good. It doesn't look like a total redesign, although I will mention I did have to sort of alter her body shape and everything because she's got more muscles and everything now so hmm. her silhouette is changed hmm. um but it's not a total like from the ground up redesign yeah no it's not a not a total from the, re um, from the ground i will say though if you want me to hmm. change the the clothing to fit her new body uh huh. I will have to charge for that because you've got a lot of outfits. Oh, that's fine. And actually, I was I was gonna mention that off sc off stream, but yeah, I will one hundred percent be down the road. Probably not. Probably till the beginning of next year or something. But be wanting mm -hmm. to do that um, that reference sheet with her outfits. Yeah, because you've you've got a few outfits there, and because her body shape has changed um, to accommodate the new muscles, they are all gonna need to change. Yeah. I figured as much, but um, I thought that's something we could save for later. Yes. I do love the new design, though. It is sexy. I am happy with the stomach and how that came out. Mm, me too. I should probably actually yeah, post it. Her to be like lean and whatnot. I was like, she already kind of is. You just can't really see it with sh without shading. Mm -hmm. But if I just add maybe these lines here. And it worked. Yeah. Just to give that, like, illusion. I think that's all right about. You've designed so many original characters for me. Over you know the, the tomboy's weakness, Vix? <laughs> yeah. What? Working on an odd drawing, it's too late to fix properly with what you've learned over time, but you still want to at least finish it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you're working on a drawing and then you've learned like a lot of skills since then and then you go back to that drawing and you're like, it's probably worth completely redoing, but that's also a lot of mental space that I do not have. Mm. So just finish it and move on. I've done that with some old stories that I've written um, where mm -hmm. I go back and I reread them. And I'm like, there's an actual kernel of a good story here. It's just at the time I wrote this, I was not anywhere near as good as I am now. Mm -hmm. So I'll just take, like, the basic idea and just write, rewrite around it. Yep, 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 yep. I have done that with a couple of, um, even current fix. I've done that with a couple of them because I'm like, I, I know what I'm trying to get to and I'm just not quite getting it. So I have to restart the, the fic again hmm. and again until I finally get it. And I suck at, like, sticking to a plan. Mm -hmm. so, I'll write it and then I'll go off tangent and be like, oh, I really like where I've gone here, but this doesn't fit where I was originally going. God damn it. Let's just <laughs> see where it goes. And then you go back to the beginning. It's like, man, this is nothing like the beginning. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh, th this isn't capturing the mood that I wanted in the first place. So you end up starting again. But, but sometimes that's a good a thing because you end up writing something even better. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Because if you go with the flow, um, then yeah, of course. It, sometimes it can just turn out so much better than you had originally planned. But then uh, you're also just... You may also just not capture what you wanted. Mm-hmm. Like, I've got two fanfics at the moment. And they're both currently going. Because I started one. I went on a tangent. <laughs> I was like, damn it. As you, as you I, do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I went on a tangent. I'm like, damn it, I, this isn't where I wanted to be, but I like where kind of this is going, and people are reading it, so I'll start again. And so I'll have, like, 
two of the same kind of fic, but they're mm. not. They're 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 different. Similar like, like different feel, things. but different <laughs> method. Yeah, almost like trying to get what I need. I get what you. Is this thing. I get what you Hi, mean. Hi, yeah. Stan. How are you? There we go. You're right, Classy Ulysses. It looks very clean now. Well, I won't say very clean. It looks a lot cleaner than it was. That purple dinosaur is popping. Goddamn. That is a sexy dinosaur. There is a dinosaur game that I want to play. Um, where you get to be a dinosaur. Shit, is it like Jurassic Park? Um... Cause that would be cool really? being a being a dinosaur in Jurassic Park sounds really cool. I get to eat people. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's no people. Damn. There's other dinosaurs. Other players can be different dinosaurs and whatnot. Oh, like a survival I think I know what you're talking about. I've heard of this game. I forget what it's called, but I think I know what you're talking about. It's on my wish list. A friend of mine has it. Yeah, I remember seeing someone. Uh, talking about, I think it may have even been on our Discord server, um, talking about this game like a couple of months ago. Hmm. I'm gonna look it up. That's where she'll be watching later. She knows. <laughs> Wonderful. There is my wish list. No, no. Store, no. Yay! Got that ding. Okay. So satisfying. No, it's got. I must have passed it. I surely must have passed it. That's a shame. Oh god! <laughs> There's a game on my wish list called Vampire Therapist, but they. <laughs> The, 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 the font that they've used for therapist is just bad, and I misread it terribly. Oh, oh, oh no, I think I know what you might have read it as. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. Oh no, that is, listen, font is very important. Uh-huh. And I think oh, it's something yeah, that people oh. don't give enough thought to sometimes. Put a space in somewhere in therapist or you know space out the letters add some kerning to your letters i mean that's very important too yeah bob you get it you get it <laughs> i know exactly what you uh misread it as mm -hmm. how come i can't find it on my wish list oh wait the aisle I remember a long time ago, I mean a very long time ago, when I was young enough to where I shouldn't have been reading this, um, because, you know, the internet back in the day was a wild, wild place. Um, I remember reading a fanfic. Uh, yeah, it can be. I remember reading a fanfic, and it was a Legend of Zelda fanfic. Um, but it envisioned, like, a lot of the main characters from the games being on the game show Jeopardy. And it was funny. It was like a very comedic fanfic. It wasn't a sexual one. Um, mm. But there was a category in that fanfic just called therapist. And Ganon kept okay. intentionally uh, miss uh, saying the name of the category in the fanfic. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ganon, how dare. I mean, very much in character form, I think, though. It's actually... I'd like to think my headcanon of Ganon... Ha, that's, that's fun to say. My headcanon of Ganon is that even he would be like, oh no. <laughs> Look, I'm bad, but not that bad. Hi, Noise, how are you? you there should be spot. no children here. There's an 18 plus. Yeah, if there is any children in here, kindly fuck up. <laughs> Have you considered kindly fucking off? Free PS5 for anyone under the age of 18. All Message you have to do me. is leave. All you have to do is type in exclamation mark PS5 if you are <laughs> under the age of 18. 
Does that you work? Enter into if that if that works, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, do it. It's for real. It's it's a it's a real thing. If you are under the age of 18, type in exclamation mark PS5 for your chance to win a free PS5. I will fund it. <laughs> I'll I'll listen. I'll I'll fund a second free. one. So you can give exactly. away two. Free shipping. free shipping. I will send it to you. Personally, with a kiss <laughs> I'm, mark on it. I, I'm half tempted to go to our ACAD channel and type that into your chat right now to see what happens. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> can I? Can I? I'm being creative. Huh? I hate when you get stuck on this roof. Actually, can I? Where is? Aha, there's the ladder. Ah, uh, Santa, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Wah, wah, wah. There we go. Much better. Much better. I'm coming for you, dirt. <laughs> you will rue the day. Oh, that makes that makes sense. You found me funny. Ah. Right. Oh, there we go. It's like, why is this roof still so dirty? But then I forgot the inside. I haven't cleaned at all. It would help if I did that. I don't think I can do that through there. Isn't there a button to... Nope, that's not it. There we go. That's what I want. I knew there was a button. You could actually just make it a constant stream and you wouldn't have to hold a button down. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I have not. And my my index finger was beginning to hurt. Oh, tell me about it. Uh, the other day, the other day I was playing Sunless and I was using my mouse and keyboard. And I've been grinding really difficult, not difficultly, really hard for um for Jane Doe. And I streamed for like eight hours or so, mm -hmm. and then after that I was still playing. And my God, my finger hurt the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got to be careful with that sometimes, especially if you do long gaming sessions, because you will, uh, you will eventually get hurt. Yeah. And you might not realize it at the time, but you will the next day. I know. I thought there is a way that I can do this. What are you trying to do? Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I won't worry about it then. <gasps> I'm missing so many spots. If I type in... <sighs> I type in user. Are you hacking? No. She's hacking! I'm being creative. Hmm. I don't think that will work, though. Eh. And I don't want to test it online. <laughs> You want to test it on some hapless person? Yeah. I'm just not sure that will work. Let me Google. I am hyper focusing now. Uh. I would. I would assume she's not doing much because she's trying to figure out something. 
It's okay. That's why it's a two-person job. While one person slacks off, the other one can get the job done. Wow. <laughs> I'm being funny, actually. <laughs> I will have you know. <laughs> Alright, what am I missing? Oh. That makes sense. Ah, my nose is running. No! I feel like oh. I should be able to easily do this. I'm just missing something. I'm missing a key thing. Missing a key thing? Oh, are you trying to do something yeah. with your model? No. Oh my god! Are you okay? You're laughing so hard, your mic is peaking. Come on. Yes! You need to unban them really quickly. Oh, what? Who'd you ban? <laughs> you... I made I made the PS5 command. Oh, no. <laughs> You actually made a PS5 no, command that auto bans people. Oh shit. I need um I need to not enable that anymore. Fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on, let me unban people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Oh, it's not quite attuned yet. Um da -da 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 -da. There, we go. there is my ah, no. Ah. Will you fucking place oh, this okay. thing? I turned it off. I turned it off. There we go. I just need to figure out how to unban them. Um. Oh, it's oh. I think what I think some of your people are in our chat now. <laughs> Worse, I think it's just banning everyone who talks with broadcaster privileges. So it's banning mods. I dare not talk there. <laughs> Yeah, um, it, yeah, it's just banning anyone who talks. It was supposed to ban anyone who types oh. an exclamation mark PS5. Vix, you've flown too close to the sun. <laughs> I can fix this, I can fix this! Where's my stream? Can you, though? Yeah, I can fix it, I can unban them. I just need to go to my channel. Has the damage already you. been done? No. <laughs> I will have to remod, um, Brian, though. Ryan, you've banned. You. You've, you've been banned, Ryan. Well, welcome to our stream where you can actually talk right now. <laughs> so, what do you have to say to Figs? <laughs> can I? Vix, you. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. How do I well, unban a person? Well, hey, while everyone's <laughs> here, consider liking and subscribing anime to Anime Club After Dark. I'm just saying, we're trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year. We're also trying to get monetized. We're very, very close. We just need about 300 more hours of watch time on our videos. Let's try to look at the chat box, identify the user, find the username, type unban username. Okay, 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 hang on. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> unban. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, I would have done the same thing, so, I mean, y'all aren't experiencing anything I wouldn't have been. Ban. Who else have I been? I been Ryan. Revenant. Ryan. Uh, unban. Maybe it's a good thing I wasn't talking in your stream tonight. Noise wolf. Uh, 
on me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Every butt. <laughs> My fucking butt got banned. Man, it's like it's like I'm watching the Roman Empire fall right now. It really is. Mother. <laughs> right. <laughs> Please tell me you still have your channel points. Nope, they're all gone. I hope, I hope not, but that would be kind of, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I will laugh if that's the case. <laughs> Fix it just laughing her ass off, I love this. And this boy, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you always be very, very careful of the commands you set up. This is why you don't test live. Yes, that too. <laughs> I'm so glad that I didn't test it on myself. Can I ban myself? Yeah, yes, you can. I've actually seen people do it. You can ban yourself from your own channel. Can you unban yourself? I think a mod has to do it for you. But yeah, you've banned all your mods. That'd be a really great shame if that happened. That's why you don't have auto bank commands. Oh. I just want it for the exclamation mark PS5. <laughs> so, that is not the right trigger that I want. Let's get rid of this trigger. Let's delete that. We don't Twitch that. was triggered, clearly. Okay. That was funny. I'm glad you did that, because that, that was, was very totally funny. funny. That was very funny. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. I'm trying to be funny. Oh, you were funny. <laughs> Just not in the way you anticipated. Yeah. Okay, is it? Hang on, let me, let me, let me disable this command. Uh, that is a good song, Soon. It's a very catchy song. I'm sorry. Oh, I was testing my my command, but I the trigger wasn't quite set up, so I didn't know that any chat would set it off. Oops. It's exactly why you don't test live. This is exactly what test streams are for. <laughs> so how you doing, Vix Chat? I think you should talk in chat right now. <laughs> it is you can talk in chat now. It's it's safe. You're okay. Yeah, fire is napping. I hope I didn't wake him up with my laughter. <laughs> You're safe for now. <laughs> Until she decides to test something else out during stream. Only insane laughing in the screen saying you So sorry. It could have been worse. You could have banned yourself. <laughs> What's the outfit you have on? I am wearing like a leotard kind of thing. That's a zipper. Um. No, I'm sure. I was actually looking in Mix It Up for this when that went off. Um... Wah, wah, wah. Mix It Up doesn't have a Ben oh. user thing, which, oh, if it did, that would be fantastic. All these dings going off, it's great. Yeah, I like it. You're doing great. Thank you. Thanks, Mommy.
Oh, I have to re-enable Seribot as a mod. Oh, that's a shame. Um... Did it get rid of all of your, okay, uh... That was a mod. Um, that was in intended. Um, Ryan, can you ban Sick Dope, please? While I get Seribot back up as my thing. Not but she banned me and forced my hand in calling her a hack. Thank you. Listen, I think it's 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 warranted, Ryan. It's it's definitely warranted. Okay. Where the oh, is it all up there? Okay. All right, now let me see if I can remember how to do this. Um, mod. Ah, let me down. Let me down. Mod type join in chat. Uh, there we go. Join. Pick up. Thank you. Oh, I can't put that there. Because the step ladder is there. I authorize Serimot. So what did we learn from this, Vix? <laughs> Absolutely nothing, and it will happen again. <laughs> Mod Serimot. <laughs> she laughed like Renfield. <laughs> There we go. We've got Seribot as on mod again. Well done. That will protect us. Wonderful. Now, the queen is on. I'm going to lurk. I'm sure I can do this. I'm going to have to do it later. Because you guys are just watching me stand here. <laughs> I mean, they're being Seems entertained. Like trust me. Fine. Yeah. Not showing up, you get fan. Honestly, you're really good. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> what she's gonna learn is that I posted my banned screenshot in the Discord, and Virus gonna ask questions, <laughs> leading to another giggle. <laughs> oh, hang on, it's me. Just, just tell Vira you had a falling out. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and that you made up all in like five minutes. Totally believable. I can't believe that happened. I am oh. a fucking champion. Oh, I can I can one hundred percent believe that happened. <laughs> I can one hundred percent believe you did that during stream. One hundred percent. I didn't know it would happen. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Uh Thank you all well, for coming over to our stream while she was, first. you know, occupied, banning everybody. <laughs> oh, Lord. So I got the variable correct, and now I just need to um, play around with the actual trigger. And not set it to go <laughs> off every time someone off. says a word. <laughs> Saying, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was set to, like, just chat. Just Twitch chat. Instead of, like, with this command ban. Imagine if it banned every single one of your followers. Like, just at just at the same time. And then you got, like, so many people that are like, what did I do? <laughs> I know, right? I have so many people as well. Because I'm, I'm at 2K now. I have so many people that just, like, either haven't logged in in a while. And gone away from you here and drink it. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you know, as far as crazy things that can happen during a stream go, it's not the worst that could happen. You you Thank could have God screwed up way worse. Yeah. Thank God I can unban. My mods actually have control of a very dangerous command. I don't envy that. <laughs> what is the command? Ban Vix? She can't stream no more. <laughs> We're no, taking away streaming privileges stream. away from Vix. <laughs> no, they can end my stream. Oh. It's in case I forget to. 
See, if I did that, I know, I absolutely know that someone would come in here being a little shit and just end it right in the middle of my stream. And I'm like, glad when I saw Ben, like, good fucking job. Vince is real nice. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is all a clever ruse. Rick's, Vix was trying to dox herself live on stream. <laughs> what? Why is Gnome? Hey, what? What? Why is Gnome a permit? An, 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 what? What was was no Gnome auto modded? That's a weird thing. Get gnomed. Oh fuck. I haven't laughed this hard in a while. Eh, don't worry, I'll take my shirt <laughs> off, you'll laugh even harder. Wait, what why is that a joke? Cause I'm ugly. No, you're not. Don't say that. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, you fi you fixed my mental health. <laughs> good job. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, good job. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you feel better. <clears throat> nah, Ryan, you are right. Concerns about bigotry towards Ryan, are you people? watching oh, both yeah. of our streams simultaneously? If so, what a Chad. Most likely. Oi, Ryan, no, stop it. I'll ban you again. <laughs> For real this time. <laughs> <laughs> on purpose this time. <laughs> the first time was an accident. That was on me. The second time, it oh, won't be an accident. <laughs> See, this is how you know Ryan is a real Chad, because he's not only, he's not only watching two streams, he's actively keeping up with two chats. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? It says man that was shot. No, I can't shoot you. I don't live in America. You don't have a gun. No, but she can do something worse. She can shoot your self-esteem. I would never. Ryan does that enough to himself. He doesn't need me to do it. That is true. Bad Ryan. And besides, there is nothing that I could say and mean it. That he hasn't said anything about himself. <laughs> well, anything that I would say to ruin his self-esteem would just not be true. <clears throat> I think the world of Ryan, and he knows it, even if I do accidentally ban him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, they say that it's good to have family. It's just as good to have good friends. Yeah. Well, Ryan, Ryan is most definitely family. And sometimes your friends become even closer than your family. And that's really yeah. good friends. Yeah. Jokes on her, I have not. I'm assuming you mean have no self-esteem. <laughs> Listen, I understand. <laughs> I, I too, am a man. Uh, sorry, you just reminded me of one of my own clues. Just I too have been a fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, I'm into that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mommy? I mean, mommy? Well, sir, if I ever did demean someone, no one would be able to take me seriously because I can't. I, I wouldn't because I can't. I, I know you'd be, you wouldn't be serious because the second you try it, you're going to giggle. Well, the second I say anything like demeaning or anything, I'm going to be like, I'm sorry, you know, I don't mean it right. I love you. Come back, I love you. Because I know how anxiety brains think, and like, I, I would be like, I, I said this thing because you're into it, but you know, I don't really mean it, right? Yeah. If someone calls me like a, a dirty fucking 
a poo poo oh, head. That's gonna be actually too kind. Yeah, if, if if someone called me a a fugly slut in the heat of the moment, I'd be like, um, am I really? <laughs> I wonder if you really do think that. You had to have thought it in order to say it. See, here's the thing. <laughs> if someone were to say something that like that to me, and like I mean genuinely mean it, right? Not like trying to be funny or yeah. something. I'd be, oh, you actually think about me? That's cool. Oh. It's nice to be thought of. It's It's nice to be thought of every once in a while, even if it is bad thoughts. At least, at least I at rested least, your mind. Yay. At least it's a thought. Thank you for sparing the few seconds it took to let me take up the smallest fraction of your mind today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you. See, I can't even think of something incredibly degrading to myself. I mean, I, I mean, I don't have the biggest self-esteem, but I don't even want to say something potentially upsetting for other people. <laughs> Yeah. This is your reminder that the opposite of love is not hatred, folks, but indifference. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of people well, I'd who I'd rather would... be hated than just not thought of. Yeah, it's like a lot of people would think that. I'd rather be hated than ignored, because at least then people are considering you. Yeah. Fight to defend big means fighting big <laughs> I just I go... Choose... <laughs> Ryan says, <laughs> I just go, that's it. Come on, get creative in talking shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, I once said, and this actually uh, haunts me just a little bit. I don't remember if I was an IRL streamer or if I was a VTuber at this time. But I once said on stream, but like, none of y'all can say something to me that I haven't said worse to myself. And I mean, like, legit just, like, kind of regret saying that. Yeah, because then you open broke. yourself up to people trying that out. And... Well, no, I just don't want people to feel uncomfortable. Because I've, like, thought of that. Like, if I heard my favorite streamer say that, I'd be like, Oh, you know, I really want to help you. Use the self-esteem by the offspring. Oh, that's a great song. I fucking love that song. Like how you're just like moonwalking backwards. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's a way I can always get in a tie to laugh? It is it what? it just baffles me that he laughs at this every single time is I do my Mickey Mouse impression and it, he just hysterically laughs. Huh? Don't How you doing, fellas? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Goofy, come the fuck back here right fucking now! I actually really like that song too, to be honest. But I am the one not my son. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's, a, it's such a shame you can't have redeems on YouTube because I would say make Mickey Mouse voice a redeem. <clears throat> I mean, I'll do it. You don't have to redeem it. Just ask me to do it. Yeah. But I mean, like, it's a, just a fun fun little thing that your community can react with. Like, if someone random came into my stream and just said, mm. can you do the Mickey, a, a Mickey Mouse impression? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think I can, but... <laughs> now I kind of want to hear Vix try to do a Mickey Mouse impression. Uh -huh. That's not so oh, bad. Gosh. No, that, that's, that's, uh, that's, no, that's, <laughs> that was, that was goofy. Um, what does Mickey say? <laughs> oh, jeez, Hey, fellas! He says fellas a lot. I don't know why Mickey Mouse always says fellas. It's cute. <laughs> but it's funny because Natai can do a really good Goofy. Uh, and oh, so yeah. sometimes when we get together, we just make Mickey and Goofy say ridiculous shit. You should, you should stream as Mickey and Goofy one day. You should I... stream Kingdom Hearts <laughs> as Mickey and Goofy. Kingdom Hearts is available on PC now, isn't it? It is, yes. On Steam. 
I've never played Kingdom Hearts. Wow, really? I never owned a PS2, so yeah. No, yeah, that makes sense. If in fact, in fact, the only think... PlayStation I've ever owned is the original PlayStation. I miss my original PlayStation. Remember when that um, thing used to turn on and it would blow like, out your eardrums with that startup sound? That was great. Yeah. If you're interested in like Disney Final Fantasy characters and um, <clears throat> like a good a good adventure game that will take you quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and whatnot. It's it's a pretty great game. The controls for PS One, or at least sorry, the fight, the gameplay for PS. <sighs> start again. You want to try the that whole sentence over again? For Kingdom Hearts One, sorry, is a little clunky, but the story is really good. Mm. Um, Kingdom Hearts Two is the best. Mm -hmm. I will fight anyone. Don't. Uh, if you're into, if you get into P uh, Kingdom Hearts One and Two. Mm. Yeah, play three, but don't be excited. Oh, shit. Uh, there we go. Ah! Yay! I am keen to see what they do with, um, Kingdom Hearts 4, though. I am not holding my breath, but I... Look, Kingdom Hearts <laughs> has been with me since childhood, so I will play mm. 4. Oh, yeah, it's... It's like every time a Fallout game comes out, I'm going to play it, even though it's some probably going to be shit. But you never played Kingdom Hearts either, Bell. I would recommend it. I think you'd enjoy it. It's a, it's actually a pretty great game. I do agree with you, Taku. The story is extremely convoluted. Like game one and two, that was fine. That was mm. easy enough to follow along. But then mm. they made the spin-off games on every single fucking console known to man. That really made things unnecessarily complex. Mm -hmm. well, I'd imagine it'd be a little convoluted anyway, considering it's like essentially Final Fantasy s characters with Disney characters. Yeah. Well, it's just like the the actual story, like taking away the Final Fantasy characters and the the Disney characters. The actual story of Kingdom Hearts is quite is quite deep and it's quite long and goes back. A very long way. Ooh. Um. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> What's up? I, you said it's very deep and it's very long and it goes back a long oh. way. I said, ooh, woo. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, woo. Ooh, ooh, woo. Oh, no, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I agree. I agree. I I try to make some sense out of it. And I mean, I've watched people. Kind of okay I've watched people play the game before like... on stream, and like, I get it. It's it seems like a game that the the less you just try to make the game or the story seem like super serious, the more you'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll. Everyone will enjoy one and two. It's after that that it gets ridiculous. Mm. And like, I was, I think I kind of understood it until three came out. It's a very goofy story. And now <laughs> I'm just like, wait. Bob, was that, was that pun intended? Because if so, it's great. A very goofy story. What is that? Uh, that's a good uh, That depends on which one. The first one was Manix. The second what? one is me. Ara, ara. Ara, ara. I mean, yeah, I can do, I can do this. Oh, no, oh, no. I don't know. Can your stream hear that? I assume so. Yeah, yeah, they can hear it. It's coming through your Discord. <laughs> Good. I am glad you can hear it. I can't. I I can't do an ada ada as good as Vix. <clears throat> Let me have some. Oh, I'm over here now. <clears throat> oh. I don't, I don't. How did you do that? How, how are you like horizontal on my stream? <laughs> You're literally horizontal. You're giving me a headbutt. It's a redeem. It's a redeem in my chat. It moves me randomly oh. on my stream. Well, right now you're like trying to sniff my butt, so that's cool. <laughs> 
I'll be here for about five minutes. Okay, well, I hope you like the smell. <laughs> it's It smells very foxy. Thank you. I try. <laughs> oh. oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. I don't mind being sideways on their stream. It's my kind of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what we figured out? Mm. You know what we figured out before um, before we went live? Mm. What did we figure? Oh, <laughs> yes. Now I can see through your head. Yeah, I can see through mine too. Because <laughs> I t had to turn the green screen on, so <laughs> it's supposed to be green. Very nice. Oh, apparently soon can give me a, uh, a seminar on Kingdom Hearts lore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this going to be like you your can... infamous 2 a.m. rants? Yes. Have you heard anyone speak about Warhammer 40k? Uh, uh, more so than I would like to admit, yes. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts fans can can also do that. <laughs> Maybe not to that extent, but you need you need slideshows and everything. We need charts and graphs and. Nothing. <laughs> you started. <laughs> Gosh, Max. <laughs> I wish I could do like an impression, just a random impression. There's a few people I can do <clears throat> pretty decently, Mickey Mouse being one of them. Um, mm. <clears throat> I used to be able to do a good Christopher Walken, but I haven't been able to, or I haven't tried to do it in a while, so I don't know how I sound anymore. But uh, let me see, let me get a drink of water and see if I can still do it. Well, you know, it's just me here, Christopher Walken, washing the park. This park is very dirty. Did I want to be here today? No. But they're paying me $600, so why not? I haven't been in a movie in like four years. Run out of money. Actually, I don't know if Christopher Walken's been in a movie recently. <laughs> I actually don't know if I watched a Christopher Walken movie before. I, I don't know. I cannot answer that. Um, have you ever seen Pulp Fiction? Mm, doesn't ring a bell. He has an epic cameo in that movie. Huh. Your father hid this watch up his ass 11 years. <laughs> what? Uh, it makes sense. Well, it barely makes sense in context, but I will. Let, it's a good movie. You should definitely watch it. It's got a lot of quotable lines in it. Can I break my neck? No, no. I'm just, I'm just hanging. Uh, I'm, I'm just on the side. I'm just hanging out here on the side. She wanted to sniff my butt. I needed to lie down for a little while. He's been in five movies and three TV shows during the last four years. Wow, he's been busy for an old man. He's in his, like, 80s now, I think. Oh, you're right, because he was in um, Dune 2. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Man, he must really be hard up for money if he's acting that much. 81, wow. He might also just be bored. Yeah. It's funny because my parents are retired now, and I'm just wondering, it's like, how many years until they get bored? Yeah. Hey, I mean, if yeah, Bob, if, if you enjoy what you do, do you ever really work? Exactly. Like, if he really enjoys acting and whatnot, then just because he's retired doesn't mean that he should stop. Exactly. It's that old I saying, like, if you if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Yeah. I think I read that Sir, uh, Sir Ian, I think it was, 
um, said that so long as my mind still works and my legs still work and my lungs still work, I'm going to keep doing what I love. Well, if he keeps falling off stages, his body won't work for much longer. Oh, no. Did you hear about that? It was like, I think it was like two or three months ago where he was doing, he was acting in a play, I believe. Um, and he just fell right off the stage. Oh, no. I did not hear about that. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine now. I'm sure with the people that were there watching it were um, quite distraught. I would be so scared. My care a part of me would be like, no, I have to help you. Oh, do you know something? So I've been going to, to like anime conventions and just conventions in general for 15 plus years now, right? Yeah. Um, and I've, I've seen a lot of stuff, some stuff I wish I'd never seen. Um, at some of these conventions, some stuff that will scar me for life. And I've met some really great people, too. I'm not saying it's all bad. Um, but I went to Otakon uh, back a couple months ago, right? In um, yeah. Washington, D.C., here in the U.S. And I go every year, or at least I've gone every year since 2018. And I saw something while I was there uh, for the first time at a convention. And I saw someone have a seizure. Oh, no. Yeah, and it was during it was during a panel too, uh, and they were right up front. They were in like the front row, and the people yeah. giving the panel didn't know what to do. They're like, are you okay? Do you need help? And then all of a sudden, you just hear, Bdunk! yeah. <laughs> was... Well, yeah, because I mean, they wouldn't be trained. They're just yeah. they're just guests. Wouldn't be thankfully, thankfully the uh, the convention. I don't know if it was the convention center themselves or Otakon, the people that were doing the convention, had medical staff there pretty quickly. Within, I would say within would within twenty seconds. Yeah, you would have to. That many yeah. people. Yeah. And um, I, they were able to co sort of stabilize that person there, at least stabilize yeah. them enough to where they could help them out of the convention center and get them proper medical treatment. Um, yeah. But That's within five minutes, they were um, up and out the uh, the panel room there. Yeah. Well, that's so. good. I'm glad that they got the care they needed. But in all the years I've been going to a convention, I've never seen someone actually have any kind of medical emergency at the convention center. I've heard about them happening. Mm. But I've never actually witnessed it with my own eyes. And now you have. Yes. If, for the record, if anyone is ever in a position where they need to suddenly care for someone who is having a seizure, the best thing you can do is to roll them onto their side and then call for help. Yes. Try to get them into the fetal position if you can. And close their mouths, yeah. It used to be the practice of trying to make sure that their airways were clear by trying to move their tongue and sticking <coughs> your fingers, the fingers um, in their mouth at least enough to move their tongue. But that is no longer an actual practice now. Um, just because they can, they can really hurt you if, they, if you do that. Um, so you just roll them on their side, put them in the fetal position, and then call for help. I heard one time a story about someone who was having a seizure like that, and someone tried to do that, put their fingers in their mouth to open up their airways, and the person having yeah. the seizure bit their finger off. Yeah, well, when Vira collapsed earlier this year, that's what I did, because I didn't, I mean, I didn't know that that was the, um, that that wasn't what you had to do, but I was so scared that he was choking. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure he didn't swallow his tongue, because he was flat on his back. Was he asleep um, when this happened, or...? No, no, he was awake. He collapsed in the kitchen. Oh. Um, God, I bet that made quite the sound. Yeah, I was terrified. Um, so I, I, I did try to do that, but I couldn't actually open his jaw enough because he was clenching so dip so hard. Mm -hmm. So I just I moved straight on to just trying to move him onto his side, and thankfully, like, le he was <clears throat> less than a, a like a, a second or so. Mm. He was he was coughing again and, and conscious. Which is good. I mean, and some people would say it's scary to see them cough like that because when someone coughs after a seizure, it's 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 quite the thing. Um, yeah. Usually, it's it's a very I, deep I, sounding I cough. Like, terrifying. but it's good that they're coughing because it means that they're breathing. Yeah. Yeah, I was absolutely terrified.
Now, I, I, you know, for anyone who heard that story and thought, man, conventions are scary. Listen, I've been going for 15 years since the first time I've seen it, so you'll be fine if you want to go. Look, it's like going to a shopping center. Sometimes yeah. things happen. Sometimes, most of the time, they don't. People don't just, like, go to go to conventions and have a seizure. <laughs> it's not, like, a thing that they do. No, no, and it's certainly not something I don't think anyone ever plans to do. No. <clears throat> it's like diarrhea. No one ever plans to have diarrhea. Yeah. I almost fell into the Grand Canyon because he had a, had a seizure. Oh, my Damn. God. Damn. Jesus. That would be a long way down. I'm glad that you didn't. Never seen a seizure like that in person, but you have had similar experiences. Not you. Um, and you were a possible helper, and this bringing back some scary memories, honestly. Oh, we yeah. Can change the topic if it's too triggering. It is a, it it is a scary experience. Uh, yeah, it can be very, very traumatizing for everyone involved. Yeah. Yeah, not just the person like, experiencing the person it. experiencing it, like. As bad as it is for them. Yeah. Well, that's why, like, in a way, it was... And Enviro has said this, too, so I don't feel so bad by saying this. But in a way, when he collapsed like that, it was worse for me because he didn't remember a thing. He was he was coughing, and then the next moment he knew he was just... He was on the floor, and I was over him, sh like, shouting at him to, to get up and be okay. Yeah, as far as he knows, he was just standing up, and then he was laying down. Yeah. It's like, how did I get here? Yeah, it was worse for me because I thought he was—I thought he was gonna die. Now, actually, I have a slight PTSD. Anytime he coughs, I'm just like, "Don't do it." <laughs> just look at him while he's coughing. It's like, "Don't you fucking dare!" <laughs> Don't you die! <laughs> if, you, if you do, if you do it, I swear to God, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. Okay, you didn't have to call. Um, you didn't have a cell phone to call for help. Ooh. That's I'm even worse. There, yeah. Well, the girl was lucky, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, still, either way. Sometimes you <coughs> see someone in cosplay you love. Other times you see someone in all of it. Other day, I'm in a diaper on. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Yakuza. Damn. I wake up and say, I'm going to have a seizure today as someone who has, who has to take seizure meds. It's more like, oh, shit, not now. <laughs> Five moments, then you forget what happened. Yeah. That's why I say it's like diarrhea. No one wants to have it. It just happens. No, no one, no one. The only people that I think choose to have it are those with, that are lactose intolerant and drink and milk. Agree to have chocolate and milk. <laughs> like, you know what you're doing to yourself. But I need the titty juice. You don't understand. Oh, I understand. Look, I love milk so much, and I am going to cry if I ever become lactose intolerant like my mom has. Mm. Like, already, I mm. used to have full cream milk a lot, but I've moved on to light milk now because it doesn't upset my tummy. Mm. See, I, I started drinking yeah, 2%, full cream and that, milk does, that works for me. Yeah. <laughs> you mean you're not going to say anything? Ding. Ding. Now we're getting to the end here. We're getting lots of dings. Soon we're going to be running through this place with a fine tooth just going, <laughs> where are you? Where are the spots? What did I miss? Show me! Look, I I like sometimes that it will auto-finish something if you're cleaning it, but if I can see the mess, let me finish it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes it auto-finishes when there's, like, too much left. Yeah, I'm like, what? But then other times you're, like, cleaning a thing, cleaning a thing and you can't see where the dirt is, and you're like, can you just auto-finish, please? And it's like you just this, this sliver, like a pixel of thing on the progress like, bar. I had like a full panel there to clean, and it just done. Like, it took my dopamine away. Excuse me. 
How dare you? How dare you consider take my dopamine? Exactly. You do not know what that dopamine means to me. It's so hard to come by these days. It's so hard. It's a rare commodity. <laughs> Honestly, though, if we could if we could sell dopamine just like in a bottle, people <laughs> would make so much fucking money off that. We shit. do. It's called alcohol. Oh, it doesn't work for everyone, though. I mean, like the actual chemical. Just, just, oh. just drink that chemical. Just give me dopamine. Give me my shit. I need it. Happy pills, exactly. I'm, I'm thinking of the Doctor Who episode where you could just buy happy. I mean, that's what it's you called when you open up your pills. commissions and I just say, hey, I'm here. <laughs> and I'm just like, Mannix, you want a commission? Hey, hey. I thought you'd never ask. I'm glad we have that document now, so now, like, when I'm up for it, I could just be like, yo, this one. Yo, I see you have added things. I, too, need money. <laughs> uh... Alright, let's lift the roof of this one. Yep. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the ladder and do the top. Okay. There are drugs that have that effect. The, they're largely illegal. Oops. We're trying. We we Vyra recently changed his ADHD medication, and for two days he felt absolutely euphoric, and it was amazing. That's but cool. He's not feeling that feeling anymore, and we're like, can can we just keep feeling that? Yeah. Can can yeah. I has euphoria, please? Yeah. We're still adjusting and getting getting to know what kind of dosage he needs though so hopefully with like a higher dosage or i don't know taking it on and off will help he needs more happy more happy less seizure yes yes which scenario the joy or oblivion uh wait which is this Methodically, it's concentrated. If you clean more sporadically, it's harder to spot. That's what that's what it's there to solve. Some logic about density of remaining clean spots would be would be welcome. Mm -mm. Generally, unadulterated mania is concerning. If it's like, yeah, like, like if it's prolonged, like I was I was looking it up, and some some people they weren't letting their bodies kind of get used to the drugs, so they were only taking it when they when they needed it. And this is for ADHD. They were only taking it when they needed it. So their body didn't get used to it, which means when they were taking it, they felt happy. And when they were not taking and it, they felt like shit, it's probably. It's meant to let your body get used to it so that you can, you can focus and whatnot, but it's generally not meant to give you that high. Because that will eventually lead to addiction, because you're like, I, I want to feel this, I want to feel happy. All the time. And like Vivens in particular, Vivens in particular can be very harsh. I used to take on that. You if you come mm. that's what he's just switched to the short active Vivens. <laughs> mm. I always took the um, the extended release. Yeah, he was taking that at, at once, uh, like before, but it kind of just didn't do anything. Mm. I. Uh... I haven't taken any of the ADHD medication since I was in college. In fact, I think I stopped mm -hmm. taking it my, I want to say my junior year of college. Um, because I went to a therapist who taught me other types of strategies for having to deal with ADHD that didn't involve medication. Oh, yeah. And I tried those for like six months and I realized, hey, I'm accomplishing all the same stuff I was able to accomplish on the medication without it. <clears throat> oh, shit, I fell what off the ladder. Uh, that's a great question. I've completely forgotten <laughs> what I was told in therapy to the because it, it just became so second nature that I've yeah. just stopped thinking about it. But I do remember one of the things that was told to me is uh, compartmentalize all of the things you have to do. 
turn everything that you do from one big task into lots of small tasks. Mm -hmm. That way, because it feels like you're accomplishing you more. It. Yeah. Well, I think that's the thing, because a lot of uh, ADHD kind of, not cures, but for lack of a better word, works on the reward center of your brain. So if you hmm. split it up into smaller tasks, you are rewarding yourself more often. Exactly. And I think that's one of the things with the five ends is that it really targets the the reward center of the brain. And that's why some people, the side effect is euphoria. Mm -hmm. I will say not having to take the medication and still having a lot of the effects of it is is nice. Yeah. Because one of the side effects of medication like that, not just Vyvanse, but um, other medication like it, is that it tends to sap your appetite. Um, That's so, why I stopped taking Vyvanse. So I stopped eating. Yeah, which is not good. I would get dizzy. Um, so. Because I, when I was on it, I would I would typically take it in the morning, shortly after I woke up, um, and after I'd had something to eat for breakfast, because it's not good to take it on an empty stomach anyway. Um, yeah. And I would eat a very large breakfast, and I mean, like fifteen hundred to two thousand calories large breakfast. Um, right. And I wouldn't eat anything the rest of the day. Until yeah. I, I I yeah. wouldn't until I woke up the next day. Not good. Yeah, I. Same. I I like I well sort of same. I stopped eating. I didn't have any food for like three days just because I wasn't hungry and the thought of food just made me sick mm -hmm. um, and then like I would try to eat you know just to, to make Vyra happy to make Bastet happy I would try to eat I ate like half a slice of bread and I just I felt awful yeah that's and, the thing that's one I of the side effects really, not really everyone really experiences it though I wasn't eating I like how you're like jumping around and oh my god what a jump you, every time you jump, you freeze in the air for me, and it looks like you're doing a Matrix hop. <laughs> like, you have become the one. You are Neo. Yeah, really, yeah well, that's why I went off the Vivens, because, like, oh, shit. I just, it, I was getting so dizzy and feeling so unwell, and mm. it's because I'm not eating. But I'm, I'm on Ritalin now. I'm on the short-active Ritalin, mm. which is working really well. And it's taken me a while, actually, to kind of figure out what dosage and whether it's short-active or long-active that I need. Yeah, when I first started taking medicine, I didn't originally start out taking Vyvanse. I think I, I started out with Ritalin. Um, it may have even been something else because it was a long time ago. I think it was like seven years old when I started taking that medication. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, oh. And uh, so much to do! I know. Um, <laughs> but I remember it took a good... I want to say two years for us to figure out like the dosage requirements that my body needed. Yeah. Sir? I think when I started testing out oh, which, uh, whether or not I had ADHD, I was taking virus Ritalin mm -hmm. and you know, that, that was working out pretty, pretty well actually. So when, so I spoke oh. to his psychiatrist who is now my psychiatrist now. Um, and he put me on Vivance, the long active. And that's when I was like, no, oh, no, I'm not eating and I need to. So then he took me off that and put me on long acting Ritalin. And then it took a while to figure out which dosage I needed because like a certain amount, a certain short ap active dosage would make me anxious, but the same acting dosage on the long active would just like not really work sometimes. Tower vertical strut. Which one? Tower vertical strut. It's one of so these things of right these. here. Just have to hover over them. Is it this one? Got it. Um, the one over there. Towards the ladder. The, the one that's dirty. Thank you. The middle one towards the ladder. Oh, yeah, it's the one you're spraying. Yeah. But I don't see where the dirt is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, got it. One of us got it. You are helping. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Job complete. Yay! Job complete. Woohoo! Look at this dinosaur bitch. <laughs> Woohoo! 
getting in America with no insurance for a while and saying, I know, I wish I could on, uh, we have, uh, it's so easy to get the ADHD medication over here. I wish I could help you guys. But I can't just like get it and then send it to you. <laughs> I mean, you could, but that'd be illegal. <laughs> that would be illegal, yes. That would be highly illegal. <laughs> All right. Cool. We did it. We did it. We did it. Woohoo. <laughs> All, right. All right. What's your next job? Uh, next place. Next job. Oh, I got two of them to choose from. Clean the golf cart or clean the detached house. Let's do the golf Ooh. cart because that'll be quick. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Any time you finish your sketch, you're gonna add basic color to it. Hell yeah. Nice, nice. Actually, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. I will wait until you get back to start. Anyway, hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is for you. I don't actually. I don't know if if did did, did Vix make it so that people can hear me on her stream. I don't know. I don't have her stream up because I, I don't think my uh, my bandwidth could support it right now. We can. Hello, Vix's stream. <clears throat> I do like the fact that she's just bouncing over here. It's it's very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> it's like watching a video game idol animation. I'm I'm very uh I'm very much into this. <laughs> she always looks good bouncing. I will I will I completely agree. I completely agree. I'm hoping to, uh, at some point, get my own, uh, like, proper VTuber model like Vix has uh, sometime within the next six to eight months. Um, you know, not that there's anything wrong with being a PNG tuber like I am, but it would be nice to have a proper model. It's very fun being a VTuber. It is. Not only that, you can make your own art for thumbnails because you can just put yourself in a green screen and make your own poses. Yeah, exactly. Well, if you're using VTube Studios, you can not even need a green screen. You just need to pose, um, you can take transparent pictures. That's true. That's true. All in due time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like the, the only obstacle for me is just getting together um, the money because I know it is not exactly a cheap endeavor, especially if you want to do something as nice as what Vix has. Yeah, yeah. This this model. This is my first model. It was not cheap. Um, mm -hmm. but and I, it took I a long time for you to get it. I remember right. that. Yeah. Um. I wasn't a streamer. Sorry. I sorry. Hang on. I was a streamer before I was a VTuber, so I already knew I wanted to stream. Mm -hmm. Um. So that was that was fine. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go hard. <laughs> Let me just I need to get up your stream so I can. See where I am. <laughs> oh ah, yeah. Is... Okay, I can move Chrome just a bit so I can see. Yeah, I, I, it's something that I definitely want to do, especially with the the streams that I do. I feel like it would be more interactive. Might not be the right word, but more visually appealing for people that come to the stream to see like an actual physical moving model instead of just a PNG that lights up when I talk. Yeah. Look, I agree, actually. Like, um, I feel like going into, going into a VTuber when that moves, um, it, it feels more engaging mm -hmm. than, um, than a PNG tuber. Not that, not that there's anything wrong with PNG tubers, of course, there's absolutely nothing. But the fact is, is that a VTuber, like one that moves, is a little bit more engaging yeah. to look at. Engaging. That was probably the word I was looking for besides interactive. Oh. You are back. Yes, I am back. My front is here too. Your what? <laughs> My front. I really enjoy doing the cars because they're like small. Yes. 
They're uh, they're quick little jobs. Yep. There are gonna be some jobs in your future that will take you a while. Just like real life. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> I'll wait to get fixed 2.0. I'm gonna be really pushing Mina, my my rigor. I'm gonna be really pushing her to her limits, though. <laughs> hmm. Well, perhaps when uh, I'm ready to get my own, I will be able to uh, commission her to do mine. Ooh. Yeah. I do recommend her um, for sh for sure, especially starting out. Now she her does practice. artist art and rigging, right? She does, yes. Okay, so um, she's like she all in made, one. Um, yeah, one of my good friends, ne uh, Nebanatsky. Um, actually, Ryan, if you could shout them out, please. Um, Nebanatsky had her model done by her art and rigging, hmm. and she did a phenomenal job. Mina's like. Mina is new to the to the um, feature making creation stuff, uh -huh. but she did a phenomenal job. Yeah, just because someone's new doesn't mean they don't know what they're doing. No, exactly. And she's so so good oh, at learning as well. Found like it. when she re-rigged this model, uh huh, um, that I'm using. So I've got a lot more life now because of her. Yeah, I guess the game resets our outfits every time we go to a new job because we're both blue. <laughs> oh well. Anyway. Easy job. All right. Easy money. I guess we go to the detached house. Unless you want to do a side job. Wait, are those co-op? I think they're co-op. Or a But I'm happy job. to keep pushing you on your career if you okay. like them. Okay. I have $2,500. I should probably spend this money. Ooh, yeah. You can buy a new hose or something. Oh, shit. Uh... I can buy a medium duty power washer. Oh, I guess I can't. I can't. I can't buy the heavy duty one yet because I'm not high enough level. Ah, uh, twenty one and twenty three on a single task is a nightmare. What was the task? If you don't mind me asking. Oops, that's not what I want. I don't go back. There we go. Uh, equipment. Get extensions, nozzles. Yeah. I recommend you spend a dollar of it and buy Vix a cookie. She's been a good girl. She deserves a cookie, right? What? Why am I getting a cookie? I don't. I'd buy you a cookie. You buy me a cookie? I would buy you several. I'd buy you an entire dozen box of cookies. Wow. She does not deserve... Oh, Ryan is telling me you don't deserve one. Wow. Not that you're in their chat saying it. Wow. wow. See, Ryan, Ryan is just shit-talking you in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got, oh, yeah, the, I I got the fan screenshot to show she wasn't good today. <laughs> she wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I mean, setting up the command was on purpose, but it wasn't. It wasn't supposed to be targeted at you guys. All right, so I'm gonna buy the Urban X because <laughs> it's nice. And then, hmm, should I buy the soap nozzle or should I buy the extenders? Extenders are good. I recommend extenders. Giggity. All right, I'll get the short <laughs> extension and the long extension. All right, and then can I buy new clothes? I can. I don't need new clothes, though. There are a lot of different suits you can buy, though. Yeah. Wow, that. Liam. You say you got the long <laughs> extension, but see, she's you got the stubby. Wow. Let's see how it is. Do the modifications do anything, or are they just for looks? Uh, modifications. One moment. Shop. Oh, whoopsie. That's the wrong place. Ah. 
I assume they're just for looks because they have no info. You can like deep dive on them. Oh, the new gun? Uh oh no, yeah, yeah, just the looks. The, yeah. Ah. Uh. Although I bought them, I still don't actually know how to. I can buy more. Um, I still don't know how to actually equip them. Hmm. I don't either. Anyway, all right. So I have. I can just kick the assistant. Kick my assistant, Vix. Wow. <laughs> all right. Let me go back to career. Let's clean the house. Change your color. Oh, okay. Change my color. Yep, yeah, of my gun, of my um, oh, my washer. Oh. If I kick Vix, I'll have to answer to you. I would never kick Vix. Kick her butt in a game, maybe, but <laughs> that's not what I want. Um. Yeah, no, I actually don't know how to do that. Oh, bye, Seagull. Have a wonderful night. Bye. I'll allow it. Man, Ryan's being like super vicious to you in my chat. <laughs> oh, it's fine. How do I equip it's my new stuff? It's fine. It's Ryan. Oh, here we go. Load out. You really need anything uh, anything additional in that department? Ayo. Ayo. Whoa. I mean, neither do I. Ayo. Oh, I think I I kind of enjoyed this house. I remember this one. As I always do to to Vira or to to her and Vira. Is that moss? Yes, it is moss. Is it actually? Oh. And paint. Oh my god, that looks like plank from Ed Ed Nettie. Driveway edge. I'm edging the driveway, Vix. <laughs> Moss can get up there if it rains and it's not cleaned enough. I can is... you test that? I mean, I would assume so. That actually looks like mold. That doesn't look like mo maybe it is mo moss. It looks more like mold to me. Actually, we... all, all this shit looks like mold. Moldy ass people living in this house. The stuff up here does, yeah. We recently had our solar panels cleaned, and that was what they were all mossy. Mm. Um, our we have like a little veranda thing outside one of our windows, and uh, we can't get up, up up to the top of that without like a ladder. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's all mossy too. <laughs> There's like a clean line from where the roof kind of uh, ends. Um, so like, hang on, I'm just gonna like do an example here. Where it does this, so like all of this is mossy, and then all of this is clean because this is just where the roof line is. <laughs> I have successfully edged half of the driveway. <clears throat> Yay! Now to edge the other half. I'm gonna make the driveway come. If you needed any proof that this is not a, a child-friendly stream, there it is. Make the driveway come. Yes. Come for me, driveway coon. It's gonna ejaculate cars all over me. Oh, oh god, be careful. <laughs> They're heavy. Do you know what's funny about the word ejaculate? Is that it what? used to just mean yell something very excitedly? <laughs> and so if you read the original um, Sherlock Holmes novels, uh, Watson ejaculates at uh, Sherlock many, many times in those novels. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Gonna make the driveway come. Come clean, that is. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm actually, I'm glad you're laughing. I'm glad that my shitty sense of humor can make you laugh. I love, I love words that no longer, like, really have that meaning anymore like that, like ejaculate, mm -hmm. because 
That's just great. That means, like, almost every stream then, at least for my guys, every stream I ejaculate all over you guys. <laughs> well, just a little while ago, you were ejaculating when you banned everybody. <laughs> Funny. We were all ejaculating all over your stream. <laughs> Still upset, I'm sorry. <laughs> Would it make you happy if I bought you another porn game? Uh, Ao. <laughs> he he. It was his birthday not too long ago, and this bastard hid his fucking wish list. Oh. So I bought him a porn game. <laughs> Just r a random one, or was it like it actually yeah, was it targeted to his? Game. Was it targeted to his? Shall we say tastes? No, no, it was just a random fucking porn game. Mm. Just like one of these these elf. Like, shitty little puzzle porn games. It's just elf, like, there you go. <laughs> elf titty massage too. <laughs> still need to play that one. <laughs> All right, I still need to um, I still need to play that uh, twink one that you bought me. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, he bought me a twink one. You have my attention. <laughs> what what's it called? It's, um. I get rid of that. I need it. Um, in my library. Where is it? It's like. Uh, oh, I just delete my wish list instead of hiding it. I scourged, scorched earth it. Oh, there you go. I made a fanboy squirt. That's what it's called. Whoa! What? <laughs> yeah, that's the game he bought me. <laughs> I made a fanboy squirt. I need to play it. Hey, hey, Ryan, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm, I'm giving you a virtual high five right now. <laughs> as soon as I actually get my um, other stream area um, set up, which I, I need to do. I have the stream key. I just need to do it. Um, we're going to we're going to be playing some some games, some some games in quotation games. Yes. Yes. Big bold capital Stop letters it, games. Like yep. I don't know what Less Doll Plus is. <laughs> I I assume it's a porn game based on its name, but I've never played it, and I don't know what it is. I can kind of guess what it is based on the name. I'm also gonna assume it's on Steam. Recommend Monster Girl Quest. Ooh, that sounds familiar. She said something about I need this game, and I went say no more. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> like as a joke, I was just like, someone buy me this game, and then they did it. It's fantastic. So now I'm the proud owner of um, I made a fanboy squirt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I would be proud to own that, too. I still need to read for you guys Dick Fight Island. Oh, God. Yeah, y'all... It, it was on my throne. And y'all bought me the volume one of Dick Fight Island. And I still need to read it for you guys. And it is exactly what you hear. Dick's fight on an island. Yeah, there are guys, and they have to. They, they've got like dick sheaths, and they so foreskins. They, can, they uh, like weaponize them a bit, and they have to fight each other, and make the other guy come first. Are you on the roof? <laughs> yeah. Haha. -ha. Oh fuck! I can't put this down. <laughs> I stole your Lol. ladder. Oh, it's fine. I can jump down. There's no fall damage. I mean, that's good. <laughs> it's good that the game has no fall damage. No. 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 Yes. No one cares. Wow. I don't 
no, guys, it's exactly what you hear. There are only dicks, sentient, independent dicks, and they are fighting on an island. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of exactly what it says on the tin, right? Yeah. This is one of the most relaxed streams I think I've ever had, despite the uh, the technical nice. issues earlier. Despite the chaoticness of our topics. Yes. Well, I mean, that's that's the, the joy of like a just chatting type of stream, right? You never know yeah. what's going to be brought up. Could be funny topics. It could be serious topics. It could be anything, really. Ayo. It could be porn games. <laughs> you just never know. Well done. Hear me out. A just catting stream. There are just catting streams on Twitch. We used to watch one. Um, I still follow it. It's just a it's a cat cafe over in Japan, and they house um, they house homeless cats, cats that are ready for adoption, and get them ready for for their forever homes and whatnot. They give them medical treatments and a, a nice home to live in, and it's a really great stream. I, I would call that a just catting stream. Yeah, I would. We used to watch that all the time before we got Gilly. I miss Gilly so much. You know, I was going to say, you know what's funny, but it's not actually, it, it's it's not funny, but it's not like haha -ha funny, like yeah, yeah, yeah. strange funny. Um, so my parents, or well, my mother, um, when her mother died, my grandmother, um, she was cremated, right? And yeah. uh, my mom got some of her remains made into jewelry that she can wear. Um, yeah. But she also has some of her ashes that she keeps in like this little vial, like an easy to transport vial, right? Not like a giant urn. Um, yeah. And any time my parents go off somewhere, like on vacation, especially if it's somewhere they've never been, they take that little vial with them, and they leave a little piece Aww. of my grandma behind everywhere they go. Aw, that's so nice. That is sweet. Because she always liked to travel when she was alive, and it's like she's still traveling, even though she's uh, not with us anymore. Yeah, that is really sweet. Mm -hmm. We've got, I've got a little necklace of, uh, and it's got a piece of Gilly inside that too. Um, that I, I don't take off. I just I, I wear it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but we've also got his uh, his urn, but it's in the shape of a cat, so it doesn't look like a traditional urn because that would just be way too painful. Um, and I move that all the time. I like either cuddle it or I'll have it on my desk with me if I need to. Or every day I like open the window and I put him in front of it because he like he likes to look outside. So mm -hmm. yeah. oh, it's just nice it's that we, you know. For people that want to do stuff like that, it is available. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. I'm so glad I got his necklace. I miss him so much. You know how I've always thought about stuff like that? If you if you remember them, especially at the good times, are they really dead? I mean, you have a good point. But I want them back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's how I've always tried to, to look at the the passings of people that I was close to. It's like yeah. if I remember them especially all the good times and all the good memories, it's like they're not really gone. At least not to me. I'm glad that you have that. 
I think one of the things that helped me the most um, before getting Gilly's new scarf now, which I don't know if I told you, but it's quite the story in itself. Um, you say a Tiami scarf? Told me. Yeah, he's got like a little bandana that. Oh, okay. Um, Tiali told me that, and I had to read this only when I was ready, but like, they're waiting for you to get like to get where they are. Mm -hmm. So when when it's, it becomes our time, we'll be meeting up with them, no matter where it where it is, whether or not we believe in heaven or not, it doesn't really matter. But wherever they are, they're waiting for us. Mm. That's not a bad thought either. It's got really depressing. <laughs> yeah, we need to change the topic. I'm gonna yes. cry. Yes. I'm still I'm still grieving. I don't know what to change the topic to though. Uh I'm just enjoying the water. I've got one. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Yowie. Oh, Yowie. Yeah. Everyone, well, That's I don't know. If everyone loves Yowie, but I know Vix loves Yowie. I love Yowie. Oh, damn it. Where'd the ladder go? Uh, I said, moved it over here. Oh, wait, it's okay. It's okay. I'm up here. I mean, you can I just jump back. down. It's fine. It's not like you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah, no, you're right. It's just getting back up. That's what I wanted. Don't do that in real life. You will hurt yourself in real life if you jump off a roof. Yeah, please don't do that. Um. No, so, <laughs> so, so Yowie, Let's right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many, well, I'm assuming some of the people who followed you for a long time know this, but Vix likes drawing Yowie. Wing. But, but, she doesn't get the opportunity to get to draw it as often because so few people commission it. Yep. So every time I commission her to draw it, she's very excited Yes, I finally get to draw PP and PP. Cause like, cause Yaoi isn't um, isn't virus forte, so I don't draw Yaoi for him. Um, if I do draw for myself, well, it's not very actually very common that I draw for myself. For if you're anything, not just Yaoi. Yeah, yeah, for anything really. Actually, since finishing the previous batch of commissions is really the first time in a couple of years that I've actually had the opportunity to draw for myself. I bet it's felt kind of good, And even though. then, I haven't been doing a lot of that recently because I've just been, like, I've just been streaming or I've been grieving or <clears throat> God knows what. Mm -hmm. I bet it's felt good to draw for yourself a little bit, though. Kind of. I mean, it's drawing for myself, but I'm... It was also drawing stuff to put on my Ko-Fi. Mm -hmm. So it was still business. Yeah, understandable. Although it's not finished yet. I, <sighs> I started I did, I did started drawing um, a Yu-Gi-Oh! slime pack. Um, I'm up to just coloring it now. Nice. But I haven't touched it in a little bit. They look so cute. The and slimes turned out great. Yeah, I, I really, really enjoy drawing the slimes. They're quick, they're cute. And that they're, like, way more expressive than you'd think they are. Right? And you can do a lot Although with I slimes. Three... Yeah. Oh, you can do so much with slime. Um, <clears throat> I have recently, over the last couple of days since playing Zenless, been drawing a bit more... I was not finished this roof! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Damn anyway. you! I was drawing some Zenless porn. Hmm. Do not ask me what I'm standing on. I have absolutely no clue. She's a witch. I should have fallen off. She's a witch. At least this part of the roof. Okay. 
My friend got a cast from going down like five feet. I lost two ligaments in my left ankle from walking Oof. on a straight path. That sounds quite painful. It was not fun. I now have like limited uh, limited mobility in my left ankle. And it, it hurts in when it gets particularly cold. How is Yaoi more popular than Yuri? Easy, dicks. I don't know. Is it more popular than Yuri? Uh, in terms of fan art? I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that it, that depends on what where you're looking and... I think in some fandoms, the Yaoi is more popular than the Yuri. Yeah, it does depend on the fandom as well. Like, for example, Yu-Gi-Oh! Very popular with the Yaoi. Yes. Not many not many female characters or mains in Yu-Gi-Oh! Do you read the Yuri fight? There are some. Yeah, there are some, but, but I mean, they're not the most popular characters. Yeah. Um, but you get a you get an all female cast or almost all female cast from for some anime or some game and whatnot, and of course it's going to be Yuri. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's I would it is a little more, more nuanced than just one is more popular than the other. I think there are some fandoms where one is going to be more popular than the other. And then there are some where yeah. it's kind of down the middle. Yeah. But overall, though, like, just generally speaking, I don't think that there's... I don't know. I don't think there's been a, a big enough study to say Yuri or Yaoi is more popular than the other. Just in general... Spe oh, like, on a whole spectrum. Yeah. Um, now... I will say, it does seem, at least from an outside observer, because I'm not an artist, although I wish I was. Um, I'm a writer. I'm not an artist. It's my brand of creativity. Um, for people that do commission work, um, especially for fan art or even original characters, it seems like there's more like solo female and Yuri stuff that gets commissioned. Generally. I I would I would agree with that. I would think that uh, fan art commissions, Yaoi would be more on the niche spectrum because, look, sex sells, titties sell. sell. People exactly. like titties. People like titties exactly. I feel like Yaoi is more popular with women than with men, but that people who want to do fan art are more likely to be women, so more Yaoi fan art is made. I actually do agree with that. I actually do agree with that. I feel like there's a lot more support or out or, or like um open open desire and interest for Yaoi yeah. by female. And it's just from again, this is this is all like my own uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um my own personal experience. Uh, so take it with yeah. a grain of salt. It seems to me a lot of the people, the artists that I follow, that do commissions and post them like on social media, who do a lot of yaoi centric stuff, whether it's commissions or their own work that they do for themselves, uh, seem to be women artists. Yeah. More I often than it. not. Again, that's my own personal experience. It may not be true, like, all over, but it's what I experience online. Yeah, no, I agree with you, Bob, completely. Actually, Vyra makes that, makes that similar comment as well. Like, a lot of people that write fan fiction or draw fan art and whatnot, a lot of the artists, even artists that draw boobs, a lot of them are actually women, and a lot of people that that do work in uh, work with Yaoi, a lot of them are women. Yeah. When I was I was in a fanfic group for Yu-Gi-Oh, and let me tell you, it was actually really humbling to find a fellow writer, a fellow Yaoi writer, that was male. Yeah. And I, I it's not common. I don't know why that is. I don't know if there's a um, a stigma or. Uh, societal embarrassment because obviously there's people who do like 
uh, art commissions online and even fan fictions who are completely anonymous. You don't know whether they're yeah. dudes, women, somewhere in between, or nothing. Yeah. Um, and sometimes that's by design. Uh, but... And if I agree, it could be it could be some kind of stigma, maybe somewhere where they live, they don't feel comfortable being like themselves, so they just don't participate. Yeah. Um it could also be a fetishist kind of thing as well for women in particular, yeah. because like I don't have peepees, but how hot is it when men show their feelings? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a um an artist that I commissioned once to do yaoi in fact that was like their specialty it was like yaoi stuff um yeah and um the reason that they didn't um publicly say whether they were you know guy girl whatever is because in the place that they lived uh homosexuality was illegal yeah yeah that's fair so they don't want to be, like, doxxed or anything. Yeah. Women are perverts. Oh, women are nasty. Yes. <laughs> yes. We, we are nasty. Can, listen, can confirm. No. Uh, there, you know, of, of all the people I would call perverts that, that I've met in my life, like, 90% of them have been women. Honestly. Honestly. When you hear the word pervert, you automatically think men, right? But it's not fucking true. Yes, there are male perverts. Yes, there are scummy male perverts. But women are just as fucking disgusting. I love it. We are just as filthy. The difference is in, that I've found... The difference that I've found is that women are way more subtle about it. At least publicly. When you get to know them, they'll be nasty as fuck right to your face. <laughs> They will, they will give you ideas, and you're just like, wait, what? Do you like this? I, I, can, I can do that? I can't believe you just said that. A lady should not say that. But would you not agree that women tend to be more subtle about that things, especially to people that they're not super close to? Um, it depends on their shame and, and whatnot. Like, I am not subtle. No, no, we are not. I will straight up tell... I, I do not hide the fact that I was a sex worker. I do not hide the fact that my body is on the internet. I will give you titty pics if, in exchange for something. Bob can attest for that. Ryan can attest I for can that. attest you to can this. But there are some people that, yes, would be, like, um, a shy or more reserved until they know the person that they're talking to. And look, that's actually a really great practice to do as well. I try to do that. With people that I don't know, I just like, but it's more for their comfort than mine. Yeah, which is good because, like, you know, you want to get to know someone before you show them all your cards. Well, exactly. You, you don't want to drive them away instantly. Well, exactly. Well, I mean, also, they if I don't know them, then they haven't consented to anything that I might want to talk about or show them. Exactly. What about Futa? I think I Vix is a yes, fan of Futa as well. Yes. Uh, here, um, here's the thing. Vix likes drawing cock. <laughs> you're just saying something. Reminds me, you figured out some uh, more of the timeline of how that happened, and it makes more sense now. Uh, wait, which timeline? What are you talking about? Have I missed something? I might just need a quick reminder. What's the timeline, how that happened. But yeah, no, I, I like drawing cock. Cock is fun. I much prefer to draw a penis than a pussy, to be honest, because, like, pussies can be fun to draw, but they can also be very difficult. What's the big. Well, I mean, um, besides the actual physical appearance of it, what's the biggest difference? Getting the. Uh, getting the um, vulva right mm. can be really difficult. 
Because like, way, everyone it sounds way more difficult than just drawing a hole. Yeah, no, it is. It is much more difficult than just drawing a hole. Like I prefer to draw pussies that are closed because that's just a line. That's just like a line and a little squish. But open them up though, and they can be depending on what kind of look that I'm going for. It can be extremely difficult. It's like drawing a flower. And I mean, that's precisely why they're kind of called flowers because they kind of look like roses. Or that's rose why flowers. it's called deflowering when you take someone's virgi yeah. a woman's virginity. So, like, and drawing flowers is horrendous. I do not like drawing flowers. Unless they're, like, cartoon kind of flowers. Like oh. little daisies. Oh, and I just yeah. made you draw a flower yeah. for a tattoo. <laughs> you just made me draw a flower. But thankfully, <laughs> I just had to, like, go over the reference. It was fine. Oh. To be fair, if the I flower I asked head. you to draw is not super, like, blossomy. The line art was very clear, yeah. The line art is very clear. I should really take this, uh thing off uh um but with a penis though it's just kind of a log with a head uh a log, <laughs> draw a log draw a head on it like a little mushroom and then for for extra pizzazz you just add a little um add a little vein here and there it's fine add just a tinier little wiggly noodle and it's fine you boom penis and then you give it like a little hat if it's uncut or uncut and then you know yep Give it some, give it some folding underneath the, underneath the mushroom lip there, or not. No one cares if the veins are automatically accurate, uh, uh, anatomically accurate. Exactly. Yeah. No one cares. You want to have a bowl, uh, have a, have it like, sort of bulge out in the center and then come to a tiny, a tiny hat. Do it. You want to start out super fucking thick. Do it. I mean, to be fair. There are cocks that are like that for real, so... Exactly. Cocks are so easy to draw. It's because, like, if you can draw it, it probably means that there's one out there that's just like that. Exactly. But with a flower... With a, with a flower. With a <laughs> pussy, though... Well, and a flower. You, gotta, you need a bit more pizzazz. Uh, not pizzazz. You need a bit more je ne sais quoi. Pussies are supposed to be delicate and delicious looking. They are supposed to... They are supposed to be fluid-like in the way that their skin folds, and the way that it opens. Y'all are getting an education that tonight. Makes it difficult. <laughs> yeah, you're getting an artist education in the way we draw penises and pussies. To be fair, I love this Pussy shit though. Needs like... about as much attention as an artist would put in the, into a face. Mm. That that is a creed that I will stand by. To be fair, I like this kind of stuff because, like, whether whether we're talking about art or writing or or whatever, I love like hearing and seeing how the sausage is made. To to use a phrase, yeah, honestly, no pun in, if, if no pun intended. A, if you can draw a cylindrical prism, you can draw a penis. But I, I always love hearing about like artistic processes, even if it's not something that it's it's not an art that I can do. Just because I find the whole process behind art very interesting. You mean you can't just draw a, uh, to draw a roast beef sandwich? I mean, you can. I mean, they might not be the most prettiest pussies at the, at the party. But hey, sometimes that's the kind of pussy someone's commissioning you to draw. If that's the kind of uh, pussy someone's commissioning you to draw, then you draw that beef sandwich. <laughs> I remember there, there's an artist that I follow, and I forget exactly who it is, but I remember it was on Twitter. This is like maybe two, three years ago, uh, where they were talking about a commission that they got, an anonymous commission, where the person in the commission notes uh, said that they wanted the pussy to look like the girl and had multiple partners. And the artist is like, right. I, I don't know what this is supposed to imply. <laughs> um, yeah. And then when the artist asked the person that was doing the commission for clarification, she, she, the artist or the the person commissioning just said, "Just make it look as like it's a fucked up roast beef sandwich." <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what. Th the only thing I can think of is it would be in the coloring phase. It would be red. It would be swollen. It would be 
we can come everywhere. But like, a pussy is like an elastic band. Just because you have sex a lot doesn't mean you get bigger or looser or anything. <laughs> yeah, the same is true for dicks, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Just because you have sex a lot does not mean it gets bigger. Yeah. If, if only, though, right, guys? <laughs> Sometimes a joke can be really funny. <laughs> So you're drawing a hot dog in a hallway then. <laughs> yeah, like, but even then, you'd probably need, like, the, the penis for scale, but even then, that's not how pussies look. Pussies are not like anuses where you can kind of make them gape. Just, just, God, imagine someone just uh, commissions you one day to draw, like, a fucking prolapsed anus. I would say no. <laughs> I would not draw that. For a million dollars, I will draw that. <laughs> for yes, yeah, like Generally. listen, for the right amount of money, you'll draw just about anything. I will. I'm a I'm a slut for money. I I, I want money. Looseness and/or coloration difference because people think that shit happens. I will agree. Like it would definitely be in co in the coloring process. In the drawing process doesn't make a difference really not terribly much not a great deal um <clears throat> but in the coloring process you got to show off that swelling that's the biggest thing the swelling i mean which makes sense if it's like you know a pussy that's in the middle of sex but if it's just you know a woman yeah. who's had multiple partners it's just gonna look like a pussy it's not gonna look yeah. giant or swollen or gaping like it's not you could maybe I... put tally marks on the thighs yeah. I was not finished this roof. <laughs> I like how I'll just hear a ding and you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> A dick just gets bumped sometimes, though. Sometimes it's, that's called warts. Sometimes that's called go to the doctor, please. Yes. I want a sentient cookie food to fucking a brownie femboy. Now there's an idea for a commission. Hang on, wait, you want a what? <laughs> Liam in my chat says, I want a sentient cookie food to fucking a brownie femboy. Okay. Have you ever had that happen with people... $200. Uh, have you ever had that happen where you um, were someone will commission you like right and especially if it's someone you're not super familiar with um, mm. and they, they describe what they're wanting whether they have references or not and it's just something that makes you go what? <laughs> yes. Really? Have you actually had that I happen? Have, I have a very a very much loved story in my community and i feel a little bad i i don't think they're in your chat at the moment but they were from your discord that's where i got i know them. exactly what you're talking about i know exactly yeah. what you're talking about because i have seen this image uh-huh uh-huh so yes i i as a matter of fact have and i tried i stressed so much to this person whether or not they meant what they were saying because it was not what they were saying <laughs> oh my god that commission i had to put it in its own folder just so that i wouldn't look at it whenever i open my <laughs> listen sometimes people want weird stuff but they give you money to get it so Look, weird stuff is fine, but this guy didn't quite realize the difference between girth and length, and I figured as a penis haver, he should. <laughs> you think? See, here's the thing, though. I think that, and I'm not saying this just for men. I feel like for some people, porn has ruined them. Yes. Oh, I agree. No, don't. Yes, and I, I, I'm not saying this is someone who's like inherently against porn. I'm not. Um, I, I'm, I'm rather pro porn but and pro sex work. If that's all your, yeah, but as, as sometimes if that's all you're prone, uh, if that's all you're privy to, 
it warps your your like, sensitivities and it. yeah, it it warps what I you're mean, like, expecting. I'm desensitized to a lot of porn. Vire shows me porn on the daily, and like, I I would like to think that I'm a little bit of a connoisseur now. That I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I would assume, being it. Rule Thirty Four of the Internet, you're not just a connoisseur; you're the expert. Yes. <laughs> Lordy. I mean, we literally had you on an episode of our podcast where we talked about Yaoi. Yeah. I should make a, a, a playlist on our YouTube channel. I make tons of playlists for all the different types of episodes that we do. Whether they're oh, yeah. um, regular episodes or um, movie reviews, spoiler cast, things like that. I should make a um, playlist for all the guests that have been on the podcast. For So, it, like, if I ever yeah. wanted to show, like, in your chat or in your uh, Discord server, if someone asks, like, you know, what episodes has Vix been on, I can just post that playlist and say, these are all the episodes Vix has been on. Yeah. I like doing the playlist because I know that there's people who... Um, don't necessarily watch our stuff right when it comes out, but they like to watch it on in the background while they're doing other things or while they're at work or whatever. Um, yeah. And they like watching multiple episodes at a time, so I've made it a point to go in and put a lot of our stuff in playlists. And most of those playlists are like 100 videos long or more now. Yeah. So I should definitely do that for the the guests that we've had on for you guests yeah i agree Oops, shit i keep fucking this Which up is the cursed one when it comprises the complete companion movie references honestly i feel so i actually feel bad for my google search history for that commission oh for the one you were talking I about have multiple different animals penises and morph them together into one and then make it like 28 feet oh, what? long You know, as a guy, I'm sitting there thinking, 28 foot long dick. Nice. It, also, as a guy, I'm thinking, no. <laughs> no. And then he wanted to eat them. <sighs> to, to make it like, I, I was, to make it kind of like the, the PNG image, just a bit smaller, so it was more compact and whatnot, I, I, I couldn't do that. I wasn't, I, I couldn't do that. That wasn't part of the commission. The commission was to have it lengthways, or well, like, like, sorry, not, uh, not lengthways, vertical. So it was, he was just standing there, and then it, the canvas just keeps on going down and down and down, because that's <laughs> how long his fucking penis was. <laughs> You heard eight. Did you say twenty? I said twenty-eight. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Yeah. And at first, I had to redraw this fucking thing because at first he was like, "I want girth," and I was like, "Are you sure?" <laughs> Five fucking times I asked this guy, and in different ways, to make sure that he wanted a twenty-eight foot girth. Penis. And I'm like, buddy, this is so many times the size of your body around. Are you sure? And so I did it. The, after the fifth time, I figured he must be certain of what he wanted. So I did it. And then they were like, oh, I actually meant length. Uh, oh, boy. Boy. And then when I finally did do it, and like he was happy with the commission, he had, he said, "Wow, I'm surprised you did it." And I'm like, "Yes, I did. You paid, you paid me. me. You paid me to do it. Of course I did it. You dumb motherfucker." So I tried to tell you exactly. Oh, I tried ripping out my hair and everything. I had to as soon as I was finished talking with this guy, I just had to go over to Vira and just hug him and just like re please rip. Thank my God you don't face. have a twenty-eight foot penis, Vira. It's just I oh. had, like when I, with the, okay. the girth one, it was like wrapped around him, so it looked like this giant fucking um. And their name a big snake. What was what's a, what's a big snake? A boa constrictor. Uh, a fucking python. Yeah, like a but yeah. 
Imagine one of those, but much bigger. Like, I don't know, the, the, the girth of a fucking crocodile or something. Wrapped around his legs. Yeah, see, as a guy, I look at that and I think... As a guy, I look at that and I think, uh, no, no thank you. In the same way, I, I imagine some women look at women with giant tits and say, uh, no thank you. Yeah, sometimes. It depends on, like, the tits for me. For me, it's a matter of, uh, whether or not they're real. Mm. Oh, wow, I'm finishing the stuff like, a lot sooner than anacondas, they're terrifying, yeah. But they're usually long, though, not so much... 30 foot girth <laughs> anacondas. Oh, shit. Right? Please tell me that's right. Perhaps. God. Perhaps. Wow, I'm actually done up here. Cool. Threatens actual consciousness. You think it's too big? Yeah. You ever think you send comments for attention because you're a lonely person who oh. wants some acknowledgement? I mean, listen, when you're it, when you send comments to people in chat, yeah, I get it. Oh, maybe he was supposed to be a giant. Oh, no, no, he gave me his actual measurements as two. Oh, his yeah. measurements are like six foot. Th yeah, like that's something else to point out. Like the actual character was like normally proportioned in terms of like height. Yeah, he, yeah, he might have been a bit tall, but he was a he was a normal person. And then it's just this massive slong. That just wraps around and is like, it, 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 well, it kind of yeah, looked like a snake, to be perfectly it. honest. I wrapped it around him because I thought that's going to compress the picture a bit. So it's not just like a really absurdly long picture with a lot of white space. Yeah. Nope. 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 And let's not forget the amount of penises I had to morph into one because it wasn't just a human penis. There was horse in there. There was cat in there. There was dog in there. I think a deer. Um, a deer. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Now, just as a disclaimer, I don't usually talk bad about the about the things that I get commissioned, but this one is a story. Oh, it's a story and a half. <laughs> The crazy thing is, <laughs> you showed me like one of the uh, works in progress, right? And you were like, yeah. you were asking me a whole bunch of questions based on on what you were being told to draw. And I remember the very first time I saw it, I <laughs> I made the comment to you. Now that's Joseph in the Technicolor dream coat right there, because <laughs> it looks like it it looks like it looked like the thing was wrapped around him like a giant uh cause you the first yeah. thing you showed me was the penis like wrapped around the character almost like a goddamn winter coat so yeah, <laughs> i thought yeah, to yeah, myself yeah, took up his legs i thought i thought to myself that looks like the fucking technicolor dream coat from joseph in the technicolor dream coat <laughs> yeah it took up his legs like you couldn't see it like because of the sheer girth of it it just went up his thighs Still have it. Don't, don't ever. It, listen, it's a great story. Don't ever get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I don't think I remember the name of the commissioner, but it is like that the, the piece is named mm -hmm. after him. I, I know distinctly that it was from your server. I know. I know exactly who it is and who you're talking about. And if they, if they come into your chat and they start to feel bad. I almost don't feel bad because what? I I, I have to believe that it was like a, a mock commission, like just pushing my limits to see what I would and wouldn't draw. I have to believe that for my sanity. Perhaps. But hey, you still made money from it, so there's that. I did. I did. I'm glad I didn't have to draw that character again doing anything else. See, it kind of makes you appreciate the very simple ones I usually bring you. Yeah. Though having said that, I am glad that I closed off um, character sheet commissions. Yeah. I will say, there I are times where I'm like... Character sheet again. There are times where I'm like, God damn, I have this idea for a character I'd like to see visualized, and fuck it, I can't get her to draw a reference sheet. Nope, I have drawn too many. I haven't even got my own reference sheets.
Does this, oh, it does reach all the way up there. I don't know if this makes sense at this point. It does not make sense. No. What's up with refugees? Oh, I just did so many of them. I got burnt out. She did a lot of them for me. Yeah. Let's see, you did, like you've you done reference the sheets. That, that had me doing reference sheets. I had like commissions open. I'm an odd safer work drawer uh, artist. Some people were like, "Can you draw this reference for for my character?" And like, for money. Okay. Yeah. Money. After a while, character sheets are just not fun. I yeah, enjoy I concept character creation. I I enjoy that, but drawing a character sheet, it's just not fun. Like drawing like a proper reference sheet. Yeah, where they're just kind of T-posing or just standing there like, uh, I could be doing so much more. I'm glad that you still will, uh, at, at least for me, I don't know if you do it for anybody else, but will alter the one that you have made. Yeah, I'll I'll do it for you. I won't do it for anyone else. Aw, see, this is how you become special. <laughs> just give her enough money and she'll draw anything for you. Well, I mean, like, I, I've played such a big role in your characters, so, like, you I mean, have. even though they're your characters, I, I do feel, like, a bit like a mama to them, so. Yes. Like, Cause... especially, especially Fen. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah, you've, you've designed, you designed Fen, or at least her current iteration. Um, yeah. You designed both of her sisters. Um, her parents, uh, and then you did, uh, reference... Her girlfriend. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, wife now. Your wife. Um, and then you did one for all four of the members of the ACAD. Well, you've done five, actually. Yeah, because, uh, shows, show. show's not on the podcast anymore, but you did do a reference sheet for his character. Yeah. I've done a lot. I haven't even. I still can't believe I haven't even done my own reference sheet. <laughs> I really should for myself. Yeah, I think you should. And it gives you. See, to me, a lot of the reason when I when I go back to you and I say, "Hey, I've got this idea for an alteration," it's because I have that reference sheet and I looked at it. Yeah. And I'm thinking, you know, after looking at this for a while, I think you know it would look a little better like this, or adding this here would be nice. Yeah. Honestly, like I, I feel the same way when I look at your reference sheet. I um, if I if I happen to if I happen to come upon uh, come upon it, I look at it and I'm like, I can draw so much better now. Since then, mm. you don't look quite as cute or attractive as you as I could make you. But then I'm like, I also don't want to draw another uh, another reference sheet. Uh. No, but you know something you could do, is for mm. stuff like that, you could always uh, add notes like design notes just written out oh yeah and of course anytime I ask you to draw the character just say hey I have this idea for you know yeah. doing it this way this time let me do the sketch and tell me what you think it's not so much like a change of design as it is I've just improved on my body proportions and, and just drawing in general you have well, especially since I've known you, because you and I have known each other for what seven years now. Ish, probably, uh, probably longer. I was not finished this wall. <laughs> or this. <laughs> Are you okay, Vix? Do you need me to hold your hand through this? No, the game does that enough. Oh, you let me finish this little trim here. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I didn't know anything for over a decade. <laughs> what? Imagine knowing someone for over a decade then being bent with no money. I know, how dare. See, Ryan, I would never do that to you. You could, listen, you have a place in Anime Club after dark. Come to the dark side. Oh, wow. Wow. You and the point people with a band of four. To be fair, actually, you're right, you're right. But no one knew, not even I knew what the trigger was. 
<laughs> At first I thought that like um Sane had just tested it tested out um the exclamation mark PS5 command. <laughs> and then Seribot got banned and I'm like, okay, it's not it's not PS5. People are not typing PS5, they're just talking. I they're just talking and getting banned. Yes. As soon as Seribot got banned, I was like, fuck. Man, imagine it banned uh, Vira. That'd be funny. And this, just don't tell him. Just don't tell him at all. No, that would be mean. <laughs> Vira deserves all the love. No picking Indeed. on, just love. He's a sensitive being. He needs all the love. See, I've told him uh, in no uncertain terms that one day he and I are going to meet face to face one time and he's getting a big old bear hug from Senpai. Yeah, he needs hugs. You are the dark... Ryan says he is the dark side. Are you the night, though? Well, he's the darkness. He's got a little darling darkness. I've got... <laughs> hey, uh... Hey, 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 Ryan, does this describe you right here? I don't know how loud. This might be super loud. Is that you, Ryan? <laughs> like that song. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Look, I do love Virgil. <laughs> Virgil, right? Oh my goodness. That is definitely my vibe of music as well. I am the storm that is approaching. But yeah, Ryan, you're always more than welcome here. Any friend of Vix's is a friend of mine. That was nowhere near being done. <laughs> you see the rage. Mm. Stop it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love hearing the sound. But I yeah, want I like it to be of my own well, volition. But... Exactly, exactly. Now, if it wants to do it with a bit what we can barely fucking see, go for it, absolutely. But if I can see mess, let me clean it. Let me clean your mess. <laughs> Love how every time Vix gets upset, it peaks her mic. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I told you this. I don't know if I told you this, Vic. So the last time you were on our podcast for um, the Pokemon Smasher Pass for Gen 2, um, for whatever reason, and we have not been able to figure out why, it only recorded your audio on the, the right audio channel. That's weird. <laughs> I have n We have no idea why it did it. The, the fix was easy. Just, you know... Uh, down mix or up mixed to stereo, but uh -huh. um, we still we have, could not figure out what caused it because when you were on with us, you were in stereo, right? It just so, recorded in That's it recorded weird. it, it recorded it only on the um, the right, the right audio channel. That's weird. I wonder if there's anything I can do about it, but. I've next time, either. next time you're on, we're gonna have you do a little like audio test with John, um, uh -huh. to to see if we can recreate it, and if we can recreate it, we'll know what caused it. Right. I'm uh I'm playing with controller, and every time I um get uh soaked by you, it makes my controller vibrate. So uh, <laughs> just keep really? spray keep spraying me. I'll put this down my pants real quick. <laughs> we'll turn this into a real fun stream. How strong is your controller? Because like controllers are not that strong for me. Listen. Sometimes it don't take <laughs> that much, okay? Okay. Maybe it's because I'm a vibe queen, but I'm just like, really?
but did you ask your vibe for consent? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. I almost feel bad now because it's like I can't ask my vibe for consent. It can't talk any. It can't talk. I'm just gonna stare at it now, going, "Oh, I don't have enthusiastic consent from this inanimate object." Oh, and I am such a bottom. <laughs> it's no wonder you and Finn get along so well. Yeah. You're made for each other. Well, shouldn't be an issue on your end. Your audio might be mono. Good microphones are, but if that's what's happening, it's an issue with the recording software not uh, not recognizing mono versus mono right. Ah. Uh -huh. It it okay. may be. That's okay. why we that's why we want to try and recreate it next time that she's on with us because mm. if we can figure out what caused it in the first place, we can figure out how to never have that happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've got I've got a sure. Um, XLR microphone. I've got a pretty good microphone. Thank God, you got a better microphone than any of us use. I put a lot of effort into finding a microphone that will work really well because Fire and I are in the same room. Mm. So, micro microphone is a, was a very, very big research topic for us. The amount of microphones and money I have spent trying to find the right microphone. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's right something. Now, the only Go ahead. Um, okay. The the only the only issue we have we have n Did it <laughs> It's like all of a sudden she stopped talking. She must be mad. The only issue we have now is that um I come through his microphone when he's talking and that's because he's still got um he doesn't have a condenser microphone like I do. Ah. Oh wait, no. Other way around? I don't know. He has he has a different kind of microphone than I do, so his mm. will pick up more. Mine is less, way less sensitive, so I have to be much closer. Mm. What you're saying is we also need to find a new mic provider. I like that. We'll have to also get him an XLR. Although if we get him an XLR, I want to get him. Um, I want to get him one that has the the voice changer on it, because he'll have he'll have a lot of fun with that. See, that's something I want to do for our streams is get a voice changer, because number one, they're fun, uh, and number two, uh, I like doing silly stuff. So. Yeah, well, that's why I've got voice mode. I mean, like, I. I always feel a bit strange saying that I've got voice mode because I want to stress for those of you that that are a little bit more unfamiliar, this is my voice. I'm using voice Can mode, confirm. this is my actual voice. Um, but I have voice mode specifically for two reasons. One is because my current microphone, my Shure, does not have software. Um, so I, I need something to process it. Um, secondly, I can do mommy voice. Mm-hmm. Except right now, because I have to fix it. And we we love mommy voice here. Yeah. What was he originally saying? I feel like I had a different point to make. I don't know. You got angry, and it really distracted me. Yeah. Same. <laughs> okay. If you want it specifically in the mic chain, you'll need XLR. I had software that came with the shore and it was working kind of okay but oh, it wasn't it good enough and then when I got my XLR cord and started using that with my um with my focus right the software stopped working so I was like oh okay and I think it's because it's an XLR cord was that a sneeze <laughs> that was a sneeze bless you Or is she, is she like, super giggling right now? I 
giggly. Myra oh. woke up and came into my chat, all capital letters, like, did you ban my Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> she almost banned you, Vyra. No, I didn't. I didn't almost ban Vyra because Vyra wasn't here to chat. She's I almost lying. banned anyone that was here to chat. I banned like four people. And one of them just I happened to be Ryan. In a pot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So the bit was, is we the, the the topic of under eighteen came up, and I was like, okay, yeah. If, if you're if you're under eighteen, type in chat exclamation mark PS five. I will send you a free PS five. If you are under the age of eighteen, type in that to go in the draw to win a PS five. Right? It was just a, just a just a bit of a bit, you know? <laughs> if anyone typed in exclamation mark PS5, then they would get banned. And then I was like, I actually can make that command. That will be funny. So I spent a good time trying to figure out how to make this command. And I made a command in StreamerBot. I did it. I did the thing. Except it, I couldn't test it. And... It turns out it banned anyone who chatted in chat. So it banned like four, three, uh, banned three people and Seribot. <laughs> I had to quickly turn it off and re, re, uh, like unban people and remod them. I just realized you're upside down on my <laughs> stream now. I am. Now you're sniffing my hair. Uh, First you were sniffing my butt and now it's my hair. Vix, you gotta stop doing this. You're married. You use L'Oreal, don't you? Yeah, I do. How'd you know? <laughs> you just need a mic, then there's no uh, no need to go so lower. The quality difference are a myth by people who are being haughty. Obviously, a cheap mic is less good, but they are the same thing. It's just if the audio interface is inside the mic or external, it's still digital when it reaches your computer. What we would need is just another mic that um, will not pick up me when I'm talking but when you're and giggling. it has been very difficult to find one yeah yeah it banned Seribot because we were in an ad at the time as well and Seribot made a chat saying ad in progress so they got banned <laughs> I had to quickly turn off the command so I could re uh, so I could bring people back and remod Ryan and Seribot. <laughs> it was so funny. I mean, it wasn't funny for Ryan. No, no he got banned. <laughs> he fa he funny. found a he found a place where he's actually loved and not banned. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you dodged it, you dodged it. Well, I mean, because at first, I thought people, I thought, uh, I thought Sane and, um, I think it was Chaos and Ryan, I thought that they had just typed in exclamation mark PS5, and that's why they got banned. I was like, oh, it works, cool. And then Seribot got banned, and then I was like, oh, this does not work, I need to fix this. Yeah. As soon as you came back, I got hit with the uh, with the ball song and Don Bay. <laughs> I mean, to be oh, fair, after you. banning him, you kind of deserved it. I deserved that. I really did. You know what? I'm not going to complain about that one because I'm doing like the side of the roof thing here and I'm fine with that. I deserve that. Yeah, thank you. Tell Vira hi for me. Um, Manix says hi. I like how you said that. You can, he's listening to the stream on his phone at the moment. He can hear you. Oh, Hi, Vira. <laughs> You're cute. Just saying. Oh, I ship it. Okay, cool. I mean, I ship it too. What is left? Oh, this the roof that I'm up here on. Ah. 
But there's, there's got to be something else because we're not getting the little prompt that says, like, the three things that are left. Yeah. <clears throat> Fire says you're cute. <gasps> I'm cute? <gasps> yeah, you're cute. Yeah, I'm be all, loved. I'm, I'm going to kiss you, Vyra. I'm going to kiss you. That's I'm gonna give... very cute. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Vix a new fic to write. <laughs> Oh, when Elsie, when Elsie and Viro are playing t playing games together, they're so gay, and I fucking love it. Like Viro, Viro is straight as fuck, but they flirt with each other, and it's so fucking wholesome, and I just adore what? it. What? Oh my god, there was so much left. So much. Uh, How dare! Fine. What windows do we have? These ones are fun. Eight window trims. All right. That window is fun. It was seventy percent of the room. I know what happened. Oh, I found a window. Crack. Uh, um. Thank you. Really Ryan does like that. think that it was funny because it gave him a chance to call you a hack. Yes. Wait, how many other windows are there in this house? Wait, wooden trim. Oh, we need window trims now. Okay, fine. It said. Well, it says eight of them. Oh, wooden. I thought it said window trims. I'm an idiot. Wooden, uh, wooden trim. trim. Okay. So I don't even think there's eight windows in this house. Yeah, right? Oh. Okay, so these things in the corner could be a wooden trim. You're a post. Oh. Did you miss anything? Uh, Besides this, getting most of this house clean? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, you know what? It's under here. It's under here. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. The underside of the wooden trim. There we go. Yes, that was that was my own inability to read. Am dumb. I did no. done goofed. Uh, nope, that one's clean. We're still two of them, it says, that are... Oh, and one. <gasps> are you going to get the last thing? It's a race to find the last one. I'm assuming it's these, just these ones across the uh, the bottom of the house. The Unless it's I also... I would assume... Unless the... Dad, is, the... is there one up the top there? Oh, I shit. Think so. I ran right into the fence. Where is the last thing, Vix? Where is the last thing? I'm going to try to sniff it out. I'm going to try to find it. That's a window frame. It's got to be... The bottom? So, Vix? <laughs> yeah, the, the bottom. So, definitely you. So, I just got to gotta get you wet. All right, let me have you draw Yowie. I'll get you wet. <laughs> I'm already wet. <laughs> Oh, woo. It's these ones. Yeah, I don't. Un Is it up here? Surely not. No, that's not it. Can I teach you a little trick? Can you teach me a little trick? Yes. If you open up your tablet, so you can <gasps> see all of the stuff that we've done. Uh huh. Um, scroll down until you find wooden trims and click it. All right, I'm clicking it. Yep, get out of the get out of there. Now, if we're lucky, we should see it glow. Oh, so it'll leave it glowing constantly. Yes. So we, until we find it or we get close enough to it. You think? What the fuck are you? Where the fuck is this wooden trim we've missed? I just realized my music stopped. I mean, but I, I also don't care right now because... Because we're trying to find the goddamn wooden wait. trim. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 <gasps> wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? Did you glow or was that my eyes? What are you looking at? The top, uh, top level. 
Is there a wooden trim up there too? Glow. Did you glow or am I tripping? I mean. I don't see wooden trim. Have you taken your medicine yet today? <laughs> Maybe you are tripping. I have. Uh, Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe we're all tripping. Your eyes definitely glowed. Okay. Well, in that case, when in doubt, grab a ladder. When in doubt, blow up the house. And start spraying. <laughs> Is that, so that's a fascia, not a wooden trim. No, yeah. I swear I saw it glow around here. I mean, we've got I've got it set to where whatever it, we're missing is supposed to be glowing constantly. <clears throat> Jump. Oh, what? Did you find it? No, I fell off the roof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this thing? Oh I my have god. Not the faintest idea. Cause you'd think we'd also see the little bit on the uh progress bar with one of these. Mm. But I'm 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 going through oh, oh it's the garage door. It's up top on the garage door. The trim on oh, top of the garage door. Where's oh, the... Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Where... Aha. Right. Uh -huh. Here we go. I got this. Oh, shit. That's not high enough. That's not like we need a lot. Wait, where'd the ladder go? Oh, why is it over there? Wait. Got it. Oh, Just hold took on. A, took yeah, a little jumping. Fuck you, door. Haha. <laughs> fuck you, garage door. Ah. Fuck you. We gonna do the Shrek DLC for this or not? Uh, neither of us have it. I don't think any of us have the Shrek DLC, it. so. I do have to use the bathroom though. I will be right back. Yep, no problem. I'm probably gonna be up here too.
Hey, I'm back. <clears throat> I don't know. Vix, are you back? Oh, I guess not. Mm. Time to rehydrate. Wait for Vix to get back. For those of you that have stuck around all night, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it a lot. This is a uh, somewhat longer stream than we usually do. Clean the skate park. You'll find that perfect S spray painted. Uh, I am not opposed to doing the skate park. I don't know if Vix is going to want to continue after this, but we'll ask her. I do hope for the people who are uh, are uh, watching over here on our stream. Uh, if you haven't yet, uh, like the stream, subscribe to Anime Club After Dark. We have lots of new content every single week with a brand new episode of our podcast every Monday night. I don't know if Vix realizes this, but I can hear her in the background. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it on stream. I should probably mute that. Yeah, Vix is uh Vix is definitely worth a follow too on uh on Twitch. Uh twitch.tv uh slash Vix underscore allure. Uh V I triple X E L U R. I think I got that right. Yeah, she's uh she's definitely worth a follow too. She streams gotta wanna say at least three or four times a week, if not more. Sometimes she streams every single day of the week. I wish I could do that for you guys. Unfortunately I, I have a I have a job of my uh, full time job that takes at least four days every week away from me. Oh, stretch. Don't forget, if you uh, do stream or do anything for a long period of time, stretch, hydrate, make sure you're not uh, getting too cramped up. It is very important. <laughs> I can hear fire in the background now, too. <laughs> maybe they don't. Maybe they, maybe they realize the abuse they're in. To be fair, they got back and they... I... Anyway, for those of you that are here... How are you doing tonight? I hope everyone's doing well. And I hope if you had a bad day, that watching the stream has made it a little less so. Oh, excuse me. I also realized something when I came back here that um, even though I had to split this into two separate streams, uh, Streamlabs did not stop recording. So I'll be able to upload the actual full recording of this as one complete uh, stream as a VOD. So 
once this stream is over, I'm actually going to set the two streams that I had to split this into as uh, unlisted. And then I will upload the recording of this stream uh, afterwards. So it should make it easier for people who want to um, <clears throat> who want to watch as one stream after the fact. Oh, Vix is back. I hurt Sari Bond's feelings. What? <laughs> oh, I've got a couple of um, a couple of like like bots in my in my channel that Nightbot is deleting, but Sari Bot isn't banning them. Hmm. <laughs> gotcha. I was just telling uh, uh, I was telling the chat before you came back. I didn't realize this until I came back and looked at Streamlabs. Um that even though I had to split this into two separate streams because of the technical difficulties, uh it's been recording the entire time. So I can upload the entire thing as one complete video. Oh, nice. Yes. Um I'm good to continue on with the next uh fucking map if you would like to. All right, you want to do the skate park? I I am told that the skate park has a perfect S. Oh, I love the skate park. All right, well we'll do that then. Skate park's one of my favorites, actually. Awesome. Then let me set it up. While you're doing that, I need to go and look at uh, Steribot. <laughs> Diagnose the issue. I ended up. Mm. My bad. Steribot. Before I forget, just for Liam, I'm going to change clothes. There you go. Let's see. I'm told there's a there's an S around here. Where? Show me. Okay. That's a heart. Thank you. I need this so I can look at what kind of codes I can give it. Where is the S? Show me your S. Yep. I just realized that kind of sounds like show me your ass. Wow. Which I mean, okay. sure. I'm going to put you over there so I can have a look. Where? Mm -hmm. Have I been duped, Fix? Have I been lied to? No, there is an S. Okay, I want online. Oh, motive. I see. Very nice. It's covered up by grime, but very nice. <gasps> Is that an ice cream van? Oh, I can do online dad joke. Oh, fuck yeah! Online dad joke. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, timer. Yeah, yeah, you start, you start. I'm just resetting up my Siri bot. Oh, take your time. Spank that bot if it needs to be spanked. Sometimes, you know, you gotta discipline the bots. Hi, Aaron. How are you, baby? Ah. This command used in your own channel to enable shield mode and post a message about hate raids to your channel. This will be used as a quick command to lock your channel down in case of a hate raid. Alright, so I have to use that in mind. How am I? I'm doing good. I accidentally... <laughs> Hi, Flame! How are you? I I accidentally banned my Seri bot, so now I have to reset it up. Hate raid on... How does it know? It takes a wild Flame guess. Raiden. How are you? Oh, you were also playing Power Wash. Nice, nice. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Um, who have we got here? We have got Sir Hugs a lot. I fucking love your name. I love that. I love that. Okay. Oh, that's what that's what I want. I'm gonna follow Ben. There we go. Oh, just the bot. Hi, see how it is. No. <laughs> I 
second. Okay, so, so uh, story time. After I greet you guys, story time. Um, Flame and Raiders, if you need to go do any post-stream aftercare stuff, such as drinking or bed, eating or drugs or touching yourselves, if you need to go look after yourself, then please go do so. If you would like to stay in chat, though, hello. My name is Vixalore. I am Rule 34 of the internet. I am a shapeshifter from the void, an Australian variety VTuber, and we play a whole bunch of different things here. Today, we are playing some Power Wash Sim, go figure, with my <laughs> lovely friend, Manix. Hello. They are not streaming on Twitch at the moment, but they do stream on YouTube. So if you yes. want to go and check out that pinned message, you can find them there. Um, mm. We stream a whole bunch of different things, ranging from Zelda to... Um, to Power Wash Recently, <laughs> we've been grinding hard on Zenless because I needed Rat Mama. Um, we've been doing some JRPGs, some simulations such as this. Um, we do some art. We do a whole bunch of different things here. Depending if that is your vibe, then welcome on it. I would just let you know also that we are an R18 stream, so if you are under the age of 18, kindly go away. Type exclamation mark um, PS5. <laughs> that, that command is off. Damn. Anyway, story time. I accidentally banned Ryan, two others, and Cerebot. <laughs> Ryan, who is a mod. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan, who is my mod? <laughs> who is one of my mods? <laughs> so, Hugsalot the 13th, of it, respect the name. Oh, my apologies, my apologies. So, Hugsalot the 13th, welcome in to the stream. <laughs> um, so, I'm just resetting up some uh, commands now. It's, it's, it's... How do you actually ban like 10 people in two seconds? Okay, okay, so. We had this, we were having this joke about if you were under the age of 15, oh, sorry, 15, under the age of 18, please type in stream exclamation mark PS5. Do it, and I will send you a free PS5. I'll pay for postage and everything. Do it. If you're under the age of 18, do it. So then I was like, I can do this, actually. I can make a command where it will ban you if you type that in. So then I go looking through Mix It Up and Streamerbot to see if I can set it up. And I set it up through Streamerbot, but it wasn't quite finalized yet. And I didn't know how to test it without banning myself. So I was like, okay, well, maybe maybe, maybe it doesn't work right now. I'll, I'll, I'll keep looking through, through Mix It Up because there should be a better way to do it through there. And then... If they they chatted in my stream and they At got all. banned immediately. They just said something in my stream, they got banned immediately. And I was like, Oh, okay, maybe it's working. It must be working. They must be typing in exclamation mark PS5 and they're getting banned for the bit. And then Seribot got banned because it announced the it, it announced an ad was either coming or, or or in progress or something. And it got banned and that's when I was like, oh shit. You did a fucky wucky. Oh shit, no, okay, actually, it's banning anyone who's chatting. Fuck, I need to stop it. Oh. I'm getting your button more truly a fix, I remember. Hi, hi Teddy, how are you, hun? Oh, it's been, a it's been a while since I've seen you. How are you? I saw your picture on Facebook the other day. Uh, and thank you for the biddies as well, thank you. Oh, you just better try it, see what I have turned it off now. I need to refine it so that it actually does what it's supposed to do. Ah. Scroll a bit. Um, wait, how far am I scrolling? Oh, to you, to, to tell them what happened? Yeah. I just did. Oh, when I came into the room? No, I thought you meant the the, 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 the other story. No, um, <laughs> um, we just came back from a BRB break, and I went to go say hi to Vira. He just woke up from his nap. I went to go say hi to Vira, and he's sitting in bed, arms crossed, looking very stern at me, just saying, you banned my Ryan. <laughs> How <laughs> dare. So <laughs> How dare you. Much trouble if you banned my Ryan. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you can like the Facebook stuff when you see it. Oh, true, true. I don't usually. I don't know. I just don't usually like, uh, like interact on Facebook. I just kind of scroll. But I did see it. I did see it. I do forget to like 
I guess, interact and lo like things on Facebook. Anyway. Um, so I that's the story wanna... about how Vix banned all of her followers. <laughs> I had to quickly turn it off. Even the mods. Just for every week. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if it was banning people that were chatting or if it was systematically just banning people. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Because to be fair, people were saying they were going to do the PS5 thing for a bit. And it's like, okay, they're doing it yeah. for the bit and then I'll just unban them. But it's like, no, it's banning everybody. It's just banning everybody okay. indiscriminately. It's like wailing a shotgun around, just shooting things randomly. I need offline lock. And... Upgrade on, but that's in my channel. Upgrade on. Wow. <clears throat> what a difference. Uh, cool. That should be... That should be fine. Okay. Now, just for fun. She's going to ban all of you now. Just for fun. Ryan, see ya. Oh, why didn't that work? Why didn't my dad joke work? Fine. Fine. Whatever. I mean, the dad joke not working is kind of on brand for a dad joke, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't ban me. You make me come. Ooh-woo. <laughs> <laughs> ban Mr. Lur. <laughs> Ooh-woo. Don't ban me, mommy. Okay, let me, let me close that. Her experiments scare me now. My it scares me too, Bob. <laughs> Sometimes I'm clever. No. I'm Is there more to that, or was that just a blanket statement? Sometimes I'm clever. No, sometimes I'm clever. That's it. Oh, that's, that's it. I thought it was gonna be. Sometimes I'm clever, but. No. Sometimes I'm clever. That's all. <laughs> Sometimes I'm clever, but banned for PS5 was not one of those times. I will figure it out and refine it, because I think it will be funny. Here's a here's and a if tip. If someone that we know that uses it, we can just unban them. It's okay. Here here's a tip. Don't do it while you're live. <laughs> <laughs> Just free piece of it. Then how do I test it? Do it while you're offline. How do I test it? I'll listen. I'll be the sacrificial lamb. Okay. Yeah, you're right. All right. Yeah, I love this place. This one, this um, this place took me days to do. Oh, by wow. myself, but I loved it. It was good fun. Yeah. Place the ladder down. I really should do that, hey. There we go. Wow. I should make a make a dummy huh? account that's just gonna be like my bot account. Oh, that is not what I was sorry for flashbanging the entire uh stream there. Flashbang them, jeez. I know. Ask for consent first. <laughs> Is this what is that what tra <laughs> for, for Overwatch fans? Is that what Tracer calls um? Gonna call sex just flashbang. Yeah, <laughs> that's what a quickie is—a flashbang. Yeah. You've heard of a flash mob? Yep. Now here's the flashbang. Here's the flashbang. <laughs> Stand back! It's gonna be messy. Whoa. You did fall off. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's okay. I'm back up. Bot chow. Ah. <laughs> you are so cute. From now on, like, people in your streams are going to be like, when you try and do something with your bots, I don't feel so good, Vix. <laughs> 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 Just fucking disappear. Yeah. All of my... <laughs> 
All of my chatters are just going to be like, whenever they hear a Vic say the, say the sentence, hang on, I can do this. And they're just going to be like, no, Vic, start. I, the the no, crazy thing it. is, the crazy thing is when I asked you, what are you doing? And you're like, don't worry about it. I'm being funny. And then just immediately people start <laughs> being banned. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried about it. I'll be honest. I was very worried about it. Don't worry about it. I'm being funny. Don't worry about it. I'm being funny. Oh, fuck. What have I done? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> My bad. Hang on. I have to fix this. <clears throat> You're full damage in this. Our bones are titanium. Our bones are fine. But don't do it in real life. Your bones are not made out of a titanium in real life. They will snap. And even if they are, the rest of your body isn't. Maybe don't maybe don't do it anyway. Even if you have titanium bones. I was so confused, Vira, for a second then. Oh shit. Because I saw you pull up. I saw the notification of you pulling up Overwatch, and I was like, Lizard doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? Why am I getting told? Oh, Steam, right. There we go. I just say like the color and design of the skate park is like right out of the nineties. Yeah. And I'm I here really for like it. it. I'm very much oh, no. here for it. Oh no. Is that Oh no. It's a ballpark. It's a baseball park. It is? <laughs> Get me away from it. <laughs> Vix, no. it's a baseball park. You know what that means. Why does it follow me? See, Vix, when you come to the U.S., I'm going to take you to a baseball game. No! <laughs> yes. Don't. Yes. If you take me to a baseball park, I demand to be taken to a diner with pancakes. Oh, that, that oh, easily please. done. Okay. Easily done. Good. <laughs> Thank you. I'll even pay for it. How about that? Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. Time to grind some ZZZ while listening to the joy and love that is your wonderful face. Oh, do you play ZZZ too? Where are you up to? Are you trying to get Rat Mama? I, we got her yesterday. I'm so fucking happy. Vira, Vira rolled her for me and we got her. Oh. Now I'm using any um polychromes that I get to try and get her weapon. <laughs> I don't have high hopes, but... You have Jane and her weapon? Nice. Oh. Nice. I am trying to get her weapon now. Not hard, because, you know, oh well. That's so cool. Jane, Seth, and Nakamata, your main group right now. Team! That's the same. I used to switch between Seth, uh, uh, sorry, I used to switch between Seth and Soldier 11. But since we've got Jane now, I'm going to keep Seth in the party. So now I guess I'll switch between Nakamata and and Soldier 11. Oh, but it's really tough though because both of those are really great characters to play. They're very fun. You know, Seth is kind of there just because he's also pub sec. I love Nekamata. They destroy, they do. I'm just listening to you talk right now and I'm like, these are words. Yes. <laughs> Do I know what they mean? Not in the order you're saying them. <laughs> Hi, mermaid. It's been a minute. Ow. Um. I want this fucking marker come off. I know, right? The virus has been playing CCC, um, CCC for a bit. And I tried my hardest to resist another gacha game. Because of Genshin. I tried so hard to resist. But then they brought out Jane Doe. And I tried to resist her. 
But she got me. She got me with her gay ways. <laughs> her gay wiles. Let's be honest, for you that wasn't very really difficult. Have, no, yeah. She got me though. I've only been playing Zenless for just over a week. And I grinded the shit out of that game to try and get her. <laughs> so the first gotcha you haven't lost interest in? I'm like, I'm still interested in the story of Genshin, but I'm not interested enough to get back into it because it is a grind. Getting into Genshin, or getting back into Genshin is a grind. It is a full-time job and I'm not up for that. But I'm really interested in the story though. New player profile you can add me. We are on the Asia servers. I don't know if that makes a, much of a difference, but we are in the Asia servers. I am in Chapter 2 Prelude. Oh, sorry, Chapter 2 Interlude. Sorry, my bad. I just got to... Uh, uh, I just got to Internaut level 34. Yay. How they gotcha. Oh my god, Taku. Uh, wink, wink. I believe you finished the interlude. Oh, did I? Ooh. I know I got to 34 last night. if you can add across servers um you should know from all you guys are usually on asia servers yeah well for genshin i'm on the american servers um i wish i could transfer transfer to asia servers though <coughs> I put too much work into it though to make a new account only same region there we go <clears throat> Oh, you already came up here. Nice. I already came up there. Wait, where's that? <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no. oh, up there. Yeah, that's where I started. Oh, okay. And then I ran away. The goal <laughs> then I ran away. It was going to get me. Show me where the ballpark touched you. <laughs> Is the ballpark um. in the room right now? <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> Still can't believe I accidentally banned people. Oh, You're never going to live that down now. You realize that, right? No, that has become my history now. That is that has become part of Vic's lore. I'm just happy yes. I was here to witness it. Yeah. Also, did you just say Vic's a lore? Vic as in like L O R E? Yes. I did. Oh. Vic's a lore, I like that. Sounds like it's French. Vic's a lore. Vic's a lore. I'm going to make that a segment. Your internet level 43, been grinding a lot. Nice. What level are you, Pyra? Pyra's 46. He's level 100 in my heart. Oh, that was cute. Did you hear that? Manic said he's your level 100 in my heart. <laughs> Fire is giving you the love hot hands. <laughs> you 50 ones and help. <laughs> <gasps> I found the S. I found the S. 
I looked at the origins of the S the other day. It's it's quite a fascinating story, honestly. Hmm. Which one have you heard? I've heard there's several stories about its actual origins I've heard, and it's older than a lot of people think it is because there's d apparently documented evidence of this symbol from just before World War II. It's even older than that. I would, I don't doubt it. I, I don't know, like, because you look at the design, right, and it kind of looks like something that you would have expect to come out of the 80s. But right. Knowing that it's like pre World War Two, it's like goddamn. Some designer really understood the way that like uh, logography is it logography is that what you call the study of how letters are shaped? I don't uh, know. I don't know about letters, but there is a study on uh, graffiti. Yeah, so someone back then was way ahead of their time. Yeah. So if. If my research is right, and I don't know, I can't confirm, um, but if my research is right, then it's actually from about 500 BC. I don't um, from doubt the it. Roman, uh, sorry, Romanian uh, Greek era, peasants would wear it on, uh, would wear that a similar symbol on their on their clothing, to represent the sun god. Oh. Um, I mean, sounds plausible. I mean, the, I the, the basic design comes from. It's not exactly. Oh yeah, I I, I, w I would assume that being as old as it is, it's had some revisions over the years. Yeah. But it's definitely older than most people think it is. Yes. So if that's correct, then it's they would wear very old this symbol on their outfit. Oh, you're behind me. Yeah. She's sneaking up behind me. She just stabbed me. <laughs> so it's very similar. Just missing those, those two little things to make it like a full S. <clears throat> <laughs> Fix, are you enjoying pegging me back there? What? I don't know why it's got I'm you behind me. I'm... I don't know. It's got it's on my stream. It's got you behind me. Oh, that's weird. I'm over by the arch. No, I meant like, on on my stream, on my my setup, not where you are on the map. Your feed super model. Okay. Oh, oh, my model. I don't know why it's like behind me now, but it looks like it's pegging me. Not that I would complain. Oh. waiting for the delay. Yes, for Sun God makes sense. Yeah, yeah it, it, the story makes enough sense to me to where it could be true. I definitely think it's far older than... Hell, it could even be older than that. Who knows? I... Maybe that symbol is like the of... origin of the letter S. Like the actual like shape of the letter S. Possibly, but that one I think would be older. Um, I was reading the comments, and one of the comments was like, "Wow, I wonder how it got I got this far." And then they replied to themselves, going, "Oh wait, I forgot about the Greek." <laughs> I mean, yeah, we still use the They're names like, of Greek letters all the time. So we still use the names of Greek letters all the time for as uh, signifiers. Alpha, beta, gamma, yeah. delta. Well, we still go by the by um like really really old tr uh, holiday traditions and stuff like Easter and stuff. Yeah. They weren't originally Christian. Very few of them. Very few holidays that are associated with Christianity started out that way. Yeah. I mean, Easter is to celebrate the Norse. Uh, the no, sorry, not Norse. Um, the um. Germanic goddess uh, Eostra. All right, I'm just gonna say this kind of looks like blood on the wall now that it's all funky. Oh, it looks like blood. Yeah, because you know you you take the the graffiti out in uh, in sections, and it just looks like giant streaks yeah. of blood. It's like maybe we are crime scene good. cleaners. Yeah. 
Okay, maybe it's Epsilon. the yep, Epsilon. Maybe it's the criminals that hire us to clean these places. Look, I'm not going to rule that out. Some of the some of the maps in in your future made me question whether or not I was doing the right thing. You know, they have that game Crime Scene Cleaner, right? Which is a game I definitely want to play on stream at some point. Although, I don't I know really how violent it is. Uh, but um, I saw a bit there was a body. I mean, a dead body sure. is fine. I, you know how many games I play where I'm killing a bunch of people? Uh, but... Yeah, yeah. Because <clears throat> like, I've always wanted to play um, uh, L.A. Noir on stream. Um, cause that's... Oh, I have that. I haven't that, played it yet, either. It's a fucking phenomenal, like, little story-based game, which you can get through relatively quickly. It's not a super long game. Uh, mm -hmm. but there is a section in that game where you are playing on the murder desk, or homicide desk, um, and you see the dead bodies as they are, and they don't have anything that they're wearing up top, and they're all women. Right. Titties. So yes, titties. I was trying to say titties. But uh bloody and dead titties. Alright. Not happy titties. Not happy titties. <laughs> Sad cold grey titties. Oh, maybe we're criminals on probation? <gasps> mm, maybe. This is our new job. Yeah, I want to. I want to play a crime scene uh, cleaner as well. It looks fun. I am not sure what you mean, Bob. By I failed at what? That traditionally it was a pagan fertility uh, festival in which in practice meant orgies, among other things. Yeah. Uh, orgies. Uh, you have... And your grandpa wonders why you don't believe in God. You have my attention. Yes, titties. I, I failed at saying titties. See, it's difficult for me to describe those as titties, though. Because when I think of titties, I think of very happy things. Like, titties make me happy. I don't think this is a very uh, unpopular thing to say. Um, when you I think of titties... Alive and full of everyone's hopes and dreams. Yes, when I think of titties, I'm not thinking of, you know, the titties on a corpse. I would hope not. If, you, if that's your first thought, I am concerned. Yeah, I mean, if it was my job to clean up crime scenes or investigate crime scenes where there were, you know, uh, perhaps a dead woman, then yeah, I might think about it then, but, I, you know, that's not my job, and I don't go around every day thinking of dead titties. I think about titties on very much alive women. Then again, I suppose if you're a, car a coroner and you're, like, that's your job to deal with dead bodies and whatnot, you probably stop thinking of them as titties and just breast. Yeah, you probably well, you just probably think of them as bodies, in general. Well, it becomes a job. Well, the whole to body, you. yes, I would think of them as body, but the whole body, I wouldn't think of that as a breast. It's just, <laughs> it's, but it's just part it's, of your. It's a it, was, it, it becomes part of your job, and you just don't think about it like that anymore. Yeah, it becomes desensitized, like a lot of things. Yeah. Whoa! Don't. Oh my goodness! If don't yeah, don't flashbang yourself if you press that button. Fuck me. Uh, you can be more medical about it. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like if I if that was my job, I would definitely be more um, scientific, medical about the terms that yeah. I used. I wouldn't say, hey, this woman had her titty caved in. Not <laughs> had her titty caved in? I don't know. Wow. For the crowbar. I mean, that would be a chest, not just a titty. True. I mean, maybe it was a very tactical crowbar usage. It's just a single titty was just... Caved in. If, if, yeah, if someone if someone told me their titty caved in, I literally wouldn't think of their chest. I would think their actual tit was caved in, and that <laughs> would just be weird. Don't, well, doesn't that happen sometimes for women with implants? Uh, I don't know. Maybe if they if they're bad. 
I, Hi, I Callie. How are you, hon? I swear I've heard that happening before. I wouldn't be surprised. Shaved into the equals inverse nipple to the extreme. To the extreme. Yeah, exactly. Look, I'm not here to to kink shame. Some people are into that, but me, you know, I like my titties alive. <laughs> oh, you're talking about dead. Right, okay. No, I was going to say, if your titty... I don't care what gender you are. If your titty ha ha is uh, is caving inward, go see a doctor. Yes. That isn't a kink thing. Go see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably or something least... way more seriously wrong than you think. Yeah, or at least a service a service station by that that stage and get an air pump or something. Like, a service me. station with an air pump. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine some woman getting out of her car and just detaching it and just <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> it's definitely possible regardless of state of plastic surgery seems grotesque. You seem to be under the impression that caving in and curving in are the same. Yeah, sorry, I meant I did mean I meant caving in. I forgot the term caving. Thank you. Do you hook up the pump to your nipple or mouth or what? I don't know. Whatever has made your titty cave in like that is probably an opening. So just say, hook it hook up, it up to your mouth. I don't know. Hook it up, like stop breathing in. Start get like some Looney Tunes <laughs> ass thing. Be the weirdest look right now. Some Looney Tunes ass thing where you just put a fucking air pump into your mouth and just blow your whole body up. <laughs> oh my god! I'm being pulled away. <laughs> what? They're not caved in, but I appreciate your concern. Thank you for making sure that they are properly flated. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Quick, get the bike tire pump. <laughs> uh, my boobs are now feeling appropriately boobly again. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> See, this is why it's a good thing I don't have boobs. Because I would use them so irresponsibly. Yeah, go on. Oh, I, I'm just saying, like... You would irresponsibly use your boobs. Listen, I would just walk up to random people. Adults, mind you, adults. And say, look at these things. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> 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 That's all right. <laughs> you cannot tell me if you woke up tomorrow with a cock, the first thing you wouldn't do is go to fire and say, look at this, and just start swinging around going, helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> okay, yes, you are absolutely correct. One of the other first things I would do would be like, teach me how to pee. Teach me how to use this. <laughs> I need instruction. Look at a wiggle. <sighs> oh, my God, if I do this, it does this. <laughs> I know Vira's I know Vira's her husband, but I'm just saying, like, it, I know it's the first thing he, that she would do if she woke up tomorrow with a cog. Yeah. Well, I hope Vira's the first per, per, the first person I go to if I woke up with a cock. Can you imagine if I woke up with a cock and I just went up to someone else and was like, hey, look at this! <laughs> no, Vira's the first person that I am going to show my penis to. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's okay, a, there's cool. a nice out of context clip for you. Vira is the first person I'm going to show my penis to. Yep. Don't worry, I will tell you. You are the very first person that will find out if I ever get a cock. And it appeared by magic. Because yeah. I imagine that if I was going to go through the process of actually getting a penis, then you'd be told well before that. You would think... <laughs> Unless someone just, you know, abducted you in the middle of the night and took you somewhere and just randomly attached it. God. <laughs> Wake up two days later. Just, God, where am I? <laughs> oh, look at this. This thing. I have a handle now. 
Surprise, why I got you surgery? Yeah. Now we can live out my yaoi dreams. Bend over, Vyra. <laughs> I'm gonna try okay. this out. Technically, he doesn't need me to have a penis for me to tell him to bend over. I'm gonna leave that right where it is. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask for any clarification whatsoever. I'm just gonna let you have that and just it, it's all there for you. Maddox. Darling. Yes. Pegging is a thing. I I know that. Jesus Christ, I got people in my chat are telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. You tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I get it. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that you knew. I'm very well aware that pegging is a thing. Okay, good. <laughs> It, it, it was important to me that you knew. <laughs> Trust me, I've witnessed it firsthand. I know it's a thing. Been a hot minute since you. Hi, Santa. Uh, how you been? How you sexy bitches doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. We're playing some power wash. Cleaning up and our I'm act. Talking about funny things. Talking about penises. Yep. And occasionally like drawing them. Oh, penises can be funny things. <laughs> I have I have seen some that have maybe giggle. <laughs> Hopefully not to their face. No, not to their face. No. That would be traumatizing in so many ways. No, if if it's a if it's a penis from someone who is in good um in good faith posted um you know to like a selfie channel or whatnot, I would never tell them to their face. I will tell it to Vyra. <laughs> Vyra, Vyra, come look! Look at this weird penis! Yes, Vix, I see the penis. No, I, I will do- I do my best not to body shame people. Bodies are beautiful. And... Everyone's body is unique. It is very I mean, true. Like I've got any right to body shape people if I'm not completely happy with my own. I get the feeling that most people, in some way, shape, or form, aren't one hundred percent happy with the body that they have. Like, especially if you are genuinely wanting to have like self improvement. Yeah. Because there's always room for self improvement. Yeah. Hi, Elle. How are you? You talk, in, talk about giggling at my penis on the street like that. Bitch, Ryan, I do not talk about your penis like that. I still have your selfies. <laughs> She's got the receipts. You can't lie. They're kept safe on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I found them not too long ago, actually. I was looking through my gallery, and I was like, oh, that's Ryan. And she giggled. But not for the reason you think. I will talk mind players, you're right. <laughs> Unless we're talking about mind players. No, I, I fucked that mind player. Whoa, what? In Baldur's Gate. Oh. Baldur's Gate 3, I fucked that mind player. I wanted those tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> you're damn right. I feel like garbage, but you live. How's you? Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Our DMs are open, hun, if you need, okay? I'm glad that you're here. Is I'm that really L? glad that you're here. I always love seeing you. Yeah, it's L. Hi, L. Mannix was saying earlier that they really want to, um, that they want to get pens from you. Yeah! I want to see if you can maybe make, uh, an ACAD pen for me. Especially if you can do, um, okay. fountain pens. Why don't I just tap them? Oh, yeah. I rather enjoy fountain pens, and I haven't had the chance to own a decent one in a while. He does make fountain pens. There's one in my Discord. Mm. It's beautiful. I've got my eyes on it as well. I'm like, Ooh. Yeah, I've seen some of the uh, examples and that he's posted and that other people who have gotten some uh, from L mm. have posted. They're very... Yeah, they, cool. they seem... And I will never use another pen unless it's not within my range. I mean, besides being um, very aesthetically pleasing to look at, they all, from what I have heard from people who have gotten the pins, say they are very comfortable to use. Yeah, because they're heavy. 
And they're heavy and they're thicker pens and they really fit really nicely in in your hand. Mm -hmm. Pen. P E N. Pen. They're, they're 15. beautiful pens. Um, also, I, I am a monster. So I fuck mo Of course I fuck monsters. <laughs> Tentacle or no? Yeah. Is that the whole thing? Or is there more to this? Oh, that was more. No, I'm sorry, that was it. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell a story about a monster you wouldn't fuck. Uh, I can't think of one yet. Uh, giant tarantula. Uh, okay, yes, you got me there. I'm not going to that. <laughs> See? Everyone has their limit. I was going to say, unless it's like, um, like a, like a child kind of thing. Similar well, to yeah, but that, that's a given. One. Yeah, well, yeah. as we found out, there's someone in our podcast who, uh, doesn't seem to give a shit. <laughs> Nor he will fuck anything. Bulbasaur? Fuck it. Literally. Never mind the fact that it's a tiny child. Yes. Depending on the Pokemon, yes. Actually, Zenith, um, Manix, uh, Manix does. Hmm? Manix is a co host of Anime Club After Dark, a podcast mm -hmm. that does all, ki all kinds of things. And I have featured on that podcast doing a couple of Pokemon Smasher passes um, mm -hmm. at the end of this month or early next month, whichever one we uh, can remember. Um, we're going to be doing the third one. Yes, Gen 3. I'm looking forward to it. It's actually the first generation I've never played any of the games for. Huh. I Past Gen 2, I've never played any of the games that have like Gen 3 and beyond. So uh, these Pokemon are brand new to me. Oh, Lickitung is a hard smash. Yes. Thank you for the shout out, by the way. You are welcome. If you are curious and and want to know where you can find them, because they don't stream on Twitch, you can find them by looking at my pinned message. I've got the link right there to the live channel. Yeah. We've got new content multiple days a week. We have a brand new episode of the podcast that comes out every Monday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. In fact, uh... Would you rather fuck a muscle mommy tarantula girl, think buff Rechnera, or oh. be Vix 2.0 is delayed by two years? Oh, shit! I would rather fuck a muscle mommy tarantula girl. You have a better, you have, you have more, uh, I don't even know what that would be, fortitude? Than I would. <laughs> I don't want to delay my Vix 2.0 for that long, no. Oh, here's a hypothetical for you. <clears throat> okay. Delay your VIX 2.0 by one year based on whenever it is you get the like the final model uh, rigged and everything. But you can't you can't stream okay. with it for a year. But in exchange, okay. you get a million dollars. Oh shit. Yeah, I'll take the million. Okay, see? Money fixes everything, doesn't it? I'll take a million. I'll go on a fucking... I'll go on a holiday for a year. They See? So you won't even have to stream. And then when you come back, it's like a brand new you. Although, if I don't stream for a year, then I kind of have to build myself up because people that follow me have probably moved on, forgotten that I stream or whatnot. So I do have to kind of keep on streaming to keep... To like, stay relevant and remind people that I'm still here. But... No, um... A million dollars? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of vacations you can take. I'm not going to make a million, like, yeah, I'm not going to make a million dollars with my VIX 2.0 in a year. No. Absolutely not. So I'm going to take that million. And there's nothing saying that you can't take that million dollars, or at least part of it, and invest it in more stuff for your model that can be worked on in the span exactly. of that year. Exactly. I mean, like, my model's one thing, but with a million dollars, jeez, fraction of a fraction of that and i can work on the entire like an entire theme and whatnot for my stream exactly for, for my new for my de debut or something Take and in the, in this yeah, hypothetical possibly. in this hypothetical you, in this hypothetical you can still stream as your your current model so it's not like you don't yeah, have to I stream 
I just can't stream as my 2.0, and that's fine. Yeah. And you get a million dollars. I can really build up the hype for it. It's pretty cool of you to have the model itself in our hands rather than just delayed. Listen, it's it's not a good hypothetical if it's an easy choice. Yeah. Yeah, no. One million. Easy. Now, if you asked me a one million dollars... Uh -huh. but you don't stream for a year, that would be a much harder question. Mm. Because stream streaming for me, streaming is my life. I love streaming. I have an even more difficult one for you. You get $100 million up front, cash, tax-free. So okay. you, get it, you get it all. But yep. there was way more of that left, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> But, but, you're not allowed to stream ever again. You can stream with other people, but you can't stream on any of your own channels by yourself ever again. So just retire. Aww. But you get a hundred million dollars. What would I do? Um, I mean, it doesn't stop me from other kind of content creating. So like, yeah, arts you can, and... you can do, you can do other kind of content creation. A collab only streamer, exactly. That's something that, that that she could do with this hypothetical. Right. And you I could and you could still get a two point oh and stream with that if you want. Him. You'd what? I'll get fired to stream. There, there you go. See, you found a way around the hypothetical. So you still <laughs> get to, you still get to stream. It's just you can't stream on your own channel Ooh. by yourself. Neat. Well, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy your stay. And if you don't, blame it on me. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I still get the 100 mil, right? Yeah. So it would suck a lot, because I love streaming. But the money. But I can't be too mad, because 100 mil is 100 mil. You can do a lot with 100 million dollars. Yeah. So all the other streamers I could support as well with 100 mil, and that, that's yeah. like... Like, after I've got myself and my family and my friends all settled. And, and you could stream with stuff, them. I could stream with them. But I can support other people. Ugh. See, for me, that would be an easy decision. Because that's exa pretty much what I would do. I would set myself up first. And then I would use that money to, well, make my character that I have... Uh, more, I guess, VTuber-like. Um, yeah. And essentially just become a collab-only streamer and support the people that I like and my friends and my family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would be that mysterious streamer that just comes into people's chats and suss them out for a bit, and then I'd be like, yeah, you cool. Here, Here have this. Here's $100,000. Here's link. Buys everything. There's a soccer ball in here. Get the fuck out of here. He's a hundred sub bomb, exactly. And then just whoosh, I'm gone. And then just, I'm gone. You never saw me. Ah! I feel like you've made this friend commune that's, um, that always... I would absolutely make this friend commune. I really want to. Do you know how much I want to buy an island with excellent internet and then just move all of my best friends there? Can I come? <laughs> I like islands. Same. I just like the beach. That's your chance. One that's known for being being a sugar daddy and one where you can just enter chats and sauce them out because you'd be... Yeah, yeah, because if you entered the chat huh? and your name was like... Imagine if you were the Wonder Bread Man, right? Everyone the Wonder Bread Man? The Wonder Bread Man. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows the Wonder Bread Man. You come into chat and people will be like, oh my god, the Wonder Bread Man's here. The Wonder Bread Man's here. And then the streamer might actually put on like a performance to try and win the Wonder Bread over. No. You go in as a secret random ass fucking account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, I like this person. You log on to your Wonder Bread account, and then you're just like, yeah. Then you can be, you can, it's the legend of the Wonder Bread Man. Exactly. I'm still sad that I have never been commissioned by the Wonder Bread Man. 
I want to be commissioned by the Wonder Bread Man. I feel like I would be, I, I will have made it as an artist mm -hmm. <laughs> if I'm commissioned by the Wonder Bread Man. Welcome to the stream, Miss Fire. I am okay. glad you're here. So, uh, a, a, quite a while ago, uh, well, this is back in the days of D of the Art when it was all popular and stuff and whatnot. There was a guy, a random, just this just random guy who liked c to commission artists. Lots uh -huh. of artists. A lot of money went into this to just draw a a blonde woman buying Wonder Bread. Is it is it necessarily buying Wonder Bread or just a commission? Just in the trolley. Just in the trolley. Wonder Bread just in the trolley. Okay. So and like at a grocery store. So many artists. Sorry? So yeah, like, like at, at a grocery, grocery store. store. Okay. Yeah. And there was like no specific woman, just so long as it was a woman with blonde hair with Wonder Bread in the trolley. That was it. They would commission so many artists that they were actually known as the Wonder Bread Man. No one knew more about this guy. No one knows what he does or mm -hmm. or has any kind of relationship with him. He just kind of comes up and is like, hey, I'm going to give you a he heaps of money. Can you draw this? Like, okay. I'm Hey, it's... It became a theme. A thing. Some people do really weird shit when they get money. I mean... Mm. He disappeared for a while, but I heard he's come back fairly recently. I, I made that. I think I heard that from Queenie. I um, made the mm. joke that he just needed to um, work to get some more money so that he could commission more people. <laughs> Wait, what? Ooh. I just wanted to watch <laughs> someone play this game while I finish it to work. Well, you are more than welcome to stay and watch us play. Um, what? what? What's going on? Wonder Bread, someone made what? <laughs> Wonder Bread just bought something from my throne. Oh, nice. I don't think it's a the Wonder Bread man, but someone just bought something on my throne. His name was Wonder Bread. What? I mean, how do you know it's not the actual Wonder Bread man? He's come back. <laughs> because if they wanted something, they wouldn't buy something on my throne. They'd commission me. How, listen, people change up their ways. I wonder. L. Is <laughs> this you? <laughs> or Ryan. Oh my god, thank you. Was it L? I just saw what you bought me. I just saw what you bought me. Was it actually L? I don't know if it was L yet, but... <sighs> he bought me... A Lucifer t-shirt that says, fuck you, depression. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's a good shirt. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, have I gotten far in the game? No, I have not, but Vix, who I am streaming with here, uh, has. I think she's gotten pretty far in the career. Yeah, I'm about to change the career. Oh my goodness, I can't understand a word you're saying. Oh. oh, I think your mic is going all fucky-wucky. Fix, what happened? Um, and I, I, don't, I don't think any of us own any of the DLCs. I don't. I don't own any of the DLCs. Although I will probably get them. Um, it's fixing the mic? Okay, cool. Please hold. I will hold very patiently for Vix to come back after she fixes the mic. Yeah, I, I definitely do plan to um, to get the uh, the DLC uh, for this game and stream it eventually. Um, whether it's by myself or as a co-op stream with Vix or other people. Um Yeah, I love uh, I love chill games uh, like this a lot. Even though they don't uh, tend to draw in the most amount of uh, people to watch, I still enjoy them because I find them very relaxing. They are very relaxing. But at the same time, I also understand that you know a lot of people when they want to watch a streamer, they want to watch a more fast-paced, action-oriented game, and I get it. To 
to purchase it later. But fuck yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> the Wonder Thank Bread you. Man got you something. Yes. Thank you, L. Love you. Vix's return. You are no longer required to hold, but may choose to continue should you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's the chat? Where's the chat? Where's the chat? Okay. <clears throat> well, I appreciate the fact that you're oh, here, Miss Fire. I hope you're having a good time. Um, if you haven't already, uh, do consider subscribing. Uh, we try to do at least two to three streams a week, although we've been a little lax on that recently. Um, but if you're into... Uh, anime and manga or otaku content. We also have a weekly podcast that goes out every Monday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I've heard of Coffee Talk. I think I saw uh, Nebby playing Coffee Talk once before. That's another chill game, isn't it? Yeah. I think... I think so. I, I think haven't played I, it myself. I think I own it, or if I don't own it, it's on my wish list. Yeah, if you like um if you like chill games, occasionally I do get on here uh by myself and stream um uh American Truck Simulator. That's kind of my go to like super chill game that I like to play. Well hey, you like played up. You'd probably like um Tavern Manager Simulator. I actually uh bought that not too long ago. I was going to play that on stream sometime soon. Yes. Is that co-op or is that only single player? Uh, so that one, that one is single player. But if you get Tail and Ale, which is a different game, mm -hmm. um, but using the same kind of thing, it, it's look, it looks exactly the same. Um, that one's co-op. Okay. So you've got Tail and Ale, and then you've got wait, what? Ah, <laughs> Wonder Bread. Wonder what? Vix is having a moment. Hold on. Come from a media background, used to work for a radio station. I'd love to see more people be able to produce their own podcast. Uh, yeah, we've been uh, we've been doing the Anime Club uh, After Dark podcast since 2015. Are you okay, Vix? Do we... What is going on? The new gift is from Wander Brit. Oh. I promised everyone we would read through my fanfiction from when I was 16. Now, <laughs> I didn't, at that time, I didn't know the difference between the spelling of wonder, so I would spell wonder wrong with the A instead of the O. And wander. it became a thing. We started counting how many times I would say wander instead of wonder. <laughs> so, Vyra has just bought me something off my throne with Wander Bread Man. <laughs> <What's> his name. <laughs> Thank you for playing volume one of Yu-Gi-Oh! Thank you! <laughs> now I can start my Yu-Gi-Oh! manga collection! <laughs> oh my fucking god, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> Good crying, though. Thank you, Vyra. The, the best crying. <laughs> it's so funny. He came over just to like steal, uh, to like nab my phone. And I was like, okay, okay. Was, all right, you do you. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Ah, oh. fuck, oh, that was funny. Oh, I'm excited. As yeah, SMS requirement, right? Uh, honestly, if it wasn't you, I was gonna guess Ryan. <laughs> Wait, what? Buttercup bread? <laughs> Who's that? Who's buttercup bread? <laughs> buttercup bread? Thank you! <laughs> yeah, buttercup bread just bought a choker for me. Thank you! 
Unfortunately, it's even satisfactory to do any bits. That's okay. So where's where's Buttercup? With your local bread bread. <laughs> If someone buys something under the moniker Tip Top, that'd be great. Tip Top's my favorite brand. <laughs> Prefer Buttercup Bread over Tip Top. Oh, really? I haven't even heard of Buttercup Bread. Oh, that's how that's how backwards our um, little community is. We don't even have Buttercup Bread. What is Buttercup Bread? I wait, was that you? I've never even heard of Buttercup Bread. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me too much, given the different countries. Oh, man, except have you tried our bread? Like, just Australian bread? I, I've i tried Vegemite. That was enough. Okay, well, uh, I will let you know that our bread doesn't taste like Vegemite. <laughs> that, that is very good to know. Uh, if anything else tastes like Vegemite, I would be, feel very sad for you. No, the only thing that tastes like Vegemite is Vegemite. Um, I don't spit out much. No, I... But boy, did I, I spit that out real quick. I Australian bread. I have uh, heard a lot of Americans try Australian bread, and they just absolutely loved it so much because I hear that American bread is more cake-like, or it's very sweet. It can be, yes. Coffee talk is basically you make coffee for fantasy. Uh, whoops, hang on. I did the chat, so covering that word. Uh, her fantasy creatures ranging from the box standard elf to your little octopus mermaids. Ooh. Octopus? Well, you've got her attention. Nekmini, satires, sirens, banshees, and more. Vixen, and let not forget, we got sexy vampires and werewolves in this. Ooh. There's a bread brand named Bimbo, and you're tempted. <laughs> Bimbo bread. Oh, that's funny. I would try that. I would eat bamboo, uh, bamboo, bimbo bread. <laughs> Have I ever oh, told I you the story, that. Vix, of one of the most unfortunately named persons I've ever met in my life? No. So when I was in elementary school, and keep in mind, this person was always around elementary school aged kids. And you know how kids can be. Okay. Yeah. His name, I shit you not, and this was his, like, it wasn't one he gave himself. It was his actual name that his parents gave him. Was mm -hmm. Gaylord Butt Savage. <laughs> now, I don't know what kind of a sadistic parent you have to be to give your child that name. But I'm glad it's not my parents. Could you imagine That's having cool. that name? Tip top bread, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I don't know who you are, but thank you. But secondly, <laughs> see, and you thought you were bad at naming characters for your fanfics? No. This person was actually named this for real. And, oh and, God. due to the nature of his job, forced to be around elementary school children. Oh, no. My God, goodness, Elle, thank you. I really don't go get it. Aha, uh -huh. you're so funny. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I know you're going through a lot right now. Please, please make sure that you that that you are okay spending what you have. I want you to make sure that you are okay spending what you have, okay? At the very least, I hope you're laughing at all this shit going on. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, fuck me, Gay <laughs> Gaylord Butt Savage. Did you hear Byron call out what? That was, I, I shit you not, that was this guy's actual name. Oh, the dude, I see, Bob, form. I agree. I agree that the... I would 100% change my name the second I was able to. But this person mm -hmm. was in his 50s and had not changed his name. I mean, now, I mean. Vix, Gaylord the name is Gaylord a, a, a is funny enough. Name. The, 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 but the yeah. name Gaylord is funny enough. But you pair that with Butt Savage. I just. 
Why? If you're if you're the parent yeah. and you know that the name is good, because I know Butt Savage is like an actual like name. It's an actual family surname. I get it. it. I think it's a German name. But my fucking god, why in God's green earth? Would you ever name your child knowing they're going to have the last name but Savage already, Gaylord? So, if it's a German name, do they say it a bit differently? No, that, it's not. He didn't. But I think I think the name is German, like it's got a German origin. Right, but right, he's right, 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 right. he said his name. I'm, hey, I got hey kids. I'm Gaylord Butt Savage. <laughs> Cue a bunch of fucking second graders just going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna take him seriously ever again. Took it in stride okay, though. Okay, for now we're gonna make Gaylord Bud Savage mad at this. <laughs> oh fuck me! Ever, ever since I started writing, though, I I, I really want to put a character in one of my stories just named Gaylord Butt Savage in honor of him. He's a cool dude too. We like should... he was a um. He was the assistant principal of the school that I went to. We should uh, normalize like names like that. I don't think we should because then it's going to yeah, make people name people that. Did... Yeah. Well, I mean, that's probably why he didn't didn't change his name because it's like you know what? Other people can laugh at me, but this is my name. Damn it. Yeah. I'm proud to be a gay lord. I would be proud to be a gay lord. I'm proud <laughs> to be a gay lady. I mean, with the, the yaoi and stuff you draw, you kind of are a, a lord of the gays. Lord of the gays. <laughs> yeah, my name is Gaylord Butt Savage, proctologist. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been even better if he was an actual, like, proctologist or had something, you know, was involved in some way with butt stuff. Yep. Yeah. But no, he was just an elementary school assistant principal. And second graders used to just giggle like little giddy kids at his name. You know, I wonder, I like to hope that instead of letting their, their mockery or whatever get him down, I like to hope that he would be like, yeah, I know, I get it a lot, but hey, at least you're laughing. Yeah. I mean, if you've grown up with that kind of name, you I, and you're in your 50s, I guess by that stage you'd get kind of used to it. Yeah. Hell, he probably got it from adults, too. Yeah. Probably. Probably got it from adults. Probably introduced himself to a random adult, and they're just like, wait, what? Are you serious? If someone, like... Probably rang up to the, get, get an order, and the, the, the person on the other line is like, are you prank calling me? That name is basically trial by fire, one hundred percent. Like, listen, if you don't come, if if you come out of your childhood with that name and you haven't changed it, and you go through the the trials and tribulations that you got to go through with that name, you are a strong ass person. Ain't nothing yeah. gonna affect you ever. Don't make me go butt savage on you. <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely turn my name into a verb. <laughs> of course I'm reading chat. I always... Oh, I, I I try to read chat. Sometimes I get so involved in the game that I forget. Depending on the game, if it's like a really, really active game, then sometimes I do have to stop playing just to catch up on chat. Yeah. Um, but, but even no, with this... We try to... I tried to do our best to actually talk to you guys. Uh, even with this, with us. it's like you guys are just in the. It's like you guys are watching us in the room, but you're not really in the room. That would be creepy. Yeah. You know, speaking of that, Unless you're Vira. You're not. You're not creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless you look at me like that. <laughs> then you are creepy. <laughs> um. No, I was gonna say. Uh, you know how people. I think this is more of a thing on Twitch, but people sometimes shit on streamers for like low, low, perceived low viewer count, right? But I have always looked at it like this because we have never had a massive amount of people watch our streams. Um, uh, yes, we are both live. Uh, Vix is streaming yeah, on her I'm Twitch right. channel right now. Um, but the way I have always looked at it is like if I have say. 
two or three concurrent viewers and whether they're active in chat or not and they're they're just they're they got the stream open they're watching it right that is the equivalent to two or three people coming over to my house to just kind of just to watch me play a game and talk to me yeah 100 percent. and if that happened 100%. in real life if that happened in real life that's really cool but for some reason, Honestly, people think if you don't have 15 to 20 or 30 or 100,000 people watching you at the same time, you're an absolute failure. Yeah, that, that, that is just not the case. If anyone thinks that, they're toxic as fuck and don't deserve the people that they have. Um, and I will stand by that. But when I, when I had just started, when I was less than 10 viewers and whatnot, that's, that's what got me through, especially during the quiet times. Like... Mm -hmm. When, because sometimes even even when you have more than ten people and whatnot, it can get super quiet, and that's because people are lurking, and that's that's absolutely fine. But it does get rather tough on on a streamer, no matter how many numbers you have, whether you have less than ten or over ten or, or zero. Whatever, if you've got no one chatting, but then you remember you got to, and it takes some discipline. You remember, oh, is Alex sounding crunchy? What is that for everyone? Um. I might have to restart Discord in a, in a minute. Oh. Oh, he sounds fine to you. Do I do I actually sound crunchy okay. or? I'm not sure. You sound fine to me, but what was I saying? Uh, viewership. Only a little bit. Okay. Um, if you've got, you know, it, no matter how many people you've got watching you, but if you've got less than uh, less than ten people watching you, it, it takes some discipline. To remember this but you, you can just imagine that if you you're playing a video game on your couch and you've got a friend over watching you if you've got two friends over watching you how cool is that how yeah. cool is that that is essentially what is happening but i know that for some people especially if you're relatively new or even if you've been going for a long time and you you're not like um finding a lot of traction you're not off yet. yeah what yeah yeah, yeah not not hasn't found you. yeah um because i mean there, there's times where i'm streaming especially if i'm streaming a game like this by myself um like for example there's been streams where i've done american truck simulator by myself um and i have either no one watching and like literally the viewer count is zero or there may be one or two people watching but no one's like being active in chat and sometimes I find yeah. that very, very difficult for myself because I, even though no one's talking or even if there's no one here, I still want the chat to be in, or I still want the stream to be engaging in case someone does yeah, yeah. drop by um, because I don't want them oh, to see, yeah. I don't want them to see a stream that's completely quiet and think that they can't talk or that I'm not going to, you know, respond to them. So even at you those times, or, something or, or just jump scare them with suddenly, suddenly talking. Yeah. And so even when there's times like that, I try my best and there are times when it's cringy and I fail at it. But when even when chat isn't responding to me, I try to talk as though chat is or I try to talk about stuff where I can keep the conversation going with myself. Yeah, exactly. A hundred percent. And it's a skill you got to learn. Also, Mage, thank you so much for living my throat, hon. Can I get a shout out from Mage, please? But I think there's a lot of people who either, whether they're new to streaming and don't realize that, or people who don't stream and just watch, who realize that it's not always easy to keep that up, even when you oh, have right. people um, that are stopping by and lurking. It is one of the first hurdles for any streamer, mm -hmm. is, the, is the, the times when chat is quiet or dead. If... Uh, like even I get it sometimes if it's really if I'm streaming something um, and it's gone really really quiet and it's be usually because of, like people are lurking and whatnot even if I've got 10 plus people or so as a viewer yeah but no one's talking it does get difficult it does um, and there are times where my mental health just can't take it so I'll be like okay well I've streamed for a couple of hours I'm gonna go rest um, and then again that there are days where my mental health can take it and I'll just keep on going until until someone comes by to chat with and I'll be like, Hey, someone to chat with. Yeah. Not just I myself. Think, I think that helps more. So if you're playing a game that you've played before, 
or, or doing something yeah. that you've done before because then it's like it's it's old hat to you it's more difficult at least in my experience for me it's more difficult if it's a game or something that you're streaming that you've never done before when no one's there or no one's chatting because then it feels like it's not yeah. an interactive experience yeah, I don't think I've played enough games that I have played myself before that I know by heart. Like, like games that I played off of stream and then I'm just replaying it for stream's sake. Most mm -hmm. of the games that I play are games that are new to me mm -hmm. because it's a fun experience. So, on the one hand, I do completely understand what you're saying. I would find it more, personally, I would find it more comfortable to play a game that I have played a lot of um, if we were in a just chatting stream like this. Yeah. Whereas, if it was super duper quiet, I think I would prefer to play a game I haven't played, though, because that will get me talking about the game. Yeah. Uh, podcast experience helps with that at least I know a friend that has zero issues talking in streams but uh, because they do podcasters I will say doing the anime club after dark podcast as long as I have um, I feel like it's definitely improved my social skills a lot yeah same um, I think streaming with that what even if even if you're streaming to yourself in the beginning I think just staying at it and uh, keeping at it really helps uh, improve your ability to kind of essentially talk to yourself. Um, yeah. On stream. Learning the ability to like voice your thoughts as they come. That is a skill. Yes. Although sometimes people have thoughts they should never voice. Just throw that out there. Yeah. Yeah. Also probably maybe try to develop that, that inner voice that says, I should do. A solo podcast, go, he really forced himself to learn to talk. Yeah, I mean, I don't... The podcast that I do, I do with um, most weeks three to four. Or, well, three other people, sometimes two. Um, and so it's it's good. Like, I, I don't mind doing streams by myself. Um, but I've always felt like it's better for me personally to have someone to bounce off of. So, like, when I did yep. the... Um, uh, Dead Space stream. I did. I streamed all three Dead Space games um, on stream over the course of several months. Um, each time, I had John from the podcast with me because number one, he loves that game a lot. He's played it several times. Um, he knows a lot of nooks and crannies. He can tell me a lot about the game while I'm playing it, not just the actual game itself, but like the development of it, behind the scenes stuff. Like he knows a lot of that stuff. So I thought that would be kind of. That would be really fun for the stream to have that access to that. So I thought that was yeah. fun. And it's why I always tell people in our Discord server, people who have the ability to join us on stream for the games we play that have that role, I say, hey, if you ever see me streaming, especially if it's a solo game, and especially if it's a game that's kind of quiet like this, feel free to hop in, chat with me. Um, I've given you the role for a reason. It's because I trust you to be on stream with me and not, you know, just start randomly saying slurs or stuff that's going to get us banned. Um, yeah. They have the stream etiquette. Yeah. And some people are better at that. Like, some people are better as solo streamers. Some people are better in groups or with, uh, you know, backseaters. the real solution is to code yourself a sassy AI daughter that you can bounce off of while streaming. <laughs> I mean, hey. Thank you. <clears throat> so we were talking about Dead Space and you reminded Vire of one of the clips that, um, that we have of my channel when I was playing it. The good work, Isaac. <laughs> At Isaac. the centrifuge. And he said, good work, Isaac. And then I got smacked by the centrifuge. Oh, it's so funny. But anyway. It is good to have... To, it's good to have people to bounce off of, especially at the beginning there, because it does become easier. It's important to learn how to talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and build up that endurance as well for when it does get quiet. 
also important to remember that just because you've got over 10 viewers or so or over 25 viewers or so or whatever if it does get quiet like it, it i mean it, there are gonna be times that it gets quiet you're never going to get to a stage uh well actually no disclaimer you might get to a stage depending how many um I mean, you've got a hundred thousand people watching you at the same time it might never yeah, be quiet we've got that many watching um it just don't don't forget how to to be when it, when it is quiet because it will happen though i do yeah. have to say though for some streamers as well i mean actually for for every streamer for every streamer if it gets quiet maybe it is just a quiet time try to endure try to talk to yourself try to be entertaining try to just try to try to think and talk what you're thinking at yeah. the same time though maybe it is you, you should probably also check back on your vods and see what is missing yeah like it's ne it's never it's never only chat's fault or what or the time zone's fault or something like that you know check what you're doing it'd work for vettel yeah reality, but some people are not built for it yes ronson it definitely worked for vettel unfortunately i'm nowhere near the programmer that he is i can't program an ai daughter to totally not get banned for holocaust denial <laughs> yeah i agree bob sometimes it can be so fast that you just can't keep you know it's just really really hard to keep up depending on the kind of game it is for sure that's why if it's going too fast, usually I will just stop and just read chat for a bit and then keep going. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with, like, taking that time out of your stream, especially if you're playing, like, an action pack game, to just interact with chat. 100%. And there's going to be games that's really, really difficult to keep an eye on chat with. Hey, Manix, like have I'm you ever fighting, thought about how B or B B? Yes, that's what I'm so scared of, and it's why we have in our Discord server, um, we have a role for people who can join us on stream, who are allowed to join us on stream. It's because we trust them. Hi, Doom. How are you? Dr. Doom? Um, Doombringer? Hmm. When the chat stops being dead ever, when you hit those numbers, it's already too late for keeping up with chat necessarily. Yeah, I don't know how some of these streamers that get like 100,000 plus people watching them at one time, it's like, how do you, number one, how do you ever see anything in chat? It's moving so damn fast. Yeah. Yeah, I want, I want to get to a point in my stream where I've got near constant engagement. Mm. Um... But I don't want it. I don't necessarily want. If like if it does, great. But it means I'm getting money. But um, I don't necessarily. I'm not aiming towards chat going so fast. I can't actually chat with you guys. Yeah, because then at that point, really, the only thing. Well, the only thing you can really interact with on a regular basis is the like. Um, what what does Twitch call super chats? I forget now. The ones where you pay to yeah. chat. Oh wait, no. What subscribers? What is it called when you uh, send money when you with your message, and it highlights it oh, text, on Twitch? Text to speech. Oh, hi, just highlighting it in in the chat when you. I, yeah, I forget what yeah, Twitch calls this. Uh, highlighting on 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 YouTube is called super chats. Cheers. That's what I'm thinking of. Cheers. Whoa, with the bits. Oh, okay. Sorry, I did forget that they thirds existed. Yeah, the the because like sometimes when you do the cheers the you can have a message with it. Right. Um, that's like the only thing you would see if your chat was moving so fast because those get highlighted. Yeah. Well, it gets to that point when, when you're, a, when you're that kind of streamer, you either create your own kind of fun for, for everyone or you're collabing a lot with people. So you've got those to chat with mm -hmm. rather than your own chat. And then I guess the, obviously there's people that, you know, have entire streams where all they do is go back and read the uh, the messages that people paid to send. Where, yeah, it's quite literally a just chatting stream. Yeah. Medium, large, not IMS levels. Exactly. I want, I want to. That that's when I will have considered myself to have hit successful. Is when I have got, I have gotten near constant engagement, and I'm on top of things. 
It doesn't go dead that much, no matter what I'm what I'm playing. We're all having fun. We're all having a good time. That's a successful stream for me. Yeah. Scout level seems perfect. Exactly. Scout level is perfect. I mean, I do aim for partner. I am going to be aiming for partner. So I do want more than I've got now. But it's going to be a long road, and I accept that. Mm. And that's fine. That ma for. that makes the accomplishment even better, in my opinion. If it's a you know, if yeah. it's an easy thing to accomplish, then it's not much of an accomplishment. So like where I am now, I've got a good good where I am now. But I do desire more. I'm not yeah. finished growing. Which is fair. I mean, right now our we have like I think two or three goals that we're aiming for. Number one, to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Number two, to actually get our channel monetized. And number three, this is a more of a personal goal for me, get the streams that I do uh, to the point where people are regularly showing up for them and wanting to chat. Yeah. Yep, 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 exactly. Those are those are my goals right now. Scout chat's definitely something you can and do keep up with. Yeah, exactly. Scout... <laughs> Scout is definitely one of my idols when it comes to when it comes to <clears throat> streaming, and not not just because of like, um, like like her her chat uh, activity and whatnot, like just her herself, the mm -hmm. amount of work that she puts into her streams, I idolize that woman. That is what I aim for. Twitch does have other mechanics that bring attention to their messages other than that it's not all one thing on Twitch. yeah I, i've just gotten since we streamed on youtube for so long i've gotten so used to just youtube terminology for everything that's fair yeah i thought you meant highlighting um but then you mentioned subs and i was like okay wait hang on well, i guess if you have subscriber only chat on and then Vira reminded me of the um the fucking the cheers yeah, the, the yeah, the, the 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 that one. Yeah, and I think when you sub on Twitch, you can, if you're a new sub, I think you can append a message to that as well, can't you? Um, I think it depends on the stream. I don't think I don't have text to speech on mine, hmm. but you can put a message down. I think. When you when you sub oh when you resub you can. Hmm. Yeah, like going back to what we were talking Internet about, like always the one. Hey, yo, you're right. You know, Sorry. if you're starting out streaming, especially if you're starting out streaming, um, don't get too discouraged if you don't take off immediately. Hell, we've been doing our podcast for. Almost 10 years now. We started back in 2015. Uh, this is our ninth year doing it. <clears throat> or will be soon. <clears throat> and, uh... Well, it is our ninth year doing it. It'll be our tenth year soon. And... Um... We're still not big. Hi, lady. But we are growing. And we're... That's, like, the goal. I mean... Yeah. To find, you know, new people... Number one, to keep the people that have been around for a long time staying around and number two to find new people that want to come and hang out with us watch our content but as easy as it would be for me to get discouraged about the fact that we've been doing this for 10 years or nearly 10 years and still don't have a thousand subscribers on youtube i don't you i don't let that bother went to YouTube, though. um well for streaming yes uh we started streaming on youtube okay. full-time back in 2022 so we've only been streaming on youtube full time uh for a couple of years uh, before that we were streaming well we were uh streaming on both twitch and youtube at the same time i just kind of got tired of twitch's well not just me john also got tired of twitch's bullshit so we decided to pick I'm one. I'm just glad you didn't go to kick. No. Well, even I don't think kick was a thing when we first made this decision, or maybe it was, and it was just really tiny. Um, but no, I don't think that anything would make me go to kick. A billion dollars, maybe. 
<laughs> but <laughs> a billion dollars. <laughs> give me a billion dollars, kick. I'll listen. I'll 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 sell completely out. No, if if I if we had a dollar for every time we said no, nothing could make me do that. Or a million could. <laughs> Um. Also, uh, Parawash is going really well. Thank you, lady. I love playing this game. It's so relaxing. It, I, yeah, is... I just look at the time of how long we've been live for. We've been live for almost six hours. I know. This is one of the longest streams I've done in a while. The longest stream I've ever done was yeah. ten hours. It feels like I've only been live for three. I know. It doesn't feel like we've been live for anywhere near this long. Yeah. Which I guarantee you, when I get out of this chair, I'm definitely going to feel like we've been streaming for seven hours, six hours. Scout has the Scout has one of the best work ethics I have ever seen. Like, I'm pretty sure that woman doesn't sleep. <laughs> I have someone that I work with, I think it's like that. Um, what's the game you play? You like your characters topless and TOS? Oh, top. TOS, that'll do it. You know, as we make her, oh good, I'm really glad, really glad that you do, honestly. That woman, I don't know how she fits, I don't know how she fits streaming, her job, looking after herself, and preparing every one of her streams for the next stream. I don't know how she fits that in her day. I don't get it. And making music as well. Some people just don't have quit in them. That's easy. She skips looking after herself and then we yell at her about oft. Oh, ah, I see. That's where. That's where. <clears throat> but her level of streaming is what I'm aiming for. I've got ideas. But I'm also stuck at thinking, well, if I'm going to implement these ideas, I should wait for 2.0. That's when I'll, like, rebuild. Mm. That's not a bad idea, though. Because otherwise I'll have to rebuild again anyway for 2.0. It's good that you have the ideas, though. Yeah. Well, that, and once I get 2.0, then I'll have a better understanding or a better, a better idea of what else I can do. She works in Sailor High. She really does. I'm really proud of her. A single free cookie each day for the rest of your life. For what? What do I got to do to get this free cookie every day? Catch. Yeah, what, what's the catch? I mean, there's got to be a catch if it's not this. Nothing good in life is free. Except for titties. No, titties aren't necessarily free. Well, no, but if you find the right woman, you can get him for free every day. Just ask Finn. Depends on the relationship. But yes, yes, you're right. If you find the right titty haver, then yes. Hashtag support your sex workers. Oh, switch to kick? Uh, no, I need way more than just a free cookie every day oh, for no. the rest of my life. You know how much we'd need? One a billion. Million <laughs> no, I was gonna say a billion cookies every day. A billion cookies. <laughs> By the time you get through a few of them, though, the rest, of, like, I mean, a, a billion cookies—that's a lot of cookies. But if I got that's a billion a but, cookies, but if I got a billion cookies each day, I could solve world hunger. Yes. Although everyone's gonna have diabetes yes. now. I was going to say, every, no, they're not going to be the healthiest of people, but yes, they won't be hungry. They won't be hungry, but they might be dead. <laughs> yeah, I guess, it, well, if it's a billion cookies in a day, it could still feed a lot of people with a billion cookies in a day. I feel like a billion cookies over time would just add so much waste and mass to the world. Yeah, that's fair. Do they come, like, plastic wrapped, or is it just you're making so many cookies per day? If they're plastic wrapped, then it is a lot of waste. No. Like, your house would be full in one day. Then that by was, one week, you're in a, in the was, world. 
I was suggesting your body would fail trying to eat a billion cookies. Yes, it would 100% fail. I would probably fail. fail. I would probably fail at like the 30 cookie mark. Yeah. Somewhere cookie clicker enthusiasts are like, you're not cooking hard enough then. No, I, I, I would. Would you guys watch a cookie clicker stream? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it before, but now that you mention it. <laughs> now that you mention it. You wouldn't have. Oh, wow. Cool. There are 100 cookies you'd vomit each time you saw one. Oh, I couldn't handle it. I love cookies. Me but too. I think but I don't want that many. I probably have only about 10. Depending on the brand of cookie, though. Have you ever, do you have that thing where if you eat something and then you vomit right after you eat it, it makes you very uncomfortable trying to eat that thing ever again? Yes. It happened to me with calamari once, but I'm pretty sure it was food poisoning, but I haven't had calamari since. Hmm. I had that happen with uh, Fireball Whiskey. Uh, never again. Oh, you know what? If we're talking alcohol as well, Captain Morgan, I will never have Captain Morgan. <laughs> Captain Morgan was not a friend of yours? Of oh, I did not like that. We did shots with it. I was not happy. Mm. Tell Jim Beam and move on it. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of kind of the same with um Captain Morgan. I would not drink Captain Morgan. That's the only alcohol that's ever happened to me with, but um my father had something happen like that. Um, one night, this is probably about 15 years ago now, uh, my mom made roast carrots and potatoes for dinner. And he, later that night, because it's one of his favorite things, but later that night, the dude starts having heart palpitations to the point where we got to go to the hospital. And ever since then, Hi. he's been very leery about ever having that. He will eat it, but every so often when we when we suggest it, he's like, uh, uh, "Okay." <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That's a PTSD response right there. <laughs> I don't think we ever genuinely figured out what caused the heart palpitations. <laughs> Maybe it was the food. Who knows? Is it actually related to that or what? I we were never told, as far as I know. Now maybe because I was I was a lot younger when this happened, so I wasn't really paying anywhere near as close attention as I would now if this happened. Um, yeah. But, um, I don't remember if we ever discovered why this happened to him but maybe it was a failed attempt by my mother to poison my father i don't know <laughs> i don't know maybe 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 they did actually discover it but you might have been too young to tell yeah or i just forgot it has been several years yeah but i i understand i understand his trepidation of not wanting to eat that after having that experience This is so satisfying. Wait until we see the replay. Yeah. yeah. This is this is one of my favorite maps to do. I will say the desync any isn't anywhere near as bad as when we were doing this during your donathon. No, my theory is that we were trying to connect with multiple people. Yeah, there multiple was me, time another zones. person in Australia. We had you and another person in the US but a different place in the U.S. So I think that just trying to connect to four different areas was a bit yeah. difficult. I'd like to say not just another place in the U.S., on the opposite side of the country. Yeah. Yeah. 
used to work at Amcore. We used to print um, Oswald records. For Xmas one year, we got a bag of them, 500 bars per bag. After two days, if you ate one, you woman would be sick for days. Yeah, I bet. I used to get made fun of as a kid because, like, I, 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 I enjoy sweet things. Uh, but it's not my favorite thing to, like, indulge in, right? Yeah. So for Halloween every year, I used to get just gobs of candy. And then after three days, I'd be sick and tired of eating it. All my friends would make fun of me for that. Like, what I mean, do you I mean can you can't eat this candy? It was free. <laughs> yeah, but it's sweet. It's like, dude, my teeth are falling out. What do you want? I had I had a bigger sweet tooth when I was a kid, but I don't have much of one now. Yeah, I'd I, say the same yeah, for me. Yeah, I wouldn't eat uh, nearly as much as I could have. I prefer savory treats now. Yeah, I'd say either that or I've grown uh, like a really fondness, for, uh, big fondness for like um, sour treats. What a virus and he sweet. Vira is the sweetest. And maybe that's why I don't have much of a sweet tooth because I you, get all of my sweetness from him. You found the ultimate sweet. You don't yeah. need anything else. Exactly. I'm who sweet need, enough. Who needs chocolate when you have Vira? Exactly. Ooh, a chocolate flavored Vira. <laughs> is that just his chocolate tentacle? Yes, let's make you a chocolate tentacle. You only like uh, the only sweet thing you like now is Vix. Aww. Because they say you have a sweet tooth. My bestie Haley, she has she has one of the biggest sweet tooths I've ever met. She's very easy to please. Ayo. 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 Oh, and if she would let me. The things I would teach that woman. Oh. <laughs> That's a reaction from Scout. I love it. <laughs> I can tell you about a sweet tooth. You want to hear about a sweet tooth? Listen to this. Yeah. When I was in college, I think I've told you that that's how I met Finn, right? I'm yeah. In college. This bitch. Yeah. This, this, this absolute bitch. We went to Dunkin' Donuts, and I got a I got a whole dozen donuts, a whole box of dozen donuts, and I watched her over the course of the next thirty minutes eat that entire box of donuts by her at fucking self. I believe it. <laughs> and I'm like, "Are you full?" Was it like a dare, or just like I'm just really hungry? No, she donuts. just she scarfed them down right in front of me, and I'm like, "Are you okay?" It's like I'm hungry. I can see <laughs> that. I was That's afraid of touching the donuts. You, one? you bought the donuts. Did you get one? Nope, not a single one. Oh my god, <laughs> she just stole it. And I, the donuts. whole time, the whole time, she's giving me this look at, don't you dare touch those donuts. And I'm just looking at her like, this bitch, this absolute utter bitch. Has she ever bought you donuts back? Oh yeah. Okay, good. I was going to say, we she were in you donuts. We were in college and we hung out all the time. We used to buy each other food all the time. But I just... Uh, the idea was we were going to have donuts together. And she just sits there and well, eats the whole box. we were together and they were donuts. And they were eaten. Yes. Just not by me. Vira will never forget this one time we were going for a walk. And we both had a flavored milk with us. I, I, I believe. And he went to reach for something. I think I was holding his milk at the time, uh, and my own. And he went to reach for his milk, but uh -huh. I thought he was reaching for my milk. And I was like, I just pulled the milk away, like, no, it's mine. <laughs> How dare! The violentness of it, though. Now, now, Vira, I have to ask because I, I understand your plight. You say it was violent. Was it like a jolt? Or was it just the, the, the speed and quickness of it that got you? I have to know. 
It was just the speed. Hmm. I understand. <laughs> I completely <laughs> like, understand. What uh, are we lacking? I don't think the floor flushed when oh, we finished it. Um, something over but here. But it is empty. Skate park floor has got oh. something. Let's see with Krispy Kreme. I oh. love my milk. I just, to this day, I watched her inhale within 15 minutes a dozen donuts. No, no drink. Girl. No, nothing. Just, just raw, <laughs> raw dog and donuts. It's okay. Were they like particularly sweet donuts? Like were they uh, cinnamon or glazed or? They were chocolate glazed donuts. Well. Listen, you want to get on her Hungry good side girl. quick? Just give her chocolate. Bitch, fucking salivates and orgasms for donut for uh, chocolate. What do you say? If I'm going to get on her good side, I just need to take my top off. Well, that would work, too. <laughs> oh. Gallery floor, railing, and upper floors. Okay. Okay. What is a gallery floor? Is that, oh, is that this? Yeah, this is this over here. Oh, oh okay. Got that. It is, re it is impressive. Like, I couldn't even be mad when this happened. I'm just sitting there just, just jaw agape. Just impressed at the the feat I am witnessing. It's not this one, is it? Upper floors. Upper floors. Is that this? Last one. Oh, did you find it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, there's a whole section over here that's not done. Okay. Yay, we did it! Woohoo! Hell yeah! Woohoo! Well All right. done! Nice, nice. Double this. All right, let's watch it. Yeah! That fun. Look at that. Yeah! We did that. That is so satisfying. We did it. We, we did, did it. that. Ugh! The next one. Uh, oh. Oh, well, how are you feeling? Actually, I should probably I, ask that. How are you I'm feeling? feeling great. I mean, I've nowhere near tired enough to go to bed. I'm actually about four or five hours away from needing to go to bed. Cool. Oh. But if you want to keep going, I'll keep going. I'm happy to keep going. Sweet. You once ate an entire pizza that was the size of three tablets in one sitting. Never again. Oh my lordy, that's so much. Hmm. Give me a second to hydrate here. Yeah, yeah. And by hydrate, I clearly mean finish off this beer. So you're dehydrating. Yes, but behind it, I am also drinking water. So it <laughs> it evens out. Bob, thank you for looping up your time. All right, so we got clean the shoe house and clean the motorbike and sidecar. <clears throat> that is a I, really weird looking house. It's uh, definitely a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Um, let's do the motorbike. We'll do motorbike and then we can do the shoe house and then I'll probably want to call it there for myself. Sound good. Most of our streams that we do tend to be in the three-ish hour range. So this is like double the stream that I'm used to. And it doesn't even feel like it. No, it doesn't. Uh, the same way when I uh, stream American Truck Simulator. I usually stream that for four or five hours by myself and I don't even realize the time is gone. Yeah. Hell, same with uh, played up sometimes. I think this is about, depending on the game, this is about usually how long I stream for as well. Depends on the game though, it's either between 4 and 12 hours. <laughs> is that the law? You've done a 12 hour stream before, right? Oh yeah, I can accidentally do one depending <laughs> on what we're doing. 
just look at the time and oops, it's been 12 hours. <laughs> Funny how that works. I'm unsure. Like after the the shoe house, my oh, I can get through the shoe house pretty well. It doesn't shoe look that as big as what we were doing. Skate park. No, but uh, the um the skate park is much more fun and easier to do. Uh, what's the thing? I don't know whether or not I will send my people off as well after we're done with the shoe house or switch over. Okay. We'll see. <clears throat> if anything, I might put. Um, if anything, I might put my peeps on um on a BRB while I get some food and hmm. walk around my house. <laughs> yeah, get that circulation <laughs> moving. Give my Vyra a cuddle. Or two. Or three. What are we missing? Uh, yeah. we go. What are we missing? Oh. oh big hug for you guys. Oh. Big hug for you. Oh, oh my. Uh. I look forward to watching the stream delay. I'm going to watch your stream and be like, what does that look like on yours? Swing arm. Oh, there we go. Well Got done. it. All done. Oops, that is the wrong button. Oh, yeah. And now we can do shoe house. I've got nearly three grand. Holy shit. I will have over three grand when we do this. Wish I had this much money in my bank account right now. <laughs> right. I get considerably less, I think, because I've already done this. I've got $18 for that. Hmm. At <laughs> least it doesn't give you zero. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh, should I is... press cancel? No, why did I press cancel? I looked at that button. Why would you like, do this? Why? Why would you do this? Confirm. Here we go. You need. Oh. I like looked at it, and my brain was like, "You should press it," and I, then I did, and my brain was like, "Why did you do that?" <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. I let the intrusive thought win. I was like, okay. This is, you were not kidding. This is like an actual shoe house. It is a house yeah. that is a shoe. Can we go inside it the shoe house? It is going to be a thing to do. We can't go inside the shoe house. This is unacceptable. Whoa. Can, that's impressive that you can move that whole thing by yourself. I am stung. If you're more like Finn than you realize. I wish. I've seen her body. It's Although strong. I have been working out. Well. That's good. I worked out so hard the other day that I couldn't like really do anything for the last two days. Although to be fair, I worked out and I would have been absolutely fine. But my parents brought over their dog. And their dog is young and likes to run. And so I went running with the dog. That's good cardio though. It is good, card a good cardio, but I did like four or five, uh, three, three, uh, three or four runs or something that day. Oh, I'm proud that of you though. Sore. Like that's it, it. It's consistency is key with that stuff, and like it's for some people, it's one of the most difficult things just maintaining that. Cardio is difficult. It is. Brain press it. <laughs> You fool! Exactly! Like, why? Why did I just do that? I think it might be a sign of my of my own brain saying, you probably do need a little rest after this as well. Maybe get some food. Yes. Walk around. Just biscuits. Because I got the stream energy. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, there we go. Need the Vig's body. That's an important part of how he stays awesome. <laughs> Bob, you're so cute. B 
Yeah, I started um, I started working out again somewhat regularly uh, earlier this year, back in uh, March, okay. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, I've lost I want to say around thirty pounds since then. Um, yeah. nice. And I've got well, lots more muscle, but. That's, I mean, it, it's part of what I'm doing, but it's not the biggest reason that I'm doing it. Yeah. But I also know For the me, more muscle... I want to lose the weight in my tummy, but I want to gain tonnage everywhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, it's it's more about losing weight and maintaining at level of fitness. Yeah. Not so much getting bulky. Yeah. Fuck me, but I finished the roof and it flashed me. <laughs> There's that flash. I was looking there. at that, my eyes. My eyes. But yeah, if if you've been able to like keep up and maintain that, I'm I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I'm trying. It has not been easy as you I know. yes. But the point is that you are trying. And it's easy when it comes to like getting fit, losing weight and stuff like that. It is very, very easy to convince yourself that you don't need to do that today. And then today becomes two days and then a week and then a month. Yeah. And then you're right back where you were. Yeah. And then 147 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think the shoe house costs? Like in general, to like to buy? Yeah, like how much if I wanted to buy this house, how much do you think it would cost? In this day and age? You got a stinky mm. butt butt. Well, fuck you too, Martha. <laughs> what? I got a message from Martha Hubbard. It says you got a stinky butt butt. Oh. And it's full fuck oh. you too, Martha. Ruth, there's a there's a forest over here with like no one around. Martha. I know. Martha, hey, you might find tongue. yourself six feet under in that forest out there if you keep mouthing off. I reckon I mean it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh huh. Are you, what are you thinking, Vix? Six hundred thou a year. Mm. Okay, I miss. Are you uh, Australian bucks or? Yeah, the, the, yeah, that's that's what that's what AU meant. I don't know what that is in U.S. dollars right now, but it sounds like a lot. Right, dollar dues. Dollar dues. Apologies. Yeah. Dollar dealer dues. Uh, just under half of that. Okay. So about four hundred grand like U.S. Health, okay. Sure. You know, from a certain angle, this house looks like a giant minion, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's the yellow. I don't like it at all. This house smug aura mocks me. Maybe it should remain dirty. Yes. Well, if Martha's inside there, I might just throw all this dirt on her. From a certain angle, I probably look like a very small minion. I don't think from any angle I look like a very small anything. Screw the minions. <laughs> Plus an arm and a leg. Could cost a foot. It costs someone their foot. Yeah, there's a part of me that thinks who in their right mind <clears throat> would want to live in a shoe? But then I think to myself, you know, 
there's people that thought it was a great idea to go look at the Titanic in an untested submarine. And I'm thinking, yeah, <laughs> people would buy a, sh- buy a, ha- a shoe house. I would buy a shoe house. I wouldn't go to visit the Titanic in an untested submarine, but I would buy a shoe house because it's quirky. <laughs> Some I, it was one that someone in my family, I think it was one of my cousins, uh, was talking about. I don't know if you heard about this, but uh, about maybe a month and a half, two months ago, there was this billionaire dude who died on a yacht or his yacht. Um. And my my cousin texts me and says, "Ah, I see our yearly sacrifice of billionaires is going well." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should keep up with the tradition. Yeah, exactly. Our our yearly sacrifice of billionaires to Poseidon is going very well. If only it would start bringing us a bit more luck. Well, you in particular. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not to be greedy, but I could do with some of that. Or just not even luck, just, you know, good tidings. Maybe just Doesn't like even... a lack of bad luck. That would be nice. Yeah, it's like, what is that old saying? If it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. I kind of, oh. judging by how your year has gone so far, that seems kind of to apply to you. Yep. Deja, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. Yes. Very common thing to say about a house. Have I cleaned all the shoelaces? <laughs> Hi, Blue. How are you? <sighs> that about rhymes. A year that this is complete and utter ass. Yeah, that would be good. Let's go. Ocean three millionaires zero. <laughs> more than three. There was way more than two people that died in that sub. Which is the unfortunate thing. Hello. Sometimes I forget I'm fucking crouched. It's like, why is I? Why am I at such a low angle? It's, oh, I'm on the fucking ground. I'll be like that, but I'll be like, why am I so slow? Oh, crouched. I want a yogurt tube, Martha. I really wonder about you. Johnny bit me. Uh, okay. Is Johnny a spider? Or are you okay now? For a minute there, I forgot that you were talking to the NPC. I know. I just keep getting... I you ate his yogurt. Going, Who the fuck is Martha? I'm getting messages from the NPC whose house were... I, I assume whose house were cleaning... And they get more unhinged the longer this goes. Hi, Soul. How are you? Okay, you just woke up after having passed the fuck out. Well, good morning. You ever have one of those sleeps where you wake up and your pillow's covered in drool and you're like, what year is it? <laughs> no, just me? Okay. Not so much the drool, but I have woken up and been like, oh, well, well, where, where am I? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm in bed. Do you know what's funny is that sometimes um, I realize I'm dreaming while I'm dreaming. <clears throat> yeah. And, yep. you know, when you realize that, you can do some fun things. But also, when that happens, 
sometimes I don't realize I've woken up. And so I'll try to do oh, things that I think I can do in the dream in real life. And it's like, no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> like sometimes when I'm dreaming and I realize I'm dreaming and I start with that lucid dreaming thing, I, mm. and especially if my dream has people in it that I know, like, you know, acquaintances, coworkers, whatever, I'll say things to them in that lucid dream that I would never say to them in real life. Yeah. Just to see what my brain's reaction is to me saying that to them. But then sometimes <laughs> I wake up and I say that to my mother and I'm like, oh no, I should not have said that. I am not dreaming still. Uh-oh. You are not dreaming no, I anymore. Haven't, haven't been that out of it. An actual wake-up quote from me during summer apparently. Oh. It was New Year's. Vyra and I are in the are are in the bedroom, but Vyra's got the floor, I've got the bed, because Haley has the other side of the bed. And um we're trying to sleep and then all of a sudden we hear what uh, what sounds like crying. Like just little tiny noises. Uh huh. And Vyra and I look at each other and it it's Haley. And we're like, is she okay? Is she, is she right? Is she crying in her sleep? Is she okay? And then she starts, these noises get louder. And she starts laughing. <laughs> and to this day, she's still asleep. To this day, none of us know what had her laughing so much. She woke up laughing. In her dream. In her dream. <laughs> She was just cackling. It was like, wait, what? What happened? She's like, I don't know. I woke up and I was <laughs> laughing. And we're like, we thought you were crying. I've got that woman. I've got another story kind of like that in the same vein, at least. So back in twenty seventeen, twenty seventeen, um. I went to Anime Expo with John and another member of our podcast at the time. His name was Tom. He's not on the podcast anymore. I'm going poop. Good job, Martha. You pooped. Um, and Sho was there too. Um, and we were all sharing a hotel room together. And it was one of the days that we weren't at the convention center. So I think it was like the day before the convention because we all got there early. Mm hmm and show is taking a nap in a hotel room and myself john and tom are watching anime on the tv we have our laptop hooked up to the tv and we're just watching anime on it mm. and show is like just absolutely dead asleep and we found out that day that show talks in his sleep and boy was it funny <laughs> can I ask what they said well a lot of stuff that just didn't make a whole lot of sense but then there was one point where after he's he's quiet for a while and all of a sudden he's almost screaming he goes Beyblade <laughs> <laughs> and, and Tom who was sitting right Beyblade and Tom who was sitting right next to him in the same bed while he was asleep without missing a beat looks at both me and and John and says let it rip <laughs> amazing I and he doesn't remember saying it and we can't ask him about it because of course he doesn't remember and he was asleep. But to that, to this day, it's yeah. one of the funniest things that happened when we were all together. And we all, well, I don't know about Tom because I haven't talked to him in years, but uh, me and John still talk about it from time to time. Amazing. Just, he's just sitting there watching anime and he's asleep next to his Beyblade. Beyblade. <laughs> There have been times where you've been waking up from a nap and looked at your phone and questioned if it was 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. <laughs> it happened to me a few times when I was young and I had a, like a one of those alarm clocks next to my bed that didn't tell you whether it was a.m. or p.m. Oh, yeah.
There's that one time I woke up and with absolute, complete urgency, it was imperative. It was vitally important. Like, extremely, extremely important. <laughs> I needed to tell Vyra to turn the sponge off. Turn the sponge off? Yes. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand either. <laughs> Were you watching Sponge... Really were, you wa important. were you watching Spongebob? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I woke up and I, I shook him awake and I'm like, we need to turn the sponge off. <laughs> Went back to sleep. Like, it legitimately shook me awake. I thought she was having a horrible nightmare. <laughs> and she just, I need to turn the sponge off. <laughs> I need to turn the sponge off. <laughs> Well, did you turn the sponge off? I don't know. I'm going to make this sleep. No, I'm asking Vyra. Did he turn the sponge off? Because it's very important that you turn the sponge off, Vyra. I assume it got turned off because we're still here. The universe hasn't imploded or anything. <laughs> I, I wish I could explain, Remy. Jinji, hello, honey. How are you? Can I get a shout out for Jinji, please? Jinji's been playing a lot of retro games lately, like PS1 retro games. I've been lurking when I can. You play for ages. To be fair, and you played Wind Waker, and that's a retro today. game now. <laughs> Sorry? I said, to be fair, you played uh, Wind Waker recently, and that's a retro game now, as much as that makes me cringe saying that. Wow, I can't believe you said that. Hey. Yeah, I am. I'm playing through it. It's my first time playing through it. Listen, I, uh, I know... I the stream that it's playing today, I think, but I, uh, I have no idea what my plan is right now. The plan is there is no plan. Yeah, we just roll with it. Charlie found my phone. Okay, well, Martha, as long as that's not you, sure. We'll go with that. We'll go with the fact that you didn't just have a psychotic break. I fuck, I'm stuck. Here, I'm gonna this. <clears throat> love me some Mercury. Uh, love some Mercury, but feel free to say hi. Oh, I will, I will. Usually I, I get up in the morning and I have breakfast and I'm just kind of like watching, but I don't have my headset on. I'm just like, I'm watching. Oh, my. Yes, I am done. There we go. I forget there's like, kind of like verticality to this game. Sometimes the stuff can be dirty on the bottom. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm... Have fun. You gotta get up and get ready. No problem, Otzi. No problem. I hope you get your things done. Mwah. It is kind of silly that <clears throat> you're only allowed to bring the things that I've already unlocked. Yeah. Like, I can't bring my own um, washers. Yeah. I guess it makes sense if you've got someone who's completed the game already and has, like, the best washers and stuff, then they could just come in through and, like, just fucking yeah. quickly run you through it. Yeah. Fucked up. Oh. Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! Ding! Ding! Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby! There's no sponges in your chat, but I did send you a slime hand tie. <laughs> Thank you! Oh my. Eh, uh, yep. I 
I guess, can I? Oh, I can. Yeah, you can stand on the shoe, yeah. Then this the good stuff, thank ya. It was not my intention to do it like this, but hey, it works. <laughs> well, I say that, it, it kind of works. Ding, ding. Oh, I need the, uh, I need my short one. There we go. Really? Can I? Oh. Okay, I guess I cannot get up here. Well, fuck you. Fuck you, game. I'm too fat to get up here. Ow! Oh, I fell! <laughs> the game is mocking me. Yeah. 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 Let me out. I'm stuck. There we go. Were you? Did you already get up all the way on the top? Yeah. What are we missing? Like, there's a roof. Oh. Yeah. I can see a spot. I just can't. Oh wait, I'm a. I'm dumb. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Boat walls, window boxes, wooden trims. Okie dokie. Which window box? It must be one of these trims we've just... Oh, uh, we got the window box. Oh. Which one of these wooden trims? Um... <clears throat> oh, boot walls. I'm... Listen, I might be stupid. Oh, boot wall. This one. Oh, that, I did not mean to pick that up. Okay, wooden trim. Uh, where are you? Is that, that's the roof. I'm assuming it's either like underneath the uh the trim or on top. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Don't fall. Oh thank goodness. Where the hell is it, Vix? Oh, listen, floor. listen, Bob, if you watch uh, my streams uh, long enough, you'll find out that I mispronounce a lot of words. And with my southern accent, uh -huh. I create brand new pronunciations for words that you never thought you could pronounce that way. Oh, you did it. <laughs> Job. Awesome. Let's watch it. Well done. Look at that. Look at this shoe. Have you ever in your life seen a sexier shoe house?
I think not. <laughs> See your shoe house. <sighs> like That's Wonder a Bread. Shoe house. Indeed, just like Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread. Wonder, Wonder. Bread. <laughs> Hey, you know what they say. Those who wander are not always lost. But they might not know what the fuck they're saying. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Blue, you're sleeping. Seepy. You were sleeping. Uh a mouse lived in it and it was it oh, it was in a fallen log. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Well, thank you, Vix, for joining me tonight. I, I did not think I'd be streaming this long, but uh, I'm glad you were able to join. Um, yeah. Gotta have you on me stream too. more often. It was fun. It was very fun. Yeah. We should definitely do this more often. Maybe we should well, do like at least. You guys. Maybe we should do like maybe once a month a chill chish chatting stream like this. That would be fun. Yeah, I'll tell. I'll tell. We could do this. We could do, I don't know what else would be good, but. Tiali's on. Ah, uh, that's early. Oh, it's four thirty. We yeah. Tiali's playing. We ending? Yeah, I think I might send you guys off. I'm gonna have some food. I might be back later. Who knows? Um, uh, but for the I moment, anyway, I just I do want to defrizzle. I I definitely will not be around later. I'm hour. going to go sleep. <laughs> Turn the sponge off, Raid. Turn the sponge off. <laughs> Vira, <laughs> Vira, turn the sponge off right now, please. I need to turn the sponge off. <laughs> hurry, hurry. <laughs> help! Someone help! Also, I want to uh, just uh, thank before before you uh, sign off, Vix. Um, yeah, I want to thank. Uh, I, I want to thank the people in your chat that stopped by uh, and watched the stream on uh, on my end. Um, I'm glad that you all uh, stopped in. I hope you had a good time. Uh, do consider uh, subscribing to Anime Club After Dark if you want to see more streams uh, with me. Um, I try to stream at least a couple of times a week. Uh, I don't get to stream anywhere near as often as Vix, unfortunately, uh, due to the fact I have a full-time job, but I try to stream when I can. But we also put out uh, brand new content every single week, usually themed around anime, manga, otaku, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. And we also have a, a Discord server you can join. It's linked down below in the description of uh, this stream as well. Um, we have a really cool community over there, and we try to organize... Um, we try to organize, uh, like server events and discord nights where we watch stuff together and it's really fun. So if that's something you're interested in, please anyone, check it out. If anyone in my chat would like to get any of those links, just follow the link in the pinned message. It'll take you straight to the live broadcast right now. And then you can watch it. Uh, you can get those links in the, the description. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just while I've thought about it as well, because I usually don't think about this, because I am a <laughs> Y'all can follow my socials there, and please check out my merch store as well. It's very exciting. It, I just like mm. to show it off. Uh, <laughs> I'm like Mace Hughes with his daughter, and just like, that wallet. <laughs> it's look, like, look, look at have you seen it? Have have you, <laughs> let me show you again. <laughs> yeah, look at it. For those of you that are not in my Discord, you can join my Discord and find out what I'm doing there. I try to stream every day. I'll be back tomorrow, most likely. What's tomorrow? Thursday? Oh, Blue! Yes, 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 yes. Elsie reminded me to uh, tell you about the merch store, and then I forgot to do that. So there's the merch store. Yes. <laughs> there you go, consider yourself reminded. And also... I was gonna do that. Also, also, if you'd like to buy some merch for, for Anime Club After Dark that Vix herself has drawn... Uh, you can look at our uh, merch store as well. She gets a cut of all of our profits every time you buy something from that. That has that ha that features the art that I've done for them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mannix. Thank yeah. you, Mannix's chat. Yes. Thank you, everyone, you for stopping by tonight. Um, I drink your I bed, eat your drugs. Yes. <laughs> See, you do that all the time. If I tried to do it, I'd mess it up and say it right. 
what would that that would be a, um <laughs> what would it right what would it, what would it be right sleep in your bed and take your drugs yes yeah. i'd try oh, to mess it up like huh. you do and i'd say it right every single time i know i would i said it technically right and my mouth feels violated <laughs> <laughs> Drink your bed and eat your drugs. That's so much better. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna send you guys off to Tiali. They are currently playing some Genshin at the Genshin Impact at the moment. Their title says that they are. Oh yeah, they're not yet in that land. They are exploring Sumerian Fontaine. So there's no spoilers there for you if you haven't. She's bright red today. She's super red today. Anyway, she we're gonna go say hi to Tiali. Thank you so much, Mannix and the Egghead crew and everyone. Yeah. Hope to do this really soon. If I'm back later today, then great. If I'm not, I'll be back on tomorrow. Please take care of yourselves in the meantime. Mwah. Oh, and copy that raid message. Turn the sponge Mwah. off. It's Turn imperative that y'all knows. Turn the sponge off. Yeah, we have to. We have to turn the sponge off. <laughs> Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not oh. a sponge. <laughs> Does, um, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, if, like, how rating goes, but if you were interested in sending your people to Tiali, there's her link. I, I don't I, know how rating goes or whatever goes on YouTube. I, we don't really do raids on YouTube. I just end the stream usually. <laughs> ah, okay. Sign well, off and end the stream. Anyway, that's where we're going. I love you. Go check him out. Go check him out, eh, kid. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and sign off too. Thank you everyone for stopping by tonight. Um, I will be back probably this weekend sometime. I don't know with what yet, but we'll find out. Um, until then, check uh, the description down below where you can find links to all the stuff we do, um, as well as a link to our Discord server and our merch store. Um, but uh, until I see you next time, I hope everyone has a good night. Bye! There you go.